dare you to go live? Come on, live right are now. Are you literally? Are, are you literally going live right now? I'm literally live right now. I'm literally you hitting literally the live. You literally hitting the live live right now. <laughs> hey. 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 <laughs> hello, hello. What if we were live right now, guys? What if we were live what right if, now? What, what if? if? What if we were live right now? What if we were live right now? Do you guys ever Hello? feel like a bunch of people are watching <laughs> us? <laughs> do you ever feel like someone's watching us? Let me do this. Oh, yeah. Hi, guys. Hi. Oh, thank you for the 18 months. Very nice. Hello. 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 That is a long time. Hello, hello, yes, everybody. Yes. Long time no see. I'm so happy we're back with the Raven. What's the word? The Raven is the word. Raven is the word. I know that Haley's okay. been going internally insane, not having okay. an episode as she usually <laughs> does. I think we all have a little bit. Um, it's been a long break. It's been a long break. Uh, it's been a long break. Randy in my chat said, "Oh my it's gosh, Theo weeks. really said I'm actually Arlo." Yeah, literally. Theo we is just it. actually it's Arlo for real. real. Hello, hello, Rand. Hello, hi, 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 hi. 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 hi Jordy, hello, hello, hello. All the familiar hi. faces. Hello. Serenity, hello. Uh, well, the, once again, I won't delay it too much. I'll just give the little, little excerpt. Um, oh my gosh. And then go oh my god, move we're on, starting. Move on. Uh, oh. But so, little excerpt is. I know, Jess, headphones are so slight. I know. First of all, headphones are from Vey. <laughs> <laughs> we are sponsored oh my by Vey. I don't know what you're talking about. Sponsored by Vey. I got my little smiley face. It's really cute. That's I got, cute. Uh, I don't remember what And then Jazz something. got some little accessories for her headphones. Are there? So cute. Still rubber. Strawberry moment I got for Aria. Not my Raven with Brain Rot for the last four weeks. Felt that. Um, so, also felt that. Uh, the little so, thing that I always say, uh, we don't really look at chat while we're doing this because we are, are immersed in the moment. We're role playing and doing all the fun D&D stuff. Um, if you don't know what Ravenwood is or if this is your first time here because I saw a lot of like firsts in the chat, um, you can look below. There's like a little description bar and it's got like all the information you need. And there's a playlist that has like all of the episodes in order that you can literally just go down and it is it is great because you have content to binge um lots of content uh but yeah so have fun with that but then aside from that uh we do call our streams and ravenwood itself uh 18 plus because we have like mature conversations and we cuss a lot and uh, their sex, <laughs> things like that. Uh, speaking of sex, you should subscribe to my Patreon. Mm. Anyways, so. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway. Perfect segue. Just, just Perfect like, segue, dude. Listen, guys, listen, guys. Yeah. We did make our goal last time that we did one of those where we got. Yeah, 40, we're at 37 now. We put no, a goal for 35 and we're at 37 goal, now. So. Yeah, our goal for last month was 35. And so this month it's 40. Can we oh, get to 40? Yes, that would be that's all we need is three more. Three more not only is there oh see fuck. all of our characters not only is there sex no. but there's also a comic that i'm working on that you can go read so that's fun um but anywho which is scrum diddly yum yum yeah so did i miss anything i don't think i missed anything um definitely check out the commands below because it's got all the information you would need possibly need um and yeah i think that's it i'm nervy <laughs> <laughs> I'm nervous, guys. <laughs> um, you got this. You got this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, great job, Bubba. Great job. It's only the second episode of season four. Can you believe we it? We've got this. Oh, we've I got this. We it's kind of a no, only we're on the episode second two. Ep it's only the second God. episode. Whoa. That all happened in episode one. <laughs> Lots that happened in episode one. one. <laughs> Lots happened in episode one. It was basically it was like really part one two of episode one, I guess. Help. It was a lot, but it was good. It was um, beautiful. It was great. Anywho, uh, let me hit my record button before I forget. Uh, okay, yeah, we're recording. Very nice. Okay, so are you guys ready to dive into it? Season four, episode two, yeah. family. Yeah. I'm scared of this name. It's a little too. It's like it's ominous. <laughs> ominous family. It's a little. You guys are, you guys are family. You, like, names are longer and like are like. I'm glad. I'm glad that this freaked you out. Because I, just, I thought this like, wasn't like, enough. And so I'm Nick. glad this still freaks you no. out. <laughs> no, it freaks me out because it's, it's not a lot. It's, 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 it's the one word. And 
When the no, last one was like grim history, history and this one's family. But this one's like, because it's so simple, it's way more ominous. I don't know. Yeah, yeah I, I love that. that. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> it's like a little bit more like, anything. That's really exactly. great. That's really great for me. Thing. That's really great for me. Yes, give me That's nothing. That's not great for us. <laughs> Ease up. Sorry, let's Ease up. <laughs> All right. So, let us begin with the rain as my fucking symphony in the background. It's so nice. Um... Rain? Where? Rain? He's in the room with us right now. Um, I wish. Anyways, uh, I'm sorry. Season four and our previous episode started with an array of much needed conversations, visits to old friends, and eerie meetings with eerie foes in power. For some of you, you made steps in interesting directions with the friends and others around you, while some of you made things just a bit more complicated. Looks at Andromeda. Uh, <gasps> sorry, if you can hear the thunder. Um, you can't, but I wish you could, because that was perfect timing. Yeah, it was perfect timing. I was like, look at Andromeda. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> ominous, it's an omen. Um, on top of it all, Finnick Knox certainly had some very interesting proposals for all of you. Um, and from there, you had made your way uh, towards the town that is near Ravenwood, and you had all spent quite a lovely time in the town of Evergrim, exploring the many shops and antiquities it had to offer, and using some of your many credits, now that you guys are basically rich as the Golden Six, uh, to purchase gifts and goodies for both yourself and others. With paper bags full to the brim with unique finds, you then made your way to an abandoned museum, which was recommended to you by a waitress at a small pub called the Griffin's Den. It isn't a long walk, <laughs> which the whole chat, chat in my channel or in my server has made this entire party suspicious of that waitress. <laughs> um, it isn't a long walk, but it is tucked within overgrowth and debris as though untouched for years. And together you made your way towards the entrance, and once at it, you had tried, with your best efforts, to pummel through. Brute force and your lockpicking skills wit didn't quite do the trick, but what did, however, was through the group of you, combining whatever sort of magic you have, and with that, the door had clicked open. Wandering inside had been an even more curious adventure. You all saw a golden plaque that read of the museum having been established by T. Tenebrae. And Arlo, you stumbled upon a painting of a kraken that thoroughly grasped your attention, a beacon of sorts that you couldn't entirely connect to memory. Not only that, but you also saw a painting of a scene that looked suspiciously like the safe haven in all your dreams, all those dreams that felt too familiar, forgotten in time. You all saw a sketched image of men in strange clothing holding strange weapons, two of them appearing to be Julian and Tobias, and with the title of France, 1848, just below it. Mud had discovered and removed an odd sword from its confines beneath a glass box, and Andromeda, you recognized a hallway of furniture covered in tarp from one of your visions, a vision of rain, in fact. And moments later, you found yourself face to face with a being and their large black wolf dog, a being of who it turned out to be Solar, a long lost childhood friend of Arya's. And Arya, in that moment, you found the rage within your heart had quieted. Your hair had returned to normal, and some of the memories came coursing back into your mind, and it was overwhelming a moment, if not a heartwarming one. And with conversation and insight from Solar, you discovered this museum was where Rain has been hiding, his own private room tucked just behind a locked door, and in Solar's words, it was astounding that you had managed to force your way through the spell that binded the door. After much conversation, you all found yourselves leaving the museum with more questions than you had upon entering. And it is from here that we return to our little journey. And so, um, from there. I will, I'll be right back. Sherlock's very upset right now. Oh, um, yeah, because he's like whimpering and stuff. So yeah. Oh, baby. Okay. His closet. He wants what his closet. A day. He wants his closet. His closet door is closed, so he is stressed out. It's his, it's his thunder cellar hideaway. It's his his secret lair. Room, I love him. I his think that was. I think secret lair is directed towards rain, but yes, this is Sherlock's secret lair also. Uh, <laughs> if it works, it works. Bless, bless, bless. His secret lair. 
I'm so nervy. My stomach's in little butterflies. No. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. Gonna yeah. So I'm gonna be sick. I got butterflies. I'll relax as we start. But... Easy, easy. I feel Anytime that. I there's feel like that. intense yeah. things happening, we'll too, it. I get like, so, oh, I get so nervy. And there always is. And there always is. There always <laughs> is. And there, there is always, there's always every happening. Every day there are new horrors, and I stand by them. <laughs> every day there are new horrors. <laughs> every day there are new horrors. The horrors of the past, present, and future. And future. No, I, I started, like, fully investing in this episode yesterday, and I, like, really like how it went, so. Well, I'm, I'm very excited I'm about it. good. Very excited. Um, is he okay? Did he, go, did he go in the closet? He, he piddled a little. Oh, he was so, he was he's, so he's comfy now, though. He's all cozy now. Is he, the, is he okay? Little, yeah, he's okay. Little. He's not. He he was just kind of like shaking at yeah. the door, and then nope. there was just like a little little oh. piddle puddle. We're no. He's okay. He's okay. Oh. He's in the closet. He's shaking in his boots. Did he he's shaking in his boots. He went in the yeah, closet okay and everything Yeah, now? he's in. Okay. Yeah, he's in and he's closed. My poor baby, he hates the thunder. <laughs> he hates, he hates, he hates it. it. No, he just, he went in and he's laying in his bed. So I need to get him bed. something that like calms his nerves, but I don't know what yet. Mm. I have There's something thunder that makes baby <gasps> that's, oh, um, it's like it's basically melatonin for dogs that just oh, like calms their anxiety yeah. a little bit. That's um, to um, our dog too. Yeah, there's yeah. little vests that that we put on. We tried the vests actually. Uh, yeah, we tried it. And, it, doesn't, um, it doesn't do anything. It just stands there like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's not a fan of it. I need to double check that. He literally, he literally stands there like he's a statue, but shakes. Oh, <laughs> it immobilizes him. Like frozen. <laughs> Oh the rain God. is stopping in 40 minutes, so it should be. No, he's okay now. Okay. He just, yeah, as long as he has his closet, closet is yeah. his safe space. He has he's his closet. closet. He has his safe space. Okay. He's got his little So he's good now. So, from here, um, as you bless all you. walk along. Bless you? Did you oh, sorry, that was Sadie. <laughs> oh, bless um, you, Sadie. Bless you, Sadie. <laughs> I thought I thought uh, Theo. Was Everyone saying, say bless you to Sadie right now. Bless you, Sadie. <laughs> bless you. Um, as you all walk along the forest path and back towards the town of Evergrim from the museum, surely your minds are busy with thoughts of what had just occurred. It is a strange reality that you find yourselves in now, where Rain had once started out as this untouchable being. Uh, you've now discovered just where he spends his time. Perhaps some of you thought he lived in a coffin or a strange power station where he recharged every night. Or at least that's what Mud had thought this entire time. Um, as you all wander, as you all wander the cobblestone path. <laughs> that's my boy. Mud, I need to say, Mud is so what we do in the Shadows Coded. It's yeah, unreal. Yeah, it is. You're so right. You're so right. <laughs> he actually is. You were absolutely correct for that. Oh my gosh, I love him. Truly, I'm dating a sick I can't wait. I can't wait for this. <laughs> Calm character. He's from the he office. Is. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> as you all wander the cobblestone path, dodging moss and ivy and uneven gravel, you slowly approach the opening in the large oak trees, and the window of light portrays the town once more and the dense forest exit. I really wonder if Jack can hear the thunder. It's going to ham up. Um, with your minds busy on thoughts of the sword that Mud had found, on thoughts of solar, on thoughts of visions and what lies beyond closed doors, on thoughts of krakens and sun-kissed havens, on thoughts of eagerly returning to Ravenwood, you all walk forward and merge with the townsfolk once more. And humans are still going about their days with bags containing market finds and ice cream cones in their hands, as though nothing was strange, as though no big revelation had just been revealed in your guys' minds. They are so much more open and unbothered here in Evergrim, as you've noticed, and as though the strange uniqueness to each of you is nothing new, nothing all too rare of a sight to see. And you pass the oddity shop once more and the other small shops that line the cobblestone roads, decadent and covered in layers of floral arrangements and ivy decor yes aria when we walk by the oddity shop you said there's like was there like windows that like look in yes if we just like look in the window is that girl still there sitting yeah she's still there like this okay <laughs> is that what you wanted to know uh, yes, if I was okay. like, if this is a bit, this is going pretty far. This is a pretty <laughs> no, far bit. She, she is, was just there. 
Like if she was still you're there, suspe- after oh, you're, left you're for a suspicious while. of the antiquities person. Yeah, at not the, the, not, even, not, not the, the pub she, waitress. She was, she was literally just. No, that's what I was saying at oh. the antiquity shop. Interesting. Oh, I thought no, they. The, so isn't chat, she the one that chat was, was suspicious bored? of? Yes, but chat was suspicious of the waitress who gave you guys directions. So. Oh, okay. Got the antiquities it. girl. Just, she was just really like that. She's just like that. That's just her she's personality. She's just like that. <laughs> she's just <laughs> like that. Could be a red herring. <laughs> she's just like that. But that's fair. That's fair. She could also. Yeah. It's a facade. I, mostly, yeah, I think the reason why I had done that is because my brain she's had gone. connected that to the six portal, ball, portal balls. Yeah, that's fair. And too. so that's where my brain True. went. Oh, wait. That's, that's her. Too not the waitress. That is also fair. That is also fair. Instead of the human waitress who. I forgot that we got six new portable hot balls. Yeah, I know. Oh my god, I forgot about that too. That was me misunderstanding. No, it's you don't have to misunderstand because you could be right. I get it. I know, but I agree though. But I agree though. That is her just being. It is fair to be suspicious of every person you meet. It is fair. No one hundred percent fair. We've been wrong one too many times. There's too many. There's too many changelings out and about right now, guys. We won from Indra. Okay. Nobody's just chill anymore. You have your intro. We trust no one. You have to be more careful. Well, and you have canonically learned that Indra is a persona. So yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what stuff is still in her room? Hey, yeah. I gotta say, out. though, I gotta say, though, Indra is a pretty cool persona. Yeah. Listen, yeah, she's hot. She's kind of hot, sexy damn. Hot, sexy I, damn. I mean, yeah. I think she's cool, 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 but I want nothing to do with her. <laughs> I want her, and I want nothing to do with her. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Anyways. Um, Thank you. And so... Before you all know it, um, you are growing farther or closer and closer to the train station, which means you are soon approaching the Griffin's Den once more, um, the small pub that sits towards the town's edge. And from the angle, you can see just a fraction more of it. The side within your view now sits beautifully decorated with bright flowers that line a red brick wall. And you can see a few human patrons coming and going, as well as a few waitresses biding their time by cleaning and stacking dishes on trays. Ornate metal chairs and tables line an outdoor seating area, and you can see a board outside the pub itself that looks as though it has a menu atop it, meant to lure passerbys in with scrumptious delicacies, food and drink written alongside their prices. Half of it appears to be in the human language, and half is in your own, and you can assume that they have done so because the pub is outsider-friendly. And the waitress, Darla, that you spoke to earlier is nowhere to be seen, at least outside. Can you all roll a perception check for me, please? Wait. So not even get Darla. It, 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 Darla. It's it's the one prepared to perceive. The D and Darla <laughs> stands for perception. Wait, I need to perceive. <laughs> I'm sorry, Haley. That was so good. Wait, let me Thank get my you. dice. Which, uh, what are we? Yeah. Huh? Pop, when you said when you said 2D to sixes. lure passerbys, and I went lure. Yeah, lure? Like, lure. <laughs> Listen, they have good food. What can I say? Oh shit! Okay, it's two d sixes, right? Yeah, I would yes. love 2D to roll well. It'd be so cool. Are they adding anything? My new little flower no. dice. No. <gasps> oh, okay. My little Andromeda so flower dice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So okay. That's a ten. That's her horny flowers. Very nice. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that's what i was gonna say they look just like the ones that look like bloom. That's how I picture them. It's your horny yeah. flowers. Horny yeah. flowers. Horny cow is so proud of you. I got, got a 7, it. so... Ten, we got a seven, 10, 7, 8. eight. Ten, <laughs> ten, eight. Oh my god, we're all for seeing. Oh god, you guys, that's a good start to the episode. Good job. Oh, no, all right. Um, so... I simply do not perceive. Arlo <laughs> and uh, Arya, you notice it almost immediately. Um, and it grasps your attention. <laughs> 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 it grasps your attention like immediately. Um and Wit or Theron in this case and Andromeda, you do notice more so Arya and Arlo's attention being grasped. Um, <laughs> before you then follow their line of sight to it as well and do notice it also. As you are passing the pub and upon glancing at the menu 
you notice something immensely intriguing about what is listed atop it. And it isn't simply the strange name of British dis dishes. Uh, the lunch menu details several options, odd titles, and numerous varieties to choose from. But the most peculiar, and certainly something that would catch your eye in this circumstance more than anything, and more than bangers and mash, is uh, one of the drink options that is listed there. What? It reads on their wine menu, specifically, white Pinot Noir Chardonnay Red Cardinal Special. I was literally about to say, if there's a red cardinal on this shit, this could be <laughs> No crazy. way! Okay, so it was a white mean? Pinot Noir. What does it mean? You know, oh, right there. Yeah, right well, okay, right because there. if you order it, yeah, if you order it, then they know that you're probably a part of Cardinal. I'm Alley. gonna go order yeah. a drink. I'm, <laughs> I'm feeling very thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> you all, you all do notice it because you yeah. rolled high, so you guys can talk yeah. about it. We all and it said so. It said white Pinot Noir, um, mm -hmm. Red Cardinal Alley, Red Cardinal Special. Yes. White Pinot Noir, Chardonnay, Chardonnay, and Red Cardinal Chardonnay. Special. I'll send it to you if you want. Yeah, Red Cardinal Special with its own little yeah. separate thing. Yeah, there's pre there's commas. Yeah. Sorry. No, you're good. Carded. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. My typing is so slow right now. Ooh. I love whenever I love whenever something is revealed and all of you talk at once and it's so <laughs> <laughs> every time oh it makes my I'm like. <laughs> like, like excited dog she's like I, I, we are uh, it's so it's so serotonin Lord. it's really great because <laughs> everyone just goes oh, get out of the beach let's go <laughs> all right i want to so thirsty as well arlo wow that sounds quite oh my God. yeah let's go get yeah. a drink let's figure it out let's go muddling swore oh, oh, just goes what well, we going back to the school now you want to drink Mud. Yeah, a drink. I was going to school. It's Mud. been a long day, hasn't it? It's been a very long day. I don't know what that means. Treat yourself. What? We deserve a drink. Sounds You're delicious. Cursed. Is there a bar? Yeah, Mud's just like... <laughs> <laughs> it's a bar. Mud. 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 Hey, Alyssa, are you and If If we go get the drink, it might be like we are in a underground secret bar full of... <laughs> like a date. Like a date. Okay. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> By the way, Haley, do you wanna do you wanna show chat you were bored? Uh, <laughs> yeah, you should. You should. It's really great. It is. <laughs> so Andromeda is still in denial, just yeah, for everyone. In case anyone it's wants to know. It's, still, it's, it's, it it's, a little bit. it's changing, it's flowing, whatever. So I'm gonna change it up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Can I wait, can I take a picture of <laughs> of us because i have one of when you made the other one too uh, <laughs> this, is, this is oh okay ready every time that you change the sign i have to take a picture yes, yeah. picture. It's, that's, I love that. that's also assuming that he hasn't killed anyone in his past right well well, well no kill count since true. he's been cursed yeah, 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 since yeah. the curse i was right. the curse has he killed i will assume his back just checking so. just checking it's a just new checking. era it's a new I'm era sure. but i don't yes. like that you that you had to clarify <laughs> just checking <laughs> don't okay. like that <laughs> this man knows your entire backstory what? andromeda but uh you did you yeah anyways um so i'm gonna ask you <laughs> I'm gonna, gonna ask him. Um, I'm gonna ask him. Well, he kind of in the beginning, but do, we didn't get a lot. Yeah, you got you got about his dad mostly, um, which is yeah. probably is the main thing, honestly. And oh, his car and him. his selling and his yeah. stabbing and his uh, yeah, his trauma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. His uh, trauma. <laughs> no, keep going, keep going, babe. Can talk about it. Let's keep going. Get these good vibes going. Let's get that. I mean, we don't need to rehash Let's that. Get these good vibes going. Um, <laughs> I so, this is a subject. I'm not gonna be it up again. <laughs> Let's go get a drink. I'm assuming Let's you go all get a walk yeah. Arla, Is there a bar? Can Arla walk up to the bar? Yeah. Yes. Um. So, uh, as you all walk in, um, and as you like push open the door, there's like a little bell that like jingles. It's like very cute. It's like ding ding ding. Um, <laughs> the inside of the pub looks much like taverns in Ostrogel, Honestly, it doesn't look far off. Um, and it actually looks a lot like the Red Oak Inn. Wit. Um, 
it is decorated I in this... love it here. <laughs> I love it here. I love it, uh, here. <laughs> it is decorated with a mahogany shade of wood um, that makes it look very kind of crimson in color. And it's mahogany. Crimson, mahogany. Say. Crimson. Okay. Um, mahogany. Oh my god. And it looks Go very <laughs> old fashioned, aside from the little televisions that kind of line every corner as pubs usually have. Um, and along the walls, ooh. <laughs> ooh, uh, along the walls sit framed sketches. Um, some are scribbled and others ooh. are more refined, but they line a stained canvas with images of different creatures and varying landscapes. They look like pages from an old book, ink smeared and charcoal dirtying the drawings. And more tables and chairs uh, line the area, and there is a long bar in the main part of the room it stands out the most. Um, and it is long and wooden, and it is red and brown with little kind of uh, leather bar stools or leather the, like the, the the seat is leather uh bar stools that kind of sit uh lined up against the bar and a few patrons are sitting uh humans that seem to be talking kind of amicably amongst one another and there are bottles of some sort of alcoholic beverage in their hands and they take sips between laughter and errant conversation and a few waitresses wander bringing more drinks to other customers and plates of food that smell utterly delectable in the small wooden space and from where you stand, uh, you can see a back door that surely leads to a kitchen, as well as a bathroom in one of the other corners. What do you all do from here? Um, can we tell by like the sketches, or like the the drawing? Are they? Are, did you say they were sketches, or they? They're sketches. Just, like, yeah. They're sketches. Like how? Like sketches in the way that you would imagine. The way they look is like how if you're looking through like a, a history book, I guess that has mm. like images in it before like cameras were invented gotcha. and they have to like sketch out the images. God. It, so like, like, actual, like, yeah, like, like children's books when like the beginning of the chapter yeah. they really pretty thought yeah. like, see, So it's like yeah. even like buildings and stuff and like uh structures and like any sort it's of like the spider with like, guide sketch. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whoa. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Very much the, um, that brand. Are there any like dates or like names or anything underneath the sketches no. that would no. okay. And they no are birds, like, they are like, cardinals, there perhaps. is uh, a griffin, um, and that is the biggest uh, drawing, Maybe. considering it is the griffin's den. Um, yeah, and no yeah. That is, <laughs> that's the logo, <laughs> the logo for the pub. I forgot about that. Yeah, <laughs> and um, most of the other <laughs> drawings, like, though, are like family? mythology kind of based. Yeah, so yeah. There, okay. there so probably guardians, is, huh? there probably so is, the guardians. probably is a little sketch of a unicorn somewhere. Um, perhaps even steal like a, it. a Pegasus. I don't steal it. <laughs> you gotta steal it. <laughs> um, <laughs> snatch. Um, snatch. Any it any creatures you can kind of think of from like mythology, basically, is kind of. It's very um, almost like they they really wanted to go for like the medieval esque kind of mm. feel yeah. in this tavern. Um, okay. They probably yeah. have little like yeah. like how. <laughs> Not to compare it, but you know, like in ale houses, how they have like the fish up on the walls. Yeah, they probably have like um, a dragon. Like like a big like axe and th know. axes and things well, like that. Yeah, you know, like a dragon. Big, a dragon. A dragon. Um, <laughs> like a big dragon, of course. A but, big you know. dragon. No, they just have like they have a like weapons, kind of like some swords, but they look like they're like manufactured to be like nobody touch any swords. Decor, you know, no one touch any swords. The <laughs> group of dance from swords now. Well, they got fifty percent off of Joanne's. Oh, oh, nice. oh, yeah. <laughs> Ness, what a steal. Um, I love you. But yeah. Uh, okay. What do you guys do from there? Arlo goes to the bar. Okay. And he's like, Can I have a white Pinot Noir Chardonnay Red Cardinal Special? <laughs> and Arlo! <laughs> I, 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 I love him. I love him. Okay. I love love him. He walks up behind Arlo. <laughs> he's actually just like a Cardinal Red Special. Is that what it was called? Red Cardinal Red Special. Special. Red Cardinal Special. Mario walks up behind Theron and goes, uh, Red Cardinal Special. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, that's that's what that's what Andromeda, Andromeda that's appears. Andromeda appears. Do you really want to drink all of drink, those? Please, Red Drink. Red Bird Drink. <laughs> red Bird Drink. Fucking nailed it. Fucking um, nailed it. And one of the women, or 
one of the women, one of the waitresses, I guess, essentially. Um, Carla being like, I would like all of your alcohol. I would like please. all of the alcohol. <laughs> that's one whole title. Um, and I have one of all of the alcohol. Of, uh, Every uh, single one. Every single one. Every single one. Um, the, <laughs> the bartender that's behind the bar. He cannot handle all of that. Ooh, she's wearing, like, <laughs> oh my gosh, that scared me. But. I what? To scream in the background. Oh, sorry. It's okay. Oh, sorry. 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 It's... You're good. You're good. You're good. Oh, um, the bartender behind the bar. Uh, you notice that the kind of the, the the waitresses are dressed in very like, uh, I don't want to say like medieval outfits, but they are dressed in like a in like a theme clearly, where it's kind sure. of like just a little like barmaid kind of dresses. Like it's very like simple little dresses. Um, and they have their, like, little aprons on and little name tags. And this one specifically, her name says Liz. And uh, her hair is kind of done up in these, like, dark curls. Um, and as you, like, talk to her, she just is, like... And she reaches and she grabs out her TCD. Oh. And she's just, like... <laughs> she's, like... Can you say that again? <laughs> one red cardinal for all of us, please. Um, and... As you do, and she glances at her TCD to see the translation, her eyes kind of widen a moment. And she looks at all of you, and she nods, and uh, she tucks her TCD back. And, yes. Real quick. Uh-huh. Can Theron ask if a Darla works here? Oh, yeah, sure, 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 sure. Okay. Um, sure, 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 Charla? sure, Charla hasn't sure, worked sure. here for 30 years. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. It turns Darla? into a ghost story. Darla, um, the founder of this Darla. restaurant. She... <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. I asked hmm. question. She uh, looks at her TCD, and she looks at you, she frowns, and she shakes her head. Oh. <gasps> Interesting. <laughs> Do you I know mean, anyone that wears a bright red bold lip? Oh, that's right. She was very she she wore like red Do lipstick. Do you know anyone? She, that that she was very like she was very like oh, my, no idea. Oh, like she was very yeah she was very like oh Darla. Anyways, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Like the Southern know, Bell the kind name, of thing. Yeah, the name yes, is enough. Uh, that's Darla. Oh, that that you, she Darla. was cute. She was cute. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> also, I just imagine if we ordered this pop in my head. I can't stop laughing at it. Imagine if we ordered the Red Cardinal special. But I don't know if you guys have seen the videos from it's called Sugar Factory, that big restaurant that has yeah, like all like, the ice cream about. stuff. And you order a specific thing, and they come out and they do like a dance for you and shit. Like, what? <laughs> what, like, what that? That? I have not seen that. The heck? Oh, That'd God. be really great. Like, what if all the waiters come out for the Red Cardinal special? They're all dressed in like red. The ladies are just like, oh, it's actually just it's actually just a code name for your birthday, and so. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Happy, 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 um, and it says basically, um, I mean, I wear a bold red lip from time to time. I'm sure you look good. And then she says something else and she doesn't, she's like, I can pull it off really well. <laughs> I believe scared. it. I believe it. <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> um, nice. but she, she just kind of like nods okay. and she's like, uh, she like says something and she turns it and she says, it says like, do you still want the special? Okay. Yes, we want the special. Okay, mm, the special. Uh, it reminds me of the Lego movie. Isn't that, isn't that what they call the, the dude in the Lego movie? They call him the special. Anyways, um, I, so. I watched someone watch it the other day. I've never actually watched it myself, but I watched someone watch it. It was, it was great. We have, so okay, we have good. to watch it. I haven't we watched it, actually yeah. watched it apparently. I, I cried at the end of it. It was so it's good. good. I saw, I saw, I saw like, what the happens. Lego it's really cute. Really so, you uh, watch that one, too. Batman is hilarious. Um, so... She kind of like glances around a moment, almost kind of taking in all the people in the pub. And um, it isn't too terribly busy. And she kind of seems to notice that. And so uh, she kind of turns to all of you and she just gestures for you to follow her. And she begins walking. And she walks directly for, uh, she, she leads you like 
around and past the bar. <coughs> Sorry, I choked on my spit. <coughs> what? Um, she leads you around and past the bar and then towards the door of the kitchen. And she pushes it open with ease and kind of holds it open for you and waves you all in, like, very quickly. Kind of, like, looking out the door, making sure that no one is watching. Um, I assume you all. Yeah. I give everyone a look and then we all go. (laughs) Okay. Um, and she then lets the door close behind you and then moves forward. And she steps past all the cooks that are busy going about preparing food and prepping the kitchen itself. Um, oh, and it smells amazing in here, obviously. Um, very rich and, like, gravy, almost. Very much that, like, rich uh, pub food. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, a few of them kind of glance up at you from time to time, but they make no move to stop you. And they don't cast you any sorts of judging looks. They just kind of take in the scene and then go back to their menstruations, as if there is nothing odd about a human woman leading four or five outsiders into this building or into this kitchen um and she leads you around a corner uh before you come face to face with another door and this one is simple and wooden and it sits closed before you all and the waitress motions towards it before uh talking to her tcd again and turning it to face you and it says you'll find what you're looking for in the cellar below um before she nods her head to you all and quickly speeds off and disappears back into the kitchen and out. And the door is before you all. What do you do? Thanks, Liz. This is so sus. Thanks, yeah, Liz. Yeah, we're gonna get yeah, we're gonna get kidnapped. This is so <laughs> sus. We should, we should be limiting our breaking into random places we don't know behind that door to one a day. One a day. <laughs> How about that? Mm. How about that? But also, yeah. we're here, the door's in front of us. I mean, we've already been cursed today, um, so, I mean, it's only up from here, right? Mud leans, right. Forward, mud leans forward to you, Arlo, and he's like, well, technically, we were led through here willingly. I was just gonna say that, we are not breaking yeah, in. Right. Yeah, Yeah, but we don't have context mm-hmm. both times. Yeah, I this still thought true. we were just getting a drink. Also, Darla doesn't work no. here, so that's a little odd. Yeah, so, she was working here, like, a couple hours ago. <laughs> Literally yeah. a couple hours yeah, ago. She- do you think she was uh, on this tables? I feel like I they would have just let anyone us. clean tables. Ar- Ariel says that, Ariel. Where? He's like, oh, oh, where? Ariel, <laughs> like, grabs you. He's like, not, not right now, not right now. Not this second. Just, okay. There's a lot of going on. Somebody is always kind but, of. But, uh, no trash, full yeah, alert, and be careful. Uh, Mud. Uh, all of us. Um, well, all of us. Yeah, Mud yeah, specifically. Full, full context, Mud. Mud. Do you remember when I told you we went to the super secret bar in the in in the city? And oh, we... he never went with us. Mm-mm. Oh, wow. Yeah, so that kind of got decimated, um, destroyed, and that's why I picked up no toast. And then um, we think this is where they went. Maybe, maybe. So let me just to make sure it's clear. Mm-hmm. This isn't a date. <sighs> It could be. Still could be. Yeah. <laughs> depends on what the other All side right. of the door looks like. A super secret. Yeah. <laughs> it yeah. does depend on what is on the other side of the door. <laughs> True. Yeah. It's a and BDSM it fucking. You know, it's, 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 <laughs> um, it's not what I meant, but that's what we all it's turn that around scene, and leave. A vague, that, well, no, it's right. that scene from Supernatural where Dean goes into that like bunker and then there's just a man with a whip. Yeah. Anyways. Yep. Amazing. That's just like, like, I'm here to see Chief. It's, it's fucking <laughs> Killian down there. <laughs> I mean, that's it. Put him on site. Uh, Sorry, what's here? Does anyone like to do the honors? Oh yeah. Um, I open the door. Yeah. The door. Theron opens the so door. So big, you're so brave. You're so big. Arlo like, Arlo like, <laughs> looks at you and then like goes past you down. <laughs> the door. I'm gonna like shove you into <laughs> the wall. Is right? there stairs? Are there stairs? Yeah, it's in the cellar below. So oh, shove yeah. Arlo down the stairs. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm on the Wait, stair. <laughs> Open the door. I can press up all the walls. When you do turn the handle, uh, it clicks open, and when you kind of look down, it just reveals like a set of stone stairs, and they're kind of like made of like brick, almost much like the walls outside. Um, and it's, it's very dark and ominous, obviously, uh, and very like cold. Like you can feel the cold radiating, like you would feel from like a basement or something like that. Um, and at the very bottom of the stairs, you see a warm glow of light. Um, that seems to be coming from like around a corner, um, and you hear like a, a light murmuring, but aside from that, there's no other tells. 
Was there any, um, I, I don't know if I can see if there's like magic anywhere. Um, but like, can I try and do like, do we have a spell book? No. I mean, I can, can check I... for traps. If you guys want me to check for All traps, I can. Yeah, I would maybe down. check for Start something like that. skipping downwards. <laughs> or <Downstairs. laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> he doesn't <laughs> care anymore. <laughs> Who was like just talking about the fact that we should limit board. the amount of doors that we go into without <laughs> knowing what's on the other side? Listen, I'm He's just like, listen, do it real it's quick, wrong, all right? But, uh, it's, yeah. I'm not gonna not He's enjoy an it. Intricate person. <laughs> if we're gonna do something dangerous, I'm gonna have a good time, okay? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Slay. 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 All right. So you don't want me to check for traps? No, oh. check for traps. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Arlo's already gone. Arlo's, so well, Arlo, Arlo's, Arlo's running through all the traps. <laughs> just to clear them Arrows all. are shooting out. <laughs> I have tried to get comes. Okay, he's the ranger. He can, yeah, he can get out. That's true. True. He's true. Got true. No. Um. Uh, he's speedy. Uh, Theron, can you just check real quick before Arlo um, trips something? Gets to the bottom. <laughs> or trip you, just in general. Be, there could be a pit at the bottom of the stairs, and he'll fall through, and then you know that's it. Okay. Could you just check? Please? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll check. What do I have to roll? Yeah, two d sixes. Yeah. Okay. I could just heal myself, even though I'm not good at it yet. You're not. Yeah. You're walking down the stairs. <laughs> Give it a second. Even all though right. I haven't really done it much. <laughs> Double clearing, or just no. I'm gonna use. <laughs> Fucking love. love. <gasps> <laughs> oh my god, are you okay? <laughs> I got um I got two fives, which makes it a ten. Oh, damn. Damn. Well, so okay, I'm, I'm keeping these two to roll for, you, me for a second. Uh fair I, ha I have three holes. Okay, so I can I can, okay. So is there a trap here? If so, what activates it? What does the trap do when activated and what else is hidden here? I can do all three of those. Okay. Because Ooh, I'm that's, cool. that's a good one we to do. Love that. cool. so, that's sick. I am perceiving. Kind of, so I am perceiving. Um, I'm perceiving. I, I'm just like staring <laughs> down the cellar, like, what do I like, see? <laughs> Evan's eyes just do the. I, <laughs> it's like it's like when a cat's eyes gets really big. Like yeah. that's what they're oh, just like. That's so cute. Yeah. Oh cute. my god, that's cute. Um, You're like toothless. Fully dilated. Darren, I will say. You do not see any traps. Um, you sense that there is a door closed at the bottom. Um, and one of those doors with kind of like, you know, like the little like window slits almost that like you can slide across kind of thing. One oh, of yeah, those like doors, it's a metal door. And you can kind of get the feeling that there are multiple rooms downstairs, like a like cellar rooms, almost like little alcoves what's the word you know alcove what, you know what i'm trying to say thank you yeah, alcoves. alcoves um that are just kind of like I, I inside the cellar <laughs> below um and basically it's just you just get the vibe that there is a large room beneath um and a closed door but no traps and nothing but, else hid in there nope all right can i continue my skipping now yeah <laughs> 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 All clear. You sense presences, I guess I could say. Oh, okay. Yeah. So well, we heard that from the murmuring, so but I'm not the really evil hidden. Yeah. <laughs> I okay. am the evil presence. We all get down there. Does right. Arlo we knock get or does he wait? I I wait. You wait at the door. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm still going to go in. in place. But, yeah. Um, and as okay. you kind of walk down, uh, like as you go down, the colder it kind of gets. Um, and it's kind of that like damp feeling that you would expect kind of from a basement or a cellar um and you all find yourself face to face with the metal door a lot more fortified than the one that was higher up above the stairs what do you do, 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 do. <laughs> knocks I'm politely Arlo, Arlo hiding yeah. behind aria's arms as you knock <laughs> aria just knocks three times Oh, three times. Interesting number. Yeah. Um, Stop yeah. it with the threes. Stop it. Let's go Interesting bestie. Number. Yeah. Let's go bestie. The threes. I'd be thinking. I'd be thinking. I'd be thinking. I'd be thinking. Right. Um, I'd be thinking. You hear kind of like some of the murmuring kind of like halt a moment. And you hear some like shuffling from behind the door kind of stop. It gets really close to like the... the <laughs> it's just oh, you. Say, like her. Oh, Hello? Oh. Um, exactly. She kind of backs uh, up the door. Open the door. 
open your door. Open sesame. Does it look like a door that goes like this, or does it look like a it's door, door that, that goes... looks like it just opens, like opens okay. in like a normal door. door? Yeah, normal door. Um, it just has one of those like yeah, the little what's the like, slits. What's the password? What's the password? Um, <laughs> nope. Uh, nope. Oh, no. nope. <laughs> Wrong. Uh, <laughs> after a moment, after a beat of kind of silence, you hear a voice call out. <gasps> um, and you hear, who is it? And the voice that calls out is a familiar one. <gasps> and it is a cold, feminine tone that lilts with a slight accent and is easily <gasps> identifiable for you all and is most certainly Calanthe. I feel like all of us go, oh, um, as soon as you do, you hear like silence again, and then the door starts clicking open. Uh, that's not my name. That's that's your name. That's not my my name. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you're, you're, you hear, that like, took me a second. That was cute. <laughs> that's not my name. That's your name. You hear uh, several like clicks, and then Damn. all at once, this like metal door is being like heaved open, and Calanthe is standing there. And her eyes, her red eyes are wide, and she's got this, like, bright, kind of bewildered grin across her features that are very much revealing so the point of her you. little canines. Oh, um, so and her long brown curls with the little pink highlights are kind of strewn up in a big high bun. She's so cute. She's so cute. I love her. I miss her so much. Um, and she is wearing a very simple, like, beige dress that kind of hugs her waist with a small black corset that is tucked there. Oh, does it now? Um, <laughs> it does it now. Uh, <laughs> as up here, genius. Uh, anyways, and then, <laughs> um, <laughs> my eyes are up here, genius. My eyes are up here, genius. That's what she's saying. She was, my eyes are up here, genius. Um, she kind of gapes at you all. <laughs> As you should. Uh, and her face is this mix of, like, surprise and uh, bewilderment, essentially, before she kind of, like, looks around, like, puts her head around just to see who else is there, looks at all of you, and then is just like, come in, come in, quickly, quickly, quickly. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. She, and as soon as you step within the doorframe, she slams the big metal door closed, and you see her like lock several little locks. <laughs> <across>. <laughs> she's like, there's like a magic one that she goes like, boom. Um, probably honestly. Um, there's like a chain for good measure. A chain. Just a little tiny chain. And then there's like the one that's like the little bar on the hotel door that slide. Yeah, it's like she has it all. She has it all. She's like pushing a, like a whole like dresser. She, in front you, of see her. Her, you see her put down one of the the oh, woods. Okay. You no, see okay. her put down like a wood thing that goes down yeah. and covers it oh. like a medieval door, like a little like bar thing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this does not seem very safe for. Are we? Is there such a other fire other code? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a fire code. Sure we fire know red cargo. Allie yeah. wasn't. Oh, too soon. too soon. Why would you say that? Oh. <laughs> Why would you say that? It was what we were <laughs> thinking, wasn't it? Anyway, it's probably a secret exit, maybe. Anyway, I hope so. Um, stop it. Stop it. Once you step within this doorframe, um, you see what looks to certainly be the new Cardinal Alley. And the space appears as though it was once a wine cellar, but any and all shelving units have been seemingly turned into spaces for the belongings of all of those dwelling beneath. And it is quite expansive, wide, and spacious. And the cobblestone floor is lined with carpets and blankets, a few cots spread here and there around the space, and occupied what looks to be by what looks to be a lot of the refugees you'd once seen in Cardinal Alley all that time ago. The stone walls are adorned with lanterns and tapestries, and more bags and belongings decorate the space. A few tables sit around the area, as well as errant chairs. And while it certainly isn't as hidden and uh, voluminous as the subway tunnels had been, this area seems cozy and roomy enough to make the whole area feel welcoming and secure, much like the subway tunnels did too. And surely for you all, you can feel this strange, like, relief dawning at seeing familiar faces in a space where you know that at least for the moment, you're mm -hmm. safe. And there are small areas that are set up like they were in the tunnels before. However, now it kind of simply feels more homey, as though they're set up like rooms for each individual. Um, spaces to kind of call their own, almost like tent-like kind of things. Um, and from where you stand, you even see Killian across the way and he's leaning against the back of a chair and he's got his legs crossed and outstretched and resting atop another chair 
And he glances up at you all as you enter, and you see that he's sharpening like a knife as he's sitting there. <laughs> and he kind of glances up at you, and when he sees you all enter, he just arches a brow, looks you all up and down, and then uh, kind of like looks at his sister in confusion, um, and just seems genuinely surprised by your presence here. Um, and Calanthe kind of steps further in and quickly closes the door, obviously, behind you. Uh, before she kind of turns to face you guys and she kind of like shakes her head in disbelief and she like puts her hands on her hips and she looks at you all and she says, long time no see, huh? I thought okay. <laughs> are, are you good? Are you, are you good? good? <laughs> She's like, yeah, still intact for the most part. You thought you died. Well, some of us did. Yeah, didn't. So. Oh. Place is nice. Thank you. We're trying to make do with what we can. Uh, awkward. I feel like we need to catch up, but I don't really know you that well enough. Yeah. <clears throat> um, I'm glad you're alive. Yeah. Well, that's, well, thank that's, you. What, what happened? Like, how did you get to... Well, um, a man found us in Cardinal Alley. And before we could even prepare, he killed the guards that were positioned at our entrance and barreled into the station. And it was absolute mayhem. And I, I told everyone to start running and take to the tunnels. And it was nothing but smoke and purple light and heat and everyone was yelling and fleeing. And some are still accounted for. Some are lost to us, but hopefully some of them can find their way back here soon. We lost so much. I lost my tavern, which is the worst part, honestly. Yeah. That's good. And when you look at her, um, Kalanthi, where she once always kind of looked very, like, confident and, like, kind of always had this, like, sass to her presence, essentially, this, like, overwhelming confidence. She looks a lot more, like, forlorn, um, and her face is very grim, as though, like, guilt-ridden, essentially. Um, and she looks around for a moment, kind of glances out at the tavern, or not the tavern, the cellar space, and kind of shrugs a shoulder and says with this kind of like far off look in her eye, she kind of says, um, I feel like I let everyone down and what was supposed to be a home away from home betrayed us all in the end. And now here we are stuck relying on humans to take care of us again. At least how they seem you... like good ones. Yeah. How... When did? How did you get this space? Well, Sin has always had her connections, and she had <laughs> always kind of told me about people who own this place and that it might be a good backup. We had things set up in case, you know, we had to plan for this sort of thing, even though none of us ever cared to admit that it would ever happen. And she was right, and they let us in with open arms, and I still don't trust them, but we don't really have a choice. Smart. So it's this or the sectors. Or living in the woods like wild people. But. It's not so bad. <laughs> <laughs> she looks at you and she's like, I'll take you What are you for chewing it. on, Andromeda? <laughs> <laughs> she has like a piece of gum or something. <laughs> she's like, it's a, piece, a piece of bark. Scary. It's a piece of bark. <laughs> She took some berries that she got early. She's like, oh my god. Oh, yeah, I did have a bunch of vegetables. She, like, finds oh, yeah, you got a ton of She's chewing on some that's berries. That's for two. We, we do have yeah. snacks, that's fine. I'd let you take some of the vegetables he bought. <laughs> um, I'm just imagining, like, Andromeda, like, chewing on something. It's just been a long day. She's fucking hungry. Fair. <laughs> it's lunchtime. Um, I love it. I love it. It's, yeah. Even though, even though she doesn't eat. eat. We're tired. Oh my gosh, she does it. <laughs> She's hungry anyways, okay? Alright. She's just stressed out. She needs to eat for fun. She just likes the chewing. She likes the chewing. It's yeah. the oral it's syndrome. Like the <laughs> it's, it's the oral fixation for her. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah, it is. Um, anyways, uh, come on, yeah, non um, in a in normal a, way, thank Calanthe, you. Calanthe, uh, just kind of, uh, looks at you as you say that in German and just kind of says, um, I'll take your word for it, um, <laughs> before she looks back at all of you and says, um, what about you lot? Where have you been? It feels like it's been, like, ages. Oh. <laughs> 
all over. <laughs> yeah. Been, yeah, where haven't we been is a better question. Yeah, that's the best we went back home. Yo, oh. missing one. There was usually oh. five of you and not a green man, but. Uh, we're missing uh, like full. Some are on lockdown at the moment, but. Yeah, um, and yeah. Um, Last time I saw you, um, I was holding onto the scanner for you. Did you? I didn't bring it with me. It, it's it's fine. We went back and got it. Um, yeah, we we grabbed which is it. Why we knew you guys were right. gone. Yeah, we saw the aftermath of the Wesley, other one. Wesley, the boy. Sorry. Wesley, is he all right? He's all right. Yes, he's yes, 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 yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank God. Good. Mm. Yeah. Good. Um, Well, as you know, you are welcome here if you do not have any strange tracking devices on you. We don't, do we? No. <laughs> I leave it? You had, okay. you had the... I left it charging, no. right? Yeah, yeah I left, left it charging, charging back in my room. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. good. I was oh, okay. like, no, do you yeah, want to? Yeah. Like, <laughs> <they'd be laughs> no, okay. So last time that she got really mad at you is because you had those like little wrist oh, things bracelets. on. Yeah, yeah so she's... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. Which they didn't know what to deal with because... Well, yeah, because they had like, they still have like the blockers for the TCDs. Yeah. Yeah. They just didn't have the technology for like the bracelets. Yeah, exactly. So, so it would be fine. And Even from what you've seen, like they don't seem to have that technology anymore, at least from where they're standing. Ooh. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, because there weren't any guards mm -hmm. with. The I'm trying to think thing. if we could, like, if there's anything we could ask her, but uh, I don't. This is a reunion. Uh, You're so fair. Yeah. I may want to talk to her about Sin, though. Mm, I was going to um, ask about Sin, but. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. So the last um, time we talked to her, she was, was asking us to find her. Already, yeah, yeah, already, she didn't know she where she was. Missing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, so she and That's she doesn't know. Like, okay. She doesn't yeah, know. Yeah, last time you yeah. saw her, well, she she, she uh, well, the time before the last time was when you guys were yeah, like the Arlo. Big one. Yeah. Yes, that was the and big one. That's why I had thinking about this. She had directed yes, you yes. to like Sin's desk, and like you had seen the, the carvings and all that yeah. stuff. And then yeah. the next time was leaving Mr. Wilson's apartment. And you mm -hmm. stopped at oh, Cardinal Alley, that's right, and only off. like a few of you went in to drop off the scanner, and then and and Wesley, yeah. and then you and left. Wesley. And yeah. well, then no, Wesley yeah. showed up. No, Wesley, yeah. yeah, later on. Um, um do you I know uh, anything about how Sin is or where? Have you seen her? Um, as you say this, <clears throat> you see her eyes kind of like glance over your shoulder a moment for where you guys stand um oh immediately looks blind they kind of, <laughs> I mean, oh, also really yeah they kind of they kind of fixate on something for a moment before you see like her lips kind of curve into a smile before you turn around and oh uh, it looks very different from the one that she'd been giving all of you it's a very like fond warm smile oh and uh, when you all turn around uh, or or just before you all turn around, um, you hear a familiar voice, and you oh. hear a suggestive lilt in the way that they speak, a tease in their pitch, and a smirk that lines their tone. And the voice says, hey, strangers. And within moments, you turn around. Oh my god, 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 I need a minute, I need a minute, I need a minute. And you see Sin Shadow standing there. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god! Shut the fuck up! Everyone, shut the fuck up! <laughs> she, she stands oh, there. Where are you with that? <laughs> she oh, stands there. There she is. There she is. Um, <laughs> she stands there before you all in her full glory, and she looks vastly different from the last time that you saw her. Fucking god! Um, she wears a simple. Yeah, she wears a simple black dress that hugs her curves quite beautifully. And her black raven-like hair shines straight and silky smooth in the light. Um, and it is long and uh, silky, essentially, looking Good. just very long, down to, like, lower back. Um, and her lips are painted this purplish red, and her eyes are lined in dark eyeshadow. And what still sits there across her complexion, however, is a light smattering of bruises that you remember seeing her with last. A small cut across her nose and her upper lip and her eyebrow. And it's a clear indication of just where she'd been and kind of confirms with all of you that she had in fact been there that you weren't fucking imagining hallucinating her. Yeah. um and she smirks at you all as though there's nothing strange about this interaction and kind of just opens her arms elegantly and says what no hug 
Arlo. Can, can I? <laughs> Arlo hugs her, Andromeda hugs yeah, her. I okay. just follow. I follow. Arlo hugs Tack. There. How did you. How did How you get out? What the hell happened? <laughs> what, what the, the hell, hell happened? happened? I'm gonna, really quick, I'm gonna turn you guys up so there's gonna be a loud noise chat. Sorry. I'm turning up on the computer, so yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> she. Uh, uh, she looks at you guys and she says, um, She's like patting you very softly, Arlo, and then patting you with another hand. <laughs> She's like, they're there. Um, and she kind of says, um, we, I missed her I so much. Her. I love um, her. I miss her so much. <laughs> she looks at you that's all. Mom. And she's got one of her mom. Yeah. Yeah. That's mom right there. That's that mom. mom right there. That's that is mom. mom. <laughs> she she fishy, looks yeah. at you all and she says, um, well, it seems that we might have someone on our side. It was a guard. That freed me. Under direct orders, apparently. Strangely oh. enough. I tried to get a read on him, but I came up empty-handed. Blocked, I guess you could say. Then um, she kind of looks down a moment, and, like, she, like, her, her little pats kind of turn to, like, little, like, more, like, they're a little, like, strokes on your guys' oh. backs. Um, and she says, um, he removed me from the cell in the middle of the night, walked me directly outside, and that was that. And I tried to ask questions, but he just ignored me. And so not wanting to push my luck, I got out of there as soon as possible. And here what I am. You... What, what did he look like? Basic. As any guard looked like. Yeah, basic. Basic, basic ass. <laughs> he looked like a basic <laughs> Basic <laughs> ass guard. <laughs> and so I'm just gonna like look up at uh, uh, Sin from where she is and she's mm -hmm. like, But what happens when when yeah. Rain was there? When he came in and we had to go. Oh, the man with the blonde hair. Yeah. Yes. Tobias. Tobias. Yes, he. He looked at me a moment, and I heard. All the noises, of the guards coming down the stairs, that she was not lying about, seemingly, and. He disappeared behind the door that led to the stairs. And I did not see him again. And no guards mm -hmm. ever came through. I assume he took care of them before that. Perhaps, but when the other guard led me out, there was yeah, no destruction, did... there was no dead bodies, there was no blood. And also, why wouldn't he just go back in and actually see Sin if he had gotten rid of all the guards? So there's no reason for it. I swear, if this man, like, made it seem as if people were storming down the hallway just to get us to, like, be urgent and go to Ostrado, I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> he definitely, like, isn't yeah. it? He definitely fucking did. Oh, my God. That's very... But why did he do it? <laughs> he's very that's very like, like, That's very Now or never. Arrow girl wants a key. Why did he say he was gonna tie up loose ends? But you also were on a camera, too. True. Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. And that was well, he didn't take care of that. And so, he, 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 he would have been on that camera, yeah. too. Like, Tobias oh, would have been true. on the camera. True. Well, so, that's I mean, the question. I, I, he could he very didn't... easily have been like invisible to the but camera. But also, he could have destroyed the cameras. He could have done anything. Nice. Why didn't he? Even though he's captured on the camera, too. Oh my god. Just I mean, unless he's working, I, unless he's like working with Finnick and it like he's doesn't matter. He's on working, the camera. Like, oh, probably. He's totally <laughs> working with someone, and he's like, or he's like sneaking in via like changeling vibes. And doing That's what I'm just thinking is like the guard was probably just like a changeling that like could have yeah. been actually Solar that Solar. was just like, hey, go release Sin, and then that's it. Like run errands. What if Finnick's just another form? Could be. I, I don't think that Finnick and Tobias are the same. I think they are separate, just separate working people. with each other. Yeah. Hmm. What if Finnick is... And we, and we saw the cameras, right? We, we recognized yeah. that they were he on. Yeah. And he, he actively pointed, he pointed them out. No, 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 no. I don't want him to point them out. Oh, yeah. They were what if Finnick yeah, is, like, fucking big ass? Because the thing is, he could have illusioned those. If he wanted uh, them, fair? if he wanted us to acknowledge that they were absolutely there to you, whatever, Finnick. I'll be honest though, on on that front, I probably would 
I would probably get you guys to roll like perception or something of that nature. Okay. So you can if kinda, they were fake or not. Well, we did though, because we we yeah. like we cached the entire room, and you didn't mention the cameras, and that's then true. he was there, and then you mentioned the cameras. I'm that's like, true. I I remember in that moment, I was like, that's true. I feel like we would have noticed those. You're and welcome. Like, well, they were they were high up. You're valid. <laughs> I'm like to be okay, <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> you're valid to be sus. They were high all along. God damn it. <laughs> Fiddick oh, actually doesn't have any proof on us. But... No, exactly. That's how it's like. <laughs> have... He's fucking bluffing. Uh, yeah. We could have... I mean, even still, though, we still need oh, to, no, like, him to fix up, like, some stuff. Because yeah. Silas is still in trouble. So. Sure. So is Arthurus. I feel like For my question reason, is, out of all of the, 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 like, personas we've seen, we have to assume one of them has been the Nexus sister just fucking watching us and, like, keeping an eye over us. Fair so which ones yeah. have it been? And would she, like, is it, like, because I'm, like, going back and forth between, like, I love when y'all theorize. To be, like, the Indra <laughs> and, the, like, 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 watching things or yeah. being, like, a Finnick, which is somebody who's, like, trying to regain and, and get control over the whole Actively entire situation. Actively manipulating mm-hmm. stuff. Depending on I how powerful she is or how much she's trying to like i don't i feel like rose yeah. is just the one who is like oh, like like oh, taking rose. a backseat in like people's like minds and like watching us like that yeah. one like like more of an observer yeah, yeah. like she's just yeah. keeping an eye on things which would make and sense so for is like Ryan, indra, though, maybe, so that's hard because like, indra <laughs> yeah. felt like an observer yeah she was just mm, trying to get oh it would have been so it would have been so good if you would have done the rewind thing now Haley, because we could have seen if it was actually finnick or not because if it was a changeling, you wouldn't get a, a dream oh, of the, yeah. Yeah. Been, uh, that would have been so good. Else. <laughs> somebody else. Oh, oh, terrifying. Okay, maybe. Wait, I lost. What were you saying? Like Sorry. if I if I had touched like like if if he had hand, done, like, the, the, like the, oh, he would have stopped you. But yeah. Gotcha. Oh, yeah. Well, mm-hmm. I hate that boss. Broke my arm. Like, if we were to have made a choice, <laughs> try. That it knows what the consequence. Like what would have happened? <laughs> like, I hate the outcome. What would Because the thing is, when when you like kind of were going, were you thinking when you were thinking about doing that? Um, as Andromeda, yeah. the last episode, Finnick was like challenging you. Yeah, he was like, I dare you. Yeah, he was like, I dare you to do yeah. that. So, yeah. huh? well, she was kind of doing it as like a her what thinking about doing it's like, oh, like, I could I could get us good information, yeah. and then she's like, wait, I'm not gonna do it because now he's gonna have, like, oh. She could have done that, but she didn't. So, oh, she's. What if, what she, if she, she, I'm, I trust her. Love. What mm. if we're having a love affair and he's wait, trying who? to love oh. her? Oh, oh, oh. Wow. Like, wait, 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 like I, I just love affairs. Love affairs are, are very something. strong motivators. They are, and they're a theme in this in this campaign. Also, Auntie Rose yeah. is very old, so mm. <laughs> not that that matters to anyone. Um, so am I. Happens, but yeah, I know. So am I. <laughs> I'm old as hell. <laughs> ancient, ancient. <laughs> oh yeah, let's go. Let's so. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go pee real quick. Yeah, go pee. Real quick. Oh, I, gotta, right, I'll be. I, I kind of have to pee too. So. Okay, let's go play. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, potty break. 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 Okay, potty Okay, five minutes. Got you. In between <laughs> your little reunion with Sin. We'll be right back at five minutes.
And hey, straight up. I also hey. wanted to. I wanted to say it on uh-huh. live because I was just gonna like throw it out here. Uh, I know your conversation with Sin has like barely oh. begun yet, but uh, I wanted to throw out that you guys got some got some interesting information about I her know. recently. We're gonna too. get there. In her house. Yeah. 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 We have more questions. I, 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 yeah, girl. I, I <laughs> remember that. That, that was my first hat. thought. <laughs> yeah. So, um, as she kind of explains this to you, uh, I guess that's kind of where we left off. She explained to you how the process was with her getting out of the, um, and the basic dungeon, guard. I suppose. And the ba- <laughs> the basic ass guard. Yeah. Basic ass um, guard. So basic. I love her for that. Uh, but she kind of just like smiles at all of you. Um, and, uh, kind of like looks you over a little bit and says, um, and you're all well. Last time I saw you, you were vanishing into a bright light of a portal. Apologies for leaving you, by the way. Oh, yeah. I did not take it personally. I know, but still. Priorities That's are sick. priorities. And there was no reasonable way to get me out in that moment, so. Yeah, that's, that's not And look where it was. led us. It worked out in the end. Lucky for us. All roads lead back home, I always say. You do. Don't do? say that. <laughs> Don't say that. Do you say that? <laughs> Fear. Don't say Speaking that. of home. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Speaking of home, we visited home. yours. And then we uh, destroyed the entire town. That was not me. That was not in character, by the okay. way. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say. I was about to say. That was convincing. I was I'm like, sorry. I'm wow. Sorry. I was doing a bit. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> no, you're good. You're good. Um, that was um, a lot. Speaking of home. Somebody else wants to segue that. Uh, when you say that, I literally give back. Arya this like cold, like the look of like. <laughs> before, before we get to that. We shouldn't have mentioned maybe that. Maybe. Sin, um. When you got captured by the academy, what mm-hmm. what happened? What 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 was that? What happened? Yeah, how did you get caught? What the heck? Yeah, um, Not a fault you, of, of mine, really. I had been happened. looking for you all to speak with you. It's very necessary that I speak with you. It still is, and we should get to that. Um, Here we are. But. I was sought out. The gods, they knew what I looked like. They knew who I was. They were suspicious of me. And they took me away. Down to their little prison below. Did they ask you questions or? Oh yes, many questions. What did they want to know? Yeah. Well, specifically the ginger one. Was Phoenix. You're kidding me. Hmm? What did the ginger want to know? <laughs> um, she she frowns. Questions of what I knew, what I could see. I mean, you guys are aware that I dabble in things of a psychic nature. She kind of, like, looks around a little bit, like, kind of, like, I mean, she doesn't know that you guys are, like, suspicious of things. Um, and she just kind of is, Ooh, like... Oh, don't be so modest. She's like, mm, they seem to know that as well. And they asked me questions, and they told me that if I didn't say what my mind was telling me, if I didn't tell them any time I had a premonition, you could say that they would beat me and that is what they did because I did not speak at all no I'm not an idiot still that's impressive hmm. Very. truth of the matter is is that I told Julian this a while ago I see that he is not present he's on a journey of self-discovery Good for him. Um, yeah. Yeah. Anywho, um. I told him at your stupid little dance party that you had a few weeks ago 
that I years couldn't ago. get <laughs> years ago. That I couldn't get <laughs> any work done. I couldn't I couldn't do any seeings for anyone. I couldn't get any more premonitions other than anything to do with you. Everything was to do with the group of you. Oh, that's sorry must have been bad that. for business. Flattery. Oh, terrible for business. Sorry. We're going to plus that rich now. Yeah, we're an annoying bunch, so that's a lot in your head. That's going to go straight to the ego. Okay, let's continue, Sid. <laughs> well, um, I guess that is part of the matter why I try to lead you towards the museum. Uh, you did. Uh, how? You're Darla! <laughs> She she shrugs. She's like, "Wait, are you Darla? I forgot you could change your appearance. Oh my gosh! Oh, I gave oh, you all the very it. same elixir. I, I, know. I know it's you been really a minute. You really pull off a bold red lip. You do. You really do. You really do. She's like always oh, very charming. <laughs> good accent too. That was good accent. Yeah, that's that's thank that's you. Nice. Accent work is quite fun. I feel very relieved that it was you. And I also feel very personal. relieved that it was Woo! you. Yeah. We've uh, had a lot yeah. of fucking people I thought someone was stalking us. us so. Wait, never mind. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I sensed something Wait, weird. Wait, what? Yeah. And so I figured it would be best that you check it out. Essentially, it had ties to you in some strange way. I do hope you found Did you something try to get substantial. In? Oh no. Oh, it was definitely something, all right. It was nothing that pertained to me. It was a lot of cool art. A lot that pertained to us. I may get visions, but I do not meddle where I am not supposed to meddle. That's probably what we should start implementing into our lives. <laughs> yeah, sounds like Honestly, a really good energy we're saver. So, we're yeah. so That's a great mindset to have. Peace, protecting your peace is good. Very good. Well, what you know for that? We could, we could. Uh, yeah, we're that. way too far into yeah, this. Too deep. You could have just told us, though. We it would have been nice to see you. Yeah. No, that is the thing. I sense that you are being watched. Oh yeah. Me too. Uh, Me too. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Probably from multiple uh, nods, sides. It is better but. that our interactions, if in a public place, happen in disguise. Okay. Especially when I'm kind like of little... wanted by a very scary academy. Could you give us like a little code of some sort so we know it's oh a bread lip? Apple. Oh. A bread lip. lip. <laughs> all your like all of them should wear bright lipstick. I all of us wear bright in. red lips. Not us. All yes. oh, your characters. <laughs> Arlo. Arlo's like. Red lip. <laughs> um. <laughs> She's gonna be sick. looks at all of you and she says, I will somehow, in whoever I am disguised as, make sure that I merge in the line bold red lip. <gasps> Thank you. Maybe cough nice. three times too or something just to. Don't do that. Drive Because germs. Because germs. Oh, well, it. you cover your mouth. Oh, right. mouth. She, <laughs> she, she, she frowns at you. She frowns at you. Why three? I times? put my hand in your face. Oh, again times. with the threes! Hit oh, on the nose with that one. Sorry, guys. Oh, yeah. Sorry. What do you know about threes, Sin? Yeah, what do you know about... Do you, do you, yeah, is, is there any significance number. to you? It is a number. Um, of, yeah. Any yeah. great significance yeah. to you? Are other people even... Any premonitions regarding the number Three. threes? The ideas? Why do you ask? been a lot of odd coincidences we're trying to put puzzle pieces together blindly we just right like now. to double check doesn't hurt we're very bad at puzzles Absolutely. speak for yourself i have been nothing but honest to all of you and something tells me you're not being very honest with me ask us honest. anything it's, ask it's, us literally it's, it's, anything. we just don't know where to start we, just we don't found know your house oh Okay, we can start well, I don't know. We okay, start we're starting sure, there, yeah, I guess. we're gonna start there. She okay, looks yeah. at you directly in the eyes and drawn, and she says, Oh, I assure you, you did not find my house. Uh, that's a horrible statement. Us? Care to elaborate? Yeah, on that. Um, what? Because we found the. We, we found your fake house. Holiday we found the, house? We, we found the, 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 the stones stacked, but. There was no we found the where you met Alder. And there was like a spirit guide kind Thawhorn. of thing. Thawhorn, yeah, Thawhorn, yeah. yeah. Thawhorn. Thawhorn there. Yes, that is where I lived for a time, I suppose. Did you like it? 
Okay, so I hope that's, you say no. Technically, you do have. I'm not a fan say no. of the cold. So no. Oh, not quite. So we have good news for you. No, no, I, I should have <laughs> drama it up. I should have drama it up. Andromeda, 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 Andromeda. I hope you continue. Focus. So it was your home for, 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 for a while? A minute? Yes. I moved around. <laughs> that's smart. No matter. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, we're sorry that we in invaded. If 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 that's what it feels like, um, we... no, 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 no. You're more than welcome to invade my home at any point in time. I don't quite care. Okay. The roof You're is just... going to cave in, by the way. Andromeda. Well, yes, I haven't you... been there for quite some time. About the roof? Oh. You intend on going back anytime? Ooh. I would advise against it's it. It's probably just... not even there. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. It definitely oh. caved in, all yes, right? Yes, the roof was caving in before the catastrophe, <laughs> but I think afterwards it's not there anymore. <laughs> it's definitely not there. The <laughs> problem is structurally. Uh, I would advise against going we, back in this um, game. We yeah. deleted Thawhorn. Why? <laughs> troll out the lead. <laughs> no, no, I, sorry, I, I was, he didn't say that. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. We dropped a mountain oh, on the horn by the way. Being stupid. Um, no, you're being adorable and I love you. You yeah. are. <gasps> don't dodge my bullets, don't dodge my bullets. <laughs> you're uh, cuter. <laughs> you. uh, <laughs> that was adorable. Uh, this is a great right. moment. <laughs> she, she looks at you all and she kind of says, um, I imagine... You rooted through my things. You are nosy beings. Well, to be fair, we didn't know it was yours until after we rooted through your things. So, to be fair, yeah. our, our safety right now depends on us knowing what's going on, and we don't know anything that's going on. So, you can't blame us for being desperate. We're very unsafe. Oh, I never said I had a problem with it. Just oh. that I know you did it. Oh, yeah, well, you're Sorry. right. It is fine. I am just as nosy. I get visions about people's lives. That's true. Were you anyway. having um, feelings about the number three? Because we read some things where you were going a little bonkers. Well, I wouldn't call it bonkers. I wouldn't call it bonkers, but well, you, so you so seemed a little obsessed. You were just really into it. You were just going. You are a hamster wheel. You were really, you know? really into it. Yes, but that is all. It was an unanswered question. Just uh, another. Still like Still unanswered. Oh, quite. For us as well. Uh, I need to look at her notes because I'm forgetting okay. all of them right now. Yeah. Well, you guys had a very big suspicion about her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. About her being backstory. Yeah. Baby. Okay. Uh, Sing. Uh, I need shadow, yes. shadow, shadow. Where are you from? You did say that we would never find your home, which yes, it doesn't some quite curiosity. exist anymore. I do think this is a conversation that we should have elsewhere. Do you mind like, following me a moment? Yes. Oh, yeah. Um, We're following lots of things, so please continue. <laughs> um, <laughs> and and as you had kind of like said this, as you kind of asked her this, her face had kind of dropped a bit paler um, than she already is. Mm -hmm. Her already pale complexion. Um, we're stressing her out so much. She's yeah, barely we're stressing, stressing this woman out. She, For real. That's yeah. all we do. We just she stress turns, it out. It's fine. Gently. She turns. But we also um, want answers. And she starts to lead you across the cellar floor um, and past like some of the other patrons that are hanging out in this space there. And she kind of glances over her shoulder, kind of like nods at Calanthe a moment. Um, and the vampire just kind of looks very disappointed that the conversation is ending so quickly between mm. her and you guys um but she well, well, we'll come back. We'll come back. <laughs> but she kind of okay. just like waves waves you off and um sin just kind of like nods at her and uh she immediately then beelines it towards what looks to be another small door in this um cellar area and she approaches it very quickly and she reaches for the handle before she kind of pulls it open and reveals another little area, much just like a simple room, um, but much smaller. Um, and she kind of gestures for you to enter, she kind of holds the door open for you, waiting. Um, but before you all walk in and before shutting the door, she raises a hand as Mud moves to move inside. And she looks at him and says, do you mind waiting out here, big man? 
And Mud just kind of like looks, he's like, sure. And he looks at you and Jorda. Are you good then? She's going to look at Sin and be like, why? Because it is important mm. that it is merely the four of you. She has a point. We have business. Mm. Business that I've been trying to get in contact with you for, for quite some time. We'll catch him up later. And I'll like, yeah. give you like a reassuring tap. Hey. She's gonna look at Mud. Just for a moment. Sorry, Mud. Mud's like, no, don't worry about it. And uh, uh, Sin kind of looks at him and she's like, uh, she looks at him and then looks at you, Andromeda, and is like, he'll be perfectly fine out here. Kalanthi can get him a juice box. He likes those. <laughs> and uh, and Mud's like, oh, yeah. And and Sin kind of just like points at Calanthe, um, and Mud's like, right. And that was his favorite. That was not blood. Uh, so I just, I just, I so I just made that up. <laughs> no, yeah, no, it's good. They're so soft, soft for real. Um, so soft. And uh, he he just looks at you and Jarman. Kind of gives you this like look of like. Are you like? Are you good? Are you good with this? Um, just, like, do you trust this woman? Okay. Um, and he just kind of like nods, and then he kind of starts walking back towards Calanthe. Um, and with this, um, <laughs> as Sin like kind of goes to close the door behind you, she like looks at you for a moment and draws and gives you a little once over smirks, and she's like, "Clingy." <laughs> Arlo yeah, like, like snorts. <laughs> Arlo <laughs> snorts out loud. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh, and I do want to say, Mud kisses your cheek before he leaves. Oh. Yeah. So um, so soft. But with this, Sin then shuts the door behind you, and you are all enclosed within this small room. And the room is decorated in more tapestries, just very decadent designs. Um, very, like, ornate, kind of just, like, swirls and very strange patterns, essentially. And there are blankets and pillows along the floor. And there's a small table that holds, like, strange bottles and elixirs and potions. Even a small, like, letter opener that sits beside them, as well as some intricate, like, little crystals and herbs and things of that nature. Um, there's a string of lights that kind of paints the dark room in this, like, faint glow. Um, and it's actually very cozy. And it's clear yeah. that this is a space. Nice. Yeah, this nice. is nice. <laughs> this it's is nice. nice. <laughs> it's it is clear that this is a space that Sid has kind of designated for herself and her business, perhaps. Um, meditation room. Yeah, a little yep. meditation seance room, essentially. Um, and the hustle bustle and the chatter that was happening kind of with the rest of the stowaways in the other room uh, kind of falls to a faint murmur as you're enclosed in this space. And Sin steps forward before she kind of like moves to where like the blankets and the pillows are on the floor and she begins to kind of kneel and she like sits down kind of like crisscross applesauce. She places her hands in her lap and she looks at you um, and she kind of like motions for you all to do the same. Sit on the floor. Sit on yeah. the floor. There are books, like pillows like, and blankets you said and stuff? Yeah, there's like, it's like just an array of like a comfy area on the floor. Like you would for a sleepover. Um, she doesn't have like, a cot. She doesn't have a cot in there. So it's just like... It's like literally it. like she made like a fort with like blankets and then like oh. pillows and things like that. Um, She's got fairy lights going on. This, this is so yeah. cinematic. This right? is so, so cozy. cozy. I love yeah. It. I love like cool. them all sitting here. Cute. I'm Thanks. really happy about this little moment. You um, should be. I've, I've, I've been like moment. vividly like imagining the cellar the whole time. Uh, it's been yeah. just so nice. It's so yeah. clear in my brain. I uh, yeah, yeah, me too. I love it so mm-hmm. much. Like um, nice and cool down here. Cool. Yeah. It's perfect. Oh, and the yeah. walls are like really cool. Like musty but nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah it's like yeah. that nice wetness. Like it's a little yeah. bit like cool wet, but not like in a yeah. gross way. Yeah. It's just like it's just like the perfect one. Like like in summer when you're like, oh, this is like mm-hmm. best yeah. relief. Yeah. yeah just yeah, yeah. for like the little the little no. more, for more ambiance. Um, Sin also takes a little like lighter or like a little match <gasps> probably more. So she like strikes a match and she lights some incense. Um, of course, and it oh, starts of course to she does. smell around the room, and it smells kind of like citrusy and pine. Oh, oh I want, no, I want to smell it. What the fuck? Do it. <laughs> I might. Um, and once you all sat, she kind of gets your incense. Yes, Ooh, I'm I beyond. S- You're living <laughs> in the moment. Living in the moment. Um, once you've all sat, she clears her throat, of course and that. I'm sat. 
And I'm for the sad. first time, her smug attitude kind of like that that smugness and that like confidence kind of like flutters a little bit to like a kind of like a nervousness. Um and she kind of like tucks like her hair between her behind her ears and like folds her hands. So she pretty. looks at you. She is she's fucking gorgeous. I love her. She's um, so pretty. And she looks at you all and watches you all carefully and she says, um, I thought it best that we have our own space to talk. The conversation with the group of you is obviously much overdue. So Yes. You have questions, I am sure, and I have words that must be said. Say them. Where do we begin? Guy, did you say them? What are your questions? Very good place. Let's get them out of the way. While you were in the prison under Ravenwood, do you know what was the uh, golden glow in the other room? I do not. Um... The ginger stopped by a couple times, glanced within, always had this look of longing on his face, as though oh. less yearning, more hungry, as though he needed hungry whatever for power. behind the door. Like desperation? Oh, boy, it's like the same exact way. He did, you're right. Well, the um, bias said just as beautiful as the day I first saw you. Hmm. And he was more like admiration, but like also maybe power mm-hmm. too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like power hungry. Um, she kind of takes a deep breath. She says, I'm, I do not know what is in there. Um, have not had a premonition about it yet. Have not been able to take a gander. So I only know what I get through others visions, premonitions, essentially. Me, myself, I'm oblivious too much. Where? Where am I from? Yeah, where are you from? (laughs) I have to know. I was hoping you'd forget that you asked me. I mean, if you don't want to talk about it, you do not have to. (laughs) But now is a better time than ever. She looks at all of you, and then she looks at you, Andromeda. Um, And she takes a deep breath a moment as though kind of like steadying herself. We are very alike, Andromeda. You and I. So much so that our homes are the same. You are from the grove? Yes. The same grove? The same. Then why did you say that we hadn't found your home? That we couldn't? We've been to the grove. It does not exist there anymore. It was far beyond Andromeda's Is time. It... Was it by the capital? No. I left. If there's one thing I'm good at doing in my life, it is running away. And I ran away. And I imagine they looked to destroy any and all evidence that I have existed. We certainly saw none while we were there. So that stands to reason. Corinthos. That is my last name. Why do you think I asked, Haley? <laughs> That's why you pinned it at the chat <laughs> two nights ago, too. I wanted to see if you'd react. I don't know. What, what does the last name mean? It's just the name. It's of, another family another name. Family. In the of part Grove. of your family. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. In the Grove, yeah. Oh, in and the Grove, okay. she slowly kind of, like, takes a deep breath, and you see her turn, and she grabs her dress shoulder. And she pushes it down. And you see for a moment this, like, flicker as though an illusion is breaking. And you see there on her back, like, she barely even has to pull because she's wearing, like, a low-cut, like, dress. But because the illusion flickers and she lifts it slightly, you see the willow tree birthmark there. Does it look the same as mine? Is it black or is it? It looks the same as yours. Oh, okay. And she turns back. It's not a dead tree. 
No, not a dead tree like Riley's. Um, when she takes a deep breath, oh, and she says, um, oh, 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 Riley. Um, oh, oh, Riley. Oh, oh, Riley. I don't, Um, <laughs> she takes a deep breath, and you see that illusion kind of like flitter up her skin again, and it vanishes. And she looks at you and she says, um, as you know, there are many different families in the grove, and you can imagine the elders panic when they realize that it wasn't just the Chrysocomas that were born with birthmarks, Andromeda. <clears throat> Why didn't she say anything? It is a touchy subject, and not one that I like to dwell on. It is one that I have tried to eradicate from my life for quite some time. But I, I was right there. Yes. Like I said, I run away, Andromeda. If I can live without the existence of my past life coming up, then I will. It is one thing to be reminded, and to have been reminded every time that I see you. It is another to tell you all the moment that I see you. If you would like to know, it is Aventine Corinthros. Oh, that's so pretty. It's so pretty. <laughs> and she, <clears throat> Close the throat oh. a moment. She says, but I prefer sin, so do not ever call me that. Do you understand? Sin is good. Sin is sin is very pretty. It's easy to pronounce. Mm -hmm. Well, I was... <laughs> <laughs> she, she nods quite, but I was a sin Mouthful. to my grove. So that is the name choice. Do you have a better understanding of what the birthmark means or what it implies and why the grove is so terrified of it he said yeah i know that it means if you have it you are not accepted you are not one with the grove you are an outlier you are a curse She closes the door. She sits back. Yeah. Folds her hands in her lap. I was betrothed very young. Extremely young. And we were meant to be, so meant to be, that it was positively painful. And every day, I got more and more fed up with routine, with tradition, with all of these duties that I was supposed to uphold, even though everyone looked at me as though I was some sin. <laughs> And so I started sneaking out because the more fed up I got, the braver I got too. And I ventured, I explored Gulf of Lagoon, farther even. I spent a lot of time at Salgrave before inevitably leaving the grove. And she makes this face as though she is like, not giving all the details, but trying to be vague. Um, and she nods once and says, um, I found safety in Frost for a while before I traveled further up to Thalhorn. And that's where I stayed until the rupture. I dabbled in illusion magic. I learned how to use it to best serve my needs. And so this is how I portray. And it is so much better. Never once did I get strange looks. Never once did I find people alarmed at the way I stared them down. I was no longer a curse. So that is how I have stayed. 
are you photosynthesizing enough? <laughs> oh, um, no. She nods. When I can make it out of the cellar, yes. It is hard when you are on the run, but I make do. Anyway. I am glad. Yes. Oh. No, she was just going to say any other questions. Oh, okay. I'm glad that you were able to get out. You're not a sin to us. Not a sin, but simply sin? Simply sin. Wonderful. Just sin. My favorite type. <laughs> My favorite type. There... There was another... Dryad with her. Had you? Yes, there are many. So I've heard. Her name was Riley, and she had no leaves. It was a dead tree. You see her, like, whole expression, like, drop. <laughs> Everyone is <just> like... <laughs> um, and she, like, you, as though you can feel, like, ice cold come off her, like, almost like she's just frozen in place looking at you. And you can kind of hear the way her breathing, like, quickens. No leaves. But a tree. Right. Do you know her? No. Was she yours? She was never mine. <clears throat> Full story then. Fuck. <laughs> she kind of was like, "Oh, I love her. I love her. So much. <laughs> I love her so much. I'm mm -hmm. freaking, freaking, freaking losing right now." <laughs> Um, oh, fuck. so good. I love her so much. She's so good. You. She's so good. I, I, She's everything to me. This is so cinematic. Like, I feel like I'm watching a movie right now. Like, I'm yeah, literally. Right We're in the movie. She okay. takes oh. a very deep breath and she says, um, I met someone in Salgrave. He was a necromancer. That was his passion. Interesting. He was just passing through, and he was devastatingly handsome and untouchable, and I put my all into flirting with him until we ended up in a bed together. And I was very well done. the nitty-gritty yeah. details. But I think about him always. I miss him always. And I never thought it possible that I could ever meet someone and fall in love, so destructively in love, within merely a conversation. Let's try it, then. I suppose, maybe. <laughs> And she looks kind of dazed, almost as though she's, like, entering a memory. Mm -hmm. um, and she says, uh, we went our separate ways, and that was that. It was one time. And it, it ended up not just being that. It, it ended up being that I found out that I was expecting. And not in the way that it was simply a dryad child that... We are known to have not a sapling. It showed. I showed. There was no hiding it. The whole grove would know. And they did. Because when I returned, I didn't know what else to do. And when I found out, I didn't know what else to do. And when my betrothed found out, he tried to help me, bless his heart. And we made up some silly fable that something had gone wrong, that I was wrong in some way, be it the mark on my back or the curse that I bring to the grove. It worked for a while and I intended to stay. I intended to stay at the grove. I was going to, Andromeda, you would have known me. I was going to raise my bastard child alongside my betrothed and that was going to be that because he was willing and then i overheard a conversation a plan 
between the elders to rid the grove of me. We can call in the reinforcements once more, they'd said. Do the same as we had with Alicia and then feed the child to the swamp sirens. Jeez. Needless to say, I acted very quickly. The second my child was born, I left, I ran, and I ran so hard and so quickly that I did not look back. And I only stopped when I heard voices in the trees near Salgrove. Voices I recognized, Salgrave locals that I had met. And so I left her there. Knowing full well that she would get stares from people at the mark on her back, that she was already in danger, I still left her. But I knew that they would raise her to be better than I ever could. We were going to name her Arabella. It means beautiful. And she was that to me. But I think I prefer Riley. I'm glad to know that she is alive and well. She's a lot like you. Is she? In the best in the best I, way. I, I, yeah, she's very cool. She is doing very well. She's got a big heart like you. Oh, I wrote her a song. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was fun. She took a lot of our gold. She yeah. did. It was well worth it. We get she, it. As you say that, as you say that, Sarah, <laughs> she's like... So proud. Yeah, she's like <laughs> smiling. Sin, who, who was your betrothed? I just kind of want to know. Um, I don't think it is anyone that you will know. Mm-hmm. Like. She so had a plan for me too. Did you ever find out what it was? My brother tried to stop it. I am glad that you had someone there to try and stop it. Anywho, <clears throat> and she like kind of switches, oh, like takes a deep breath, <clears throat> adjusts her hair, kind of like pushes out her eyes a moment. <laughs> Enough on me. <clears throat> Correct. We should. There are things that I need to talk with you about. Now okay. that we have cleared the air, it is time for me to clear the air as well. Thank you for telling us. Thank you for listening. And not judging. No, of course. I, I know what, how it felt like to grow up there. So nauseating, stifling, restricting, kind of shitty, <laughs> suffocating even. Mm hmm. Yes. I'm glad you got out. I am as well, although I do have regrets, because perhaps I would have known you if I had stayed. And we could have had each other. Uh, re sorry, real quick, um... Yes. Uh, yeah, I'm walk scared. us through it. Jaden, we'll get back to you real quick, one sec. Okay! What? I'm so wait, scared. what? I mean, fear. Wait, wait, what? What? Bro, so bro, you're freaking me out, bro. Uh -uh. I'm freaking out. I'm freaking. I'm freaking. I'm freaking, I'm freaking out. I don't know what this is about. Who the fuck? I want to know who who her betrothed was. Hello. I want to know too. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. Either I I don't know if maybe Bob didn't write the betrothed. Is there actually? She just didn't answer. She just didn't answer. Oh, she oh. just didn't. Answer it. Okay. She just said the, the, way that she had, the way that she had said it felt very much Jay, like Jay. Check Jay, check Jay, your DMs Jay. real quick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. <gasps> Oh, uh, 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 this is not even to do with DD. Don't worry, you guys are good. Oh, okay. Oh. Well, then Boring. why are you- Oh, that's true. Why are you secretive? 
Well, because we're on live, I always forget where we're on. Oh, true. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, well, just tell us where your buddies. <laughs> yeah. Specifically, pound sign, babe. Oh. Pound sign? Yeah. Um. I'll, yeah, t- I'll tell you guys. I'll tell you on break. Oh, it's <laughs> just Bay being really sweet. I'm sorry. Um, I didn't realize I should have asked that. Do you want me to say something to her? Is she home? I think so, yeah. Okay, don't don't say anything. Oh, I, I know, know what you're talking about. Yeah, I know what you're talking about now. What? They <laughs> <laughs> Haley still lost. They, they got my mom. Uh, Bruh, oh, they were calling so much and I didn't know what was happening because I didn't recognize the number. And oh, I was like, no. but then they texted me. So I was like, oh, I was... I literally put okay. my phone on. You're you so know, fair. You're so like, fair. What is happening? Okay. So fair. So sorry about that. You're good. You're so so funny. I love you. What? <laughs> what? what? Oh, back to what? Really what? Uh, really really cool. Cool. No, yeah. She just didn't say anything. She just took a breath and didn't say anything. Wait, about what? When? About uh, who's her betrothed name. name? Oh yeah. Yes. Just drop the name. Sorry. I want to know the name of the necromancer. I'm gonna be honest. If, if she got it, uh, <laughs> if if she got it. I mean, what was the uh, necromancer's name? Love, love her life. <laughs> As she's moving it, are you actually asking her this right yes. now? Yes. I mean, she's trying to move and on. Probably but wants the tea. <laughs> she is literally like staring at you. Like we were moving on. Never mind. <laughs> Got it, got it, got it. Social we can keep an eye out They're though, if you ever, you know. <laughs> I think I think she's got it handled, guys. Got it. Yep. Try it. Yep. <clears throat> she looks at all of you. Questions for us? She moves on. She's like, or answers <clears throat> for us. So Julian is on self discovery. Correct. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Last we heard. Last word. Okay. God, so there has been a lot of suffering and I need to get to it. <clears throat> I am, first of all, she looks at you, Arlo. Very glad that you all found each other again. Yes. Thank you for your help with that. Mm, what yes. I wouldn't have given to Take see down. what that potion made you look like. <laughs> Normal. Okay, you did take it, correct? Yes, so, we okay. did. You didn't BS was... your way through that situation. I mean, we still kind uh, of, I mean, we still did. We still kind of did. But you helped a lot. We we, it, 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 so There's not a situation where you don't BS our way through. Yeah. You got a sprinkle. So Thank you. A little sprinkle. Glad to help. Definitely put the end pieces together. Mm-hmm. We're such idiots. Yeah. <laughs> um, she yeah. doesn't even like red. Like she doesn't even like. Yeah. No. She just moves on. She's like. There is something concerning in the way that you tell me that Julian is no longer alongside you. It is, it has come to be as I suspected, as my mind had alerted, and yet I hadn't caught on. When I was captured, I was looking for Julian, and subsequently all of you. Um, and then I was taken by the godforsaken cavalry of Ravenwood. I am I keep trying to find other visions tucked away in my brain like I said somewhere but it only comes upon you all of you but there is a distinct difference Julian felt different another entity altogether It was all five of you still, but Julian was more of a, more of a chess piece of sorts, or so my mind likes to supply me. Mm. A piece in some, sorry. So I just heard it a lot today. Don't move back for the third time, actually. Um, It is as though he is a piece in a grand game of chess that I still can't identify. And I am trying desperately to identify. As are we. She takes a deep breath and she kind of like gets to her feet for a moment and she like stands and she's kind of like looking down at all of you and she kind of like runs a hand through her hair and then kind of like tugs slightly and kind of like in this like frustration with the situation. 
and she kind of as she moves so quickly she also like winces slightly almost as though like she's still kind of in this like pain from being in the dungeon um arlo you're up <laughs> i know that's I, I, that was the next thing i was gonna do Arlo. Nothing is. I was just waiting for her to talk about her shit. Fair. She takes a deep breath. She takes a deep breath, um, and it's very shaky. And she kind of says, "Um, anyhow, my next move was to see what I could figure out amongst the group." A seance of sorts, a a mind meld, if you will. I'll be stronger with you all in the room, and through connecting with each of you first, it would help me to find out why it's you for constantly <clears throat> she takes a deep breath she looks at you are you all willing i'm uh, willing but i'm gonna be honest i don't know if it's going to work for me at least what um, does this entail exactly how <laughs> melted are we going to be she looks at you Arya. Oh, no. just kind of says Sorry. <laughs> Allow me to try. Yes. And then she looks at you with with Aaron. Um and she says, um not much. I'll get a a feeling, an insight on each of you. Just to connect and then and then I will connect with a group of you and get insight on that. The thing is is once we have formed the connection Whenever we do this in the future, you will not need individual connections with me. I will already have them. It will just be this once. Sounds convenient. That is kind of not for you, though. I mean, in this circumstance, yes, but it also feels... Oh, yes, I will be tucking my hair out of my head after you guys leave, but that is fine. Oh, what? Because she's going to just Are have you it. Are you certain? It is you necessary. don't have to do this. It is necessary. I am tired of running away. I don't want to run from this. Well, I will we'll help do you find answers. answers. Yes, we'll, we'll do yeah. everything we can to help you get answers. And we'll help each other. I've been connected That's with sweet. all of you since the beginning, since Alda. She looks at you and Jonah. It is clear that I play some role in this. And so if you will allow me to try, then I will try to help you. What do you need? Well, who wants to go first? If you are all willing, if you are not all willing, it will not work to form a strong connection. I feel willful. I I feel hopeful. <laughs> I feel willful. <laughs> I consent I, to this. Yeah. I think it'll help. Anything will help. Theron. <laughs> <laughs> She looks at you too, uh, Theron, and she, like, kind of frowns. Listen, I, when I do this, I cannot, I am not quite in control of myself. There is a chance that I, I could say something. But if it helps, I would try with every morsel of control in my body to not say it aloud. That is what you would prefer. You've done so much for us. I suppose this is the least we could do. And if it will give us answers, then I am willing. We could plug our ears to you. Yeah, would that work? <laughs> la 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 but it is only not, insight, not secrets. Do not delve too deep, if you can help it. Don't. Would you like to get yours over with then first, Theron? No. <laughs> I'm not going first. <laughs> no, thank Man. you. She looks at all of you. Who's first? Andromeda. I can go. Kind of my thing. <laughs> and you see oh, her, her like you see this like, interesting <laughs> you see this like kind of slump in her as though like you're very much clearly seeing like this like exhaustion written in like her features and like her body language but she is like there is also this like underlying determination there of like she just wants to help she wants to figure shit out because she's tired of being tormented with this stuff um and so she sits back down on the floor before you 
Andromeda. She crosses her legs again. And she nods at you. And she says, You won't feel much. Just like a weight in your mind for a moment. And then it will vanish. Okay. Okay. And you're just going to like look through there? I'm not looking. It is more of a, a feeling. I'm okay. not searching through your thoughts. It is... It is though your mind gives me a single insight. Okay. Something to work with. My power meeting your mind, essentially. You um, too. <laughs> I, oh my god. I didn't even notice what was happening. We're stopping now. It's getting serious. Everyone, oh you're, good, you're good. You're good. All right. Um, all right. I missed. I missed it. Um, all right. <laughs> she <laughs> takes your hands, and. You see that her head kind of like arches backwards a slight bit, but she retains this like focused eye contact with you and not in any way that like when you do your visions, your head kind of lolls back and you, you go back into this like world. But for her, it is though she is like looking at you so intently, but with this like kind of otherworldly daze that like she's not there. Or that she's like sub separate from her body almost um and she focused this is she focuses this like intense concentration on you and it probably makes you want to squirm a little bit probably the rest of you probably want to squirm it's a little like... bit because it's a little eerie um and as though the illusion is cracking an inch again you see her eyes flicker to this full sclera of gold um, much like your own. Oh, and, she's so pretty. <laughs> oh, um, so pretty. Before they kind of, they flicker in between the gray that they were to like this gold shade and they glow slightly. Um, and as she stares at you, she kind of like looks you directly in the eye and she says, it wasn't your fault. And she removes kind of um, her eyes from you, or no, she doesn't remove her eyes from you without removing her eyes from you. She's still dead stare at you, but her hands move of their own accord and they lift and one of them sits atop your bandaged arm where beneath is malformed. And she says, you bear such a weight when in reality, nothing sits along your shoulders your brother, your fiance, your parents, your grandfather, none of it rests on you. And she takes kind of a steadying breath before she kind of like blinks and she frowns and she pulls back and her eyes are that solid gray again. And then she leans closer to you and it is clear that she's more herself now, that she is back in some way. And she looks at you this time like and really looks as a like genuine sincere sympathetic look in her eyes and they kind of look glazed over like wet and sad and she says um andromeda i should have said this before but any and all disaster that we face that we face and she like places a hand like on her shoulder to like kind of gesture towards her back it is no one's fault but the elders of the grove. They took a beautiful thing in what we are and they destroyed the very courage that resides within us. We are not cursed. You understand. Even if you do not believe it, just nod your head. I am a coward. So am I. But being cowardly and being evil are two very different things. Mm. 
nobody else is going to fix it but me, so. We are all fixing it. And she kind of like lets go of your hands and kind of readjusts, blinks a couple times as though kind of trying to blink back any emotions. Um, and she looks back at the rest of you. Who's next? Andromeda like crawls away. Oh, <laughs> she like, so goes to fair. the corner. So she's just fair. like sitting in the corner with like. like she's real for that. Like a hugging a pillow, a blanket oh. over her. Her face is in the just, corner and she says. <laughs> Aria just rubs her back. Oh. Like, doesn't turn, she just puts her arm out and just starts rubbing her back in, like, slow little circles. Oh. Arlo comes and sits in front of Sin. Bless. Okay. Um, Sin looks at you. <laughs> Sin looks at you. She kind of smiles. Hi. For the record, I am sorry about what you went through. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> um, she sits up straighter and she places her hands on yours. And the same thing happens. You see this like trance-like feeling wash over her almost, this aura, and her eyes flash that gold again. And she fixates you with this stare, this dead-eyed stare. And she says, you seek your brother. You want to get yeah. him out, both of them. Out of where? And you see her hand, her eyes do not stray from you, which she lifts a hand up and very softly taps your nose before removing her hand while she still stares at you. And she says, he is right under your nose. That's weird because my sister keeps saying that she lives within me too. Under. Where? <laughs> under. under like physically physically under and you see her eyes as she, she blinks oh and she looks at you I'm sorry it's okay you booped me on the nose <laughs> that's really strange of me that's okay <laughs> yeah I'm not quite sure um, what any of that means so, so, so take from that what you will I'm gonna think about that for a second I yeah. have some ideas my goodness Uh, didn't even know you had family. Yeah, I didn't either until recently. Congratulations. Thanks. Although my family sucks, so maybe it's not. Fingers crossed that when I find them, they don't suck. Because that's a lot of effort for major suckness. <laughs> that was so, that was, that was such, that a, was so that was such a movie line. Like, that I was really such a movie would. line. Really <laughs> like, straight out of, like, straight out of, like, a teen, yeah, right teen, like, like, yes. yeah, that was beautiful. That was um, fucking funny. <laughs> major that sickness. Was um, <laughs> she, that's a lot of work for major sickness. She that's just, a lot of, she just kind of fixes you with, with a look that's just kind of like, okay. And then <laughs> she, she looks at, she looks at Arya and Wit between both of you, and she just says, um, Theron. I keep saying with you know, you know. I know, I know. I know. Um, know. um and Theron gets up and gets in front of her. Oh. Or like slides on. Okay. Before Arya, interesting. Um <sighs> I'm gonna be last. I don't wanna be first. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna slide right, right in the slide middle. Right? Right? Slide in the middle. I was, I was literally about to say, I was gonna it's say that Arya looks guys. over it's at it and it's like Grand finale? She, she <laughs> take grand finale. She speak freely. Speak uh, freely. Sin. She nods and she takes your hands, but before she kind of goes in her little trance, she looks at you and she just says, um, thank you for trusting me. Thank you for doing this. I will do this and more. And she places both her hands on top of yours. Andromeda and plugs her ears. <laughs> oh, and turns it to the corner. So, you, eyes... you guys are fine. You guys are fine. You guys are fine. I trust you guys to do well. You see her eyes widen and that gold flash by before Pretty. she is fixing you with that stare. And she frowns, though her eyes still remain wide. 
and she says, so many lies, but it is not you who keeps them. Is that his true name? And then she blinks. <clears throat> she clears her throat. <clears throat> not so bad. Yeah? <laughs> that was a shorter one. Not so bad. <laughs> Arya just puts her up. Theron joins up. Andromeda in the corner. <laughs> yeah. Probably <laughs> hugging the pillow. No. Hey. They're all hugging Sin's little pillow. She's like, Arlo, like Arlo's like doing a thing where he's like he's like pacing back and forth in the room and like watching. Fair. And he's Fair. like He's like looking at his Yeah, he's like he's like no. He's like, yeah, no, he really is though. He totally is. <laughs> He's like, Andromeda. he's like looking under, like he's looking under things, like, <laughs> yeah. No. yeah. Andromeda, when, if Theron joins her, she's gonna like lean into his shoulder and like oh. kind of like lay her head yeah. on his shoulder. His arms stuff. around her, it'll be rocking gently. <laughs> she's like, ain't that a bitch? Yeah, <laughs> that, that is a bitch. Oh. Thanks, Sin. Uh, good, 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 good luck, Arya. She's, like, she's like, listen, I'm sorry, I can't, I can't. Anyways, okay. It's okay. Sin, you're fine. It's not on She's you. She's psychoanalyzing our ass. <laughs> Sin, She's it's not here. your fault that we're all traumatized. She's over here getting all your trauma out and doesn't know what to do about it. She literally can't control it. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, she looks at you, Arya. Are you ready, redhead? <sighs> Once again. And she puts her hands out. <laughs> and she takes them. I get it. this way. She nods. She kind of frowns at you. And then she closes her eyes. And when they open, she does that stare. But within moments, she blinks. And she frowns. And she looks at you. Are you blocking your mind from me? No, this is what I was worried about. I'm not blocking it. It's someone else. Oh, that is concerning. Why are you not concerned? Um, no, we are. We are concerned. Uh, we are concerned, <laughs> but it's not the biggest right. concern. It's just more concerned. So, so, um, Sin, I... Oh, God, I got it. Okay, um... No, perhaps I can slip past it. Give me a moment. Uh, but just um, be careful. And she I'd be interested closes, because... closes her eyes. Arya, like, Arya, like, kind of pulls her hands to, like, get her attention. Yeah. It's just, like... Oh, she grips them tighter. Um, just, and she closes she her She doesn't, eyes. like, pull away. She, like, pulls it to get her attention. Oh, gotcha, like, gotcha. Her, her eyes at her. Gotcha. She um, she's not. She's still like holding her hand. She's just not like. Yeah. Fair. Um, her eyes just, are closed, but when they open, uh, nothing. Just be careful. <laughs> Dead stare. Um, and as she is sitting there, you see her brows like kind of like crease forward as though she's like really concentrating, um, and her eyes are really wide and they flash to gold once more, but they stay like that for a longer moment, oh. and. Something else catches your attention, and it mm -hmm. is a stream of blood that slowly drips from her nose no. and kind of rolls okay. down before. Uh, can she I have lets... Arya also think to like try and yeah, of course, leave some space open? She's of just course. gonna be consciously like she's gonna open a little bit of door. There. She's trying to she's trying to like push. There, like, just let her squeeze in a little. Um, a little crack. So it's not as hard. Okay. She. I don't know. Let her weasel her way in. After a few seconds, drops your hands and pulls back in her eyes, and she blinks. Arya like eyes. instantly like leans up to like wipe back her nose. Fair, and she she kind of looks and she she like kind of in that not in like the rude way, kind of like bats your hand and like kind of wipes a little bit and looks at you and says, "Um, that is far too strong a hold." Yeah. <sighs> what sort of trouble Sorry. have you been up to, Arya? Um, not exactly. Tr okay, everything's a little trouble. Um, I don't exactly. Okay, I don't exactly know what there's, it is. There's another option. I okay. There's a chance that I could try to reach out to this individual should you attempt it along with me. Oh. Do you understand? Oh, that's interesting. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, yeah. We could we ask can... them to lower the wall. Momentarily, of course. I can put back a temporary one until they can return theirs. Arlo looks at Arya and says, 
Do you think you're ready for something like that? Worth a shot? Uh, let's just hope he is. Okay. Let's try. You've spoken with him before, I take it? It's kind of my dad. What is it with you and family? All of you? <laughs> Don't bring me into this. <laughs> hey. Uh, she looks at you with, or there and she's like, no, not you. The rest of them. Uh, we were in a fortune. I didn't ask for this. Yes. <laughs> we were in a fortune. I only bored. I only bored. It's true. Like, what option do we have? I was so bored. Fair. Like, unfortunate. Just Listen, we were born in those. I was a child <laughs> born of unforeseen circumstances. Um, I mean, Arlo could have spawned in. We still don't know. She <laughs> looks at us spawned in. She looks at you, Arya, and just says, um, I, I'm, I'm not sure whether I should be sorry or wish you congratulations as well. I also don't know. So that's okay. Cool. Okay. Um, so. Let's <clears throat> try. Um, I don't know if it make it any easier. Um, uh, he's... just try to be gentle. He's kind of touchy a little bit. So. You are going to be doing most of the talking. I will simply be there. Oh, that's great then. We're good. That's fine. I hope. Let's. Right. Mm. And she puts her hands on yours once more. Hey. And this time, as she opens her eyes, when she opens them, they are just gold. The illusion is like long gone now on her eyes. And she is just staring. And you just kind of hear her sort of in this like robotic voice. She says, um, close your eyes and go to where you've seen him before. Arya kind of like looks around at the rest of the group and then just, um, imagines the void. There. Yes. Arya, as you close your eyes, you immediately sink into thoughts of that dark room resting in the pit of your scrambled mind, to the ink-ridden world that you've begun to find such comfort within, to the place you first saw your father hunched over before you, but so very real, to the place that, oh, I've said my words too many times, sorry, to the place, to the place, <laughs> you think it into existence, strive to carve your way through to it, but you haven't tried this yet, not entirely, reaching him when you're not asleep, perhaps because you know it is so hard for him to meet you halfway. Alas, when you try to revisit that spot, closing your eyes and willing the dark abyss that descends upon you, when you're deep in your subconscious, you find yourself faltering. And normally it appears when you're in the hold of a slumber, not like this, and even though you can feel it sitting there waiting for you at the back of your mind, it doesn't quite drip into your mind. And that is until Sin Shadow grips your hands even tighter to the point where you can almost feel her nails kind of digging into your flesh as she holds you there. And you suddenly feel your brain almost spark to life as though something gave it a little bit of a push and it is in a way that feels so very surreal. And you feel the walls around your mind beginning to drip with ink yeah. until the abysmal blackness is forming around you as though sin is helping to build it for you, painting darkness in every corner of your thoughts. And you find yourself in that rift once more, a liquid black beneath your feet and a dark oblivion surrounding you. But what's different now is that Sin is standing behind you, a hand on your shoulder, a hovering figure that appears, that appears perhaps not quite comforting being there, but not unsettling. And each movement that she makes, each movement that you make, sounds as though you're walking or moving in inky puddles. And she glances at you a moment, nodding her head your way, as though to encourage you. You do not see him. You do not see anyone. Not yet. What do you do? Um, 
Okay. Oh, uh, oh, okay. I love this um, shit. I live for this oh, shit. It's so good. It's so cool. <laughs> it's, it's, I can literally imagine it. It's so good. Good, good, um, good. Uh, I think the first thing she would try to do. Um, Mm, okay oh god ah, okay sorry the first thing she does is scream into the void no, just kidding. fair um she's so real for that she should honestly maybe that'll help um uh i think the first thing she does is probably just like try to call out um it's just like father uh dad <laughs> Are you here? Papa? Father? Um, after uh, a moment. Dad, we haven't really picked out a name yet. Hello? Hello? Uh, after a moment, you hear a faint shuffling in the abyss. A footstep. A subtle movement. But you do not see anyone yet. You do hear, however, the deep rumble of a familiar baritone as Orion's voice calls out, Aria. Oh, there you are, hello. Okay. You've brought a stranger. Um, okay. Sin, uh, Sin just kind of like steps around, like, actually I'm a friend, but. Yes, yeah, she is a friend, not a stranger. Um, so, uh, d d very close. Um, we were just gonna ask quickly. Um, <laughs> sorry, this is literally the same energy as bringing your friend up to your parent and doing a dance to see if they can spend the night. That yeah. is this energy. <laughs> this can, is I so sleep over at Sin's house? <laughs> can I sleep over at Sin's house? Can I sleep? It's Sin's house in my, in my dream between. land. Yeah. Um, uh, in my head. Um, uh, okay, so um, this is my friend Sin. She's really good at um, figuring things out, especially with the brain, but uh, because of the little block that we have, um, it's really hard for her to try and uh, figure anything out that's going on that maybe um, could help us. And um, I was just wondering if you could possibly bring it down just for a little bit and then she could help me put a temporary back one up until you are able to do it. But come back. After... Also, hi, I've really missed your voice. It's really nice to hear from you. No. After a beat of silence, you hear more shuffling and the sound of movement. And it's far more aggressive now as though he is almost like materializing out of the dark. Like trying to get there. Yeah. yeah. And within moments, he steps into view. And I think he's... she kind of <laughs> Oh, it's runs. terrifying a little bit too when he steps out because he's just this yeah, tall, sure. slender figure that starts looming oh. over the both of you. And even Sin is just like, uh, she's kind of just staring like, okay. Um, and his eyes glow that like lilac, like lavender shade in the darkness. Um, and his hair is long and spindly and it drops down his face and body as though it itself is made of ink as well. Um, and he looks paler, almost significantly like weaker almost, as though his strength is dwindling with each moment that he is standing there before you. And he looks at you and he says, um, you realize how dangerous that is, right? You're immediately an open target. And how do you know you can trust this woman? Since so just like, I'll hold myself. I don't, but I have to try. It is worth trying. What if she finds nothing of substance? Then I just keep trying. Fine. I will lift it. But there is no telling how soon I'll be able to block it again, do you understand? Please be careful. I trust you, and I trust that you know what you are doing. Oh, that's a lot of trust. Okay. It is implicit. You are my daughter. The trust will always be there, even if you break it. Well, that's new. Okay. I'm 
sorry. Do not be. Just be safe. I'm sorry also for that. I can't promise anything. I've been making too many promises today. Okay. He just says, um, and he kind of like fixates you with like a very serious stare, um, even as like weak and like brittle that he looks. He looks down at you and he says, um, I will do everything in my power to return the block as soon as possible. Just return. That's all I want. <laughs> Thank you. Um, he nods once very slowly. And, and I think that, like, mm-hmm. she tries to, like, reach a hand out to, like, even just to, like, touch his hair, I think, is hair. what she's, like, reaching for. And as you, you kind of get a lock, and it is very much how it's been in the past, where, like, as soon as it touches your hand, it kind of dissolves to this just, like, inky Ink. substance, yeah. Um, and you feel the hand on your shoulder, since hand on your shoulder gave a little tug before you find your eyes opening as if by force and you're back in reality again with the rest of the group and Sin sitting across from you. Did it, did it go okay? And Arya, mm. <sighs> once you are brought back into this reality, into the (laughs) reality, um, sin yanking you from this abysmal chasm. Um, It is disorientating, to say the least, coming out of this. And before you can really adjust from the vast contrast of the dark world in your mind to the bright vividness of reality, you feel this steady weight lift from your thoughts that you hadn't even realized was there for the longest time. You feel a breath get dragged from your chest and you feel cold as though a presence had been warming you and was now lo- no longer there to do so. Oh, fuck. And goosebumps. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay, so I keep going. Goosebumps line your arms a moment and the hair there stands on end but after a moment, it seems as though it all settles. And you feel a bit more normal aside from this empty feeling that settles in your gut and this lighter twinge to your thoughts. And Sin watches you very carefully, her eyes kind of raking over you to make sure you're okay, before she nods and reaches for your hand once more and says, let's make this quick so I can put up the hold. Okay. I think she kind of just wordlessly like just nods. She doesn't even do that. She just puts her hands out. Like she's like like a, like a kid like mm. reaching for something. Yeah. Like when they're like scared. Like it's mm. very much just like so fair. Just... Um she nods and grips your hands. And her eyes close and then widen and they are that dead stare. <laughs> Okay? I think I think this time Arya like Arya makes her me eyes, upset, <laughs> so she doesn't have to like see it. Yeah. So I think fair. this time she kind of just, like closes her eyes. Fair. And yeah. Um, and then in that case, you just hear the slight pitch of Sin's voice, slightly robotic as it has been when she's in this little yeah. trance, and she says, "Um, you recently rekindled something you haven't felt for a while. I see." You keep thinking someone took those memories away from you, when really, Arya, you took them from yourself. What does it mean to want to forget one of the best joys of your life? What does it say about the one eager to forget? And you feel the hands drop from yours. And Sin is pulling back. And she kind of blinks. Arya. Oh, I am. She blinks out of her gaze and fixates a look on you and sees how upset you are, and says, I'm sorry, I... (laughs) 
Um, it's okay. Well, all of you then, what we've been waiting for. Andromeda's gonna move up to Arya's side and kind of like curl up next to her side. Like a puppy. Yeah. Like a pup, like a kicked yeah. puppy. Like a kicked puppy. <laughs> like a kicked puppy. Like a yeah, puppy, watch out, Jack. Yeah, in the face, yeah. why? <laughs> uh, okay. Um, do you all? How's Arya's hair looking for her? Yeah, how is it? It yeah. is. It is still so red at this point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Arya's feeling that. Oh, we're coming through. Thank that goodness. Right. <laughs> um, I assume you all sit back down yeah yeah okay. scoot back over um she kind of just says um please place all your hands down before me one on top of the other because we're all in this together uh, <laughs> so um and then she places hers on top of yours she takes a deep breath and she swallows she looks at you all are you ready uh-huh. Quite. There's no telling which way this could go. This could go horribly. This could go great. This could give us all the answers in the world, or it could give us a single word. Arlo lets out a, like a, like a, like a laugh. Like a laugh. Like a laugh. Just because it's like, Sin, Sin just that, looks at, Sin that, just, that, 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 just like, turns to you and is like, Sorry. <laughs> just, let's just do it. One word is better than silence. Mm -hmm. Comedic coping. I understand. <laughs> she clears her throat. And she kind of like cracks her neck the moment, kind of stretches, and then takes a deep breath. And for a fraction of a second, you see her hands glow slightly, kind of this warm glow. And then it fades. And when it fades, it is her eyes then that flash to that gold once more. And you all watch as she fixates a hard, focused gaze on your hands rather than at you, unmoving and unflinching, before suddenly, in mere seconds of this, her head flies back and her eyes settle to fully golden once more, pupilless and wide. The only sound to be heard in this moment is everyone's breathing and the faint bustle of people both upstairs and in the room over and as though puppeted by her own mind, she removes her hands from yours, eyes still trained in the same position, and begins feeling around for something, limbs and fingers frantic as she searches the space around her. And it really looks as though someone has like her hands on a string as she's like feeling around. Um, oh. And okay. she slides her palms over whatever she can and when they can't find anything of substance on the ground around her, they lift to the small table of things that she has at her side. And they, like, stutter over elixir bottles and potions until they grip tight to the letter opener. That no! And she holds it tight in her hand. I need everyone to roll. Oh, for God! Two D6s, except, oh. except for you, Wit. Except for you. Oh, because you can't be surprised. Oh, is that uh, why? Which is going to yeah. attack us. And add your, add your, um, a mile away. You said uh, also, and you pointed that out. Add your, your dexterity. Add your dexterity. Yeah. Uh, oh, wait, are we doing rolling one, one, two D6s? Six, right? And then I'll D6. sign, I can help you too. Uh, no, no, I got you. I got you. You're very I got, nice. You're I got very your, nice. I got your character sheets. I'll double check real quick. Okay. So I roll two D6s and you have to add two, um, Okay, seven. Seven? That's. Uh, that's oh, it's a six. Oh. Andromeda. Yeah, Andromeda. Um, fucking this is like this is blood. This is blood solo. I just have a zero. I just have a zero. Have a zero? I, just have, oh, okay. I rolled okay, a two good. and a one. That's good. That's good. Not that's one. <laughs> Great guys. Wait, are you? What did are you roll? Six. Six. Narrowly. You guys are not doing great. Narrowly, Arya. Um. Huh? Narrowly, barely? narrowly missed this one. In a oh. mere flash of a moment. Jump it. Girl. Sin is oh girl run. Nice girl you. run. Sin, <laughs> with, with the other hand, um, the one that is gripping the letter opener is like gripping it so tight that her knuckles are white. 
and with the other hand it is still flailing around searching for something these eyes still wide and like distracted and she scrambles for the next closest thing within reach that she can grab eyes attuned forward and when she come upon nothing but blankets and pillows in this hysterical days the closest thing is your arm andromeda I and she reaches forward before you can even take note of the situation. Oh. And she grabs, thankfully, not your bad one. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> but is that a good thing? Who knows? She grabs no. your arm. Two bad arms now. Two bad arms now. <laughs> and she holds it so tight, you can feel her fingertips bruising your skin. It oh. is, the grip is death. unbelievably tight. Yeah, death grip. Essentially. Drunk. And within moments, she is bringing the letter opener down atop your skin before she begins carving out letters. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. Oh, okay. What's she gonna oh, say? She, oh. You know, if this was a seance, we really should have had like a Ouija board that could like do the letters, but we didn't think about that. Listen, now, this is more powerful than a seance. Are you doing that to all of us? <laughs> she is Can like I start punching her arm. Yeah, nothing moves. No, yeah, she's it is it. it is inhumane, inhumane, like inhumanly tight of a grip oh, on you, oh, and oh, you, oh, you cannot oh. pull her grasp from your hand. And she how deep is she carving? She is deep. Oh she is carving deep enough that it's it, a good question. It is, no, it is, but it's also enough that it is forming shapes that are legible, but not yeah, deep okay. enough. Probably not deep enough to scar, but deep enough to form letters. Yeah, she's probably I, fucking I, screaming. Oh, she's oh, probably just, I think she's just like, <laughs> she <laughs> oh, oh my god. Oh my um, god. I don't know what he says. And <laughs> we get a single aside, word. Um, <laughs> before you know it, aside from the blood that drips onto one of the decadent blankets <gasps> beneath you. <laughs> There is a full sentence at the end of this that is carved out into the flesh Yeast. of your forearm. Oh, full fucking sentence. It's hard. This was this was probably nauseatingly painful for you. And yeah. Oh, like, she blacked out. Yeah, she blacked yeah. out. Fair, she blacked fair. Out. fair. Um, probably like the second word that was out, she was gone. <laughs> She's and um, at least her head hopefully hit like a pillar or something. As soon <laughs> she was look. She was looking for anything she could write with. Um, I was like, Ned was like, do you trust this woman? And I was you. like, yeah. 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 Um, so to well, to be fair to Sin, too, she has no control of what she's doing. That's so true. Um, yeah, yeah. It's the same with... delicious, this, though. It's yeah. so yummy. It's, oh, no. uh, it's the same with, like, her carving things out with her fingernails in the table. Like, she yeah. fucked it. Like, she's fucked up all oh. her fingers. Um, so she... I guess she, I'm the closest she, thing to a table on a fucking tree in wood. <laughs> there you go. You know, I just feel like you're in paper. You're in paper. Some paper. Wait a second. She needs to start having a notebook at all times. As soon as she finishes, I'm buying her a notebook and a pen. She pulls back, um, and her (laughs) eyes flash back to that familiar color of gray, and she blinks the days from her expression, (laughs) and her eyes immediately land on your forearm before her brow kind of pulls in a frown, and she sighs like shaking her head, (laughs) and she says, um. I wish I could say that this is the first time that this has happened, but that would be a severe understatement. We got a plane for it. If it was not the first time that happened, you should have gotten paper. There is no way to prepare for these. Thank you very much. I feel like a pen and paper would have prepared us adequately for She's this. She's just looking at you. Next time, I, let's see, like, that's why you don't sit next to you. I'll sit across from you because then you can't grab my arm. And then but, she thank you. she doesn't like go your arm Andromeda and she doesn't even <laughs> seem she seems kind of unfaced because she's like you know what? this is happening. You know, Arya is fanning Andromeda. Like, Fair. Oh she she's grabs like, no Andromeda's arm Andromeda. and kind of like pulls it kind of forward a slight bit and she squints <laughs> and she looks at it and the bloodied raised flesh reads they are the key. Oh. All right. Could have just and said Sin, it out loud. Sin like slides back and looks at it. They are the key. She repeats it like out loud, and she just kind of nods, resolute, before she gets to her feet, and she immediately kicks at the small table that's beside her, sending trinkets and elixirs and herbs and crystals all flying to the ground. Oh yeah, grabs Easy. a candle. Oh no! Over. And she <laughs> grabs oh, no. a potion. And I grab a potion. <laughs> she she is like throwing whatever shit she can get her hands on out of fucking oh, wow. pure anger. 
an outrage. Wow. Wow. And okay. she lets out like a very solid like kind of noise <laughs> before she oh, turns so to all of you. <laughs> she turns to all of you. Are you just like ripping oh. a part of her dress That's so she fair. can wrap it? She turns to all of you, she says, years and years of this, years and years of this, what good is this bloody gift if I never get more than a few words or a number or... And she, like, kicks at the stuff that's on the floor and she, like, places her head in her hands. Another fucking dead end and that's vague and unhelpful. It's more than we uh, started with. My anger moved (laughs) my camera. My <laughs> anger. My anger. Um, she looks at you. This is un- this is unhelpful. It's no. something. Huh. <laughs> she <passes laughs> out again. She she just kind of like rubs her forehead, and she looks at the rest of you. It won't scar. It's just don't let it get infected. Uh-uh. And she sees we'll what you're doing, it. Arya, and she like reaches for a blanket. She takes the letter letter opener again. She like rips the blanket open and then she like hands you kind of another cloth thank you um and she kind of says that she does so she's like let me help and then i'll put up that temporary block just give me now you've got two bandaged arms andromeda you do for real. you look for real you look sick you look like a jedi yeah what do you know what that is in one Arlo? of those movies i watched that one time yeah I, there's <laughs> I read the back of the movies? films. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we did go to a movie store. So. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Uh, I read you the found it in the antique the shop. You found it in the, in the antique, antique one, yeah. Um, <laughs> this is the second time in like an hour I've been accosted with a sharp object. So nobody is allowed with sharp objects. That's <laughs> cute. She looks you at you. You tell her we're gonna We're going to take care of you. She looks at you, Andromeda, and she says, I'm really sorry. I, it's not purposeful. Just like everything that I've said to you guys, it is not meant to hurt. I am not meaning to hurt you. We know. We know. We know it's not you. We do not hold this against you. No, we don't. As much as I tease, I do not hold this against you. Maybe next time a pen and paper, though? I mean, I I, I will say that is an actual good idea. She looks at you. You could have handed me one. I didn't know what you were searching for. Something. If I had my hand on the letter opener, don't you think I was going to do something with it? Okay, everyone. Okay, so she, she, she leans back. She, leans back. she like brushes herself off. There's a learning lesson. We will move forward uh, with this knowledge, and it will be fine. Arya. Oh. Oh. Um. As she had said before, she said that she was going to help you put a, a the temporary block up. Yeah. Mental block up, but she needed a moment. Um, don't scratch it. And bit. after this okay. conversation, um, as she is going about finishing up, like kind of tying off yeah. Andromeda's arm uh, with you. You feel a shift in your mind. A fluttering sensation. Like a movement, almost, and a change in the spiraling of your thoughts. And then, mm. so seamlessly, there is a presence there once more. Descending back down as a steady weight on your shoulders. It does feel different, though. It feels warmer, almost lighter even it almost feels more comfortable than how it had felt before where the last was still grounding and a comfort this one almost feels like a necessity like a grappling that you want to lean back on that you want to entrust and the presence itself doesn't feel desperate but somehow you feel desperate for it as it makes itself known at the back of your mind Hmm. and sin sin ties off the cloth and um like gives it like a very light pat and drama and gives you kind of like a like a wince of like oh, i'm sorry <laughs> um before she sighs and then turns to you Arya, and says all right are you ready what you just felt it go up yeah it, no what? it's not her it's not her <laughs> um i think can Arya make that assumption because i made that assumption you can ask if you want yeah okay um I, am, am I ready? Yes, the temporary uh, hold. What? It's already there, I felt. Oh, then he must have beat me to it. I guess that is good. It's not you. 
No, it's not me. Okay. Um, Is this, um, what's wrong? Uh, uh, give me your fucking hands. Give me okay. your hands. I need your help again. She gives you the hands. It's not you. And I'm gonna have Arya try and, like, think back to that space, because she like, needs to figure- She is looking for who this is. Sen leans forward <laughs> slightly, and she's like, Arya, I don't know if I have the strength right now to do that again, but I will try. Good. And she closes her eyes. <laughs> um, and when you close your eyes, nothing happens. You- you don't feel, you feel almost like you cannot picture that inky space anymore. Like you can't even like fathom it into existence. And you feel kind of like that little push of like sin there. But every time that she pushes, there is, you feel nothing. Hmm. And feel eventually like you feel her hands kind of pull away and she wipes once more at her nose <laughs> and looks at you. Careful. And her hands are kind of shaking a slight bit. Careful. I'm sorry, I, I... Do you want me to try? Actually. We are the same, kind of. Be my guest. I can't promise any good results because I can only look in the past right now, but... For you? For you, I'll try. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Warm, <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the entire you're good, you're good, you're good. It's, it's Darian blowing up my TCD. Darian said, "Fuck you, bitch." <laughs> that was is fine. Don't uh, even worry about it. Okay, oh, like, sorry. My mom just texted me. Lisa oh. sent me a voice memo. Oh, oh yeah, oh, she's probably yeah. gonna be in tears. Just like, oh, that's so soft. God, so I love um, her very much. Uh, yeah. She specifically said to me, um, Jade, I'm crying. Your Ve is the most sweetest, most Your compassionate Vey. friend. Please tell him I'm so grateful for the gorgeous, absolutely beautiful flowers and so beautiful a message. Oh. And she oh. put like, like seven hearts and <laughs> five crying emojis. Oh, oh that's so soft. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> you <laughs> gentleman. What a gentleman. What a gentleman. No, what she said, wow, some corner photos. Oh, all caps, wow, four hearts, and a sobbing emoji. Aww. Aww. Oh, it's so Which sweet. Which did you get her? Which There's color? Scott. I got ones that reminded me They're of him. Blue. Because Aww. they were his colors, and they were, like, <gasps> white sure. and blue. Oh, oh wow. wow. hold it there. Oh, oh wow. wow. It's oh, that moment. Yeah. Yeah. That's gorgeous. gorgeous. Yeah, that's wow. Oh, yeah, that's stunning. Oh, what good oh. color. She just sent wow again in all caps. Oh, yeah. That's so soft. That's so wholesome. Yeah. <laughs> You're so sweet, babe. I said I yeah. would, and I did. I said I would, and I did. And, and I, I did. did. And I did. That's oh. so nice. <laughs> Time for the little pause I had to. No, that's okay. Uh, <laughs> that was a very wholesome pause. That was a wholesome break between that all this shit that's wholesome. happening. Yeah. Yes. Damn. She said, she said, they are amazing. Delphiniums and white roses. Yeah, <gasps> Delphiniums. She's so cute. Thank you. Thank you. Not the, blue not the No, you're good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hydrangeas, the they're so sun. pretty. I do the <laughs> The Capri Sun. The Capri Sun. Oh, boom, boom. Oh, um, Arya, I think, like, is, like, stretching her, her, her claws <laughs> while she's, like, trying to calm down. Um, All of you guys are leaving with, like, bruises and shit. Jeez. Yeah. And she's, like, <laughs> like okay. fucking Theron's fine. <laughs> so, Andromeda, are you trying with Theron, so, or are you trying by yourself with Arya? Um, is Andromeda gonna help out? I think she's gonna try by herself at oh, first, yeah. just to see if she can. Yeah. Get... I think Arya like <laughs> looks up at Sid, um, and tries to like do some, like do a breathing exercise, basically <laughs> to calm herself Amazing. down because she is very bad. Um, and um, she kind of like leans forward again, and like just like like touches her cheek, just like. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I that wasn't that. Um, if you want to try Andromeda, we can. 
you just basically have to, to um, just put your hand on my shoulder. Focus on your brain. I've been in your mind once before, so yes, maybe because have. I've, have I've had my foot in the door. What the memory that? thing. Oh, the memory right, thing. right, 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 yeah. right, right. It's all memory, but not really quite a noggin, but... Yeah, well, may as well try. My I would swag. rather know who's in my head. What is? I mean, especially with like Arya blocking memories, maybe this will like unlock a memory. Oh, that sounds mm-hmm. wonderful. Okay, she's gonna Any like Laurel. put her hands on her shoulders. <laughs> Arya's like, oh wow, okay, and she kind of puts her hands like <laughs> on drop in his arms like awkwardly, like <laughs> like ooh, okay, yeah. It's like a roller coaster. She's like holding onto her arms. <laughs> Andrama, can you roll two d sixes for me? I assume yes, you're using. I you're using can your I give little... her? Can I give her yeah, guidance? Like... Ooh, yeah, so she's kind of using it, and kind of like uh, the way she's doing it is she is uh, the way it feels when she's diving into the memories and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's kind of like she's focusing more on like the present and more on like. Arya's brain and like her mind and, and that like, kind of stuff and what's in right. there. Trying like, to figure out who the person. Is. Yeah. yeah. So but less the past and more the present now. Like okay. trying to dive into that. Yeah. Oh, those two d sixes. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. And yeah, can yeah. I give her? Can I roll to see if I can give her the plus two? Uh, yeah, you can absolutely. Where are my horny dice at? Horny dice. <gasps> oh my that god. Was so wild. So add two. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Literally. Okay. Two D sixes. Hey yo. All right. So add two. Very nice. Ten. Ooh. Sorry. So twelve. Mm-hmm. With the dirtiest, sluttiest eight, little twelve you've eight ever met. Plus two. Eight plus two. Oh, oh yeah. Ten. 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 Oh Slutty yes, ten. yeah. So all together, ten. Bloody okay. ten. Bloody ten. Hmm. Okay. Really thinking. I can really give you. Searching. I can give you something. Thinking so hard. Okay. I can give you something. Yeah. Yay something! Andromeda. When your I... head kind of like does this like lull backwards and as you try to connect with Arya, you oh, see no. a garden when you reopen your eyes. Oh no! Sorry! A beautiful, beautiful garden full of bright, vivid flowers. But most noticeably, and this only lasts for a minute, this little vision only lasts for a minute, but most noticeably in this garden are the sheer amount of rose bushes. It's sissy. No! What? <laughs> that didn't make okay, it make it make it make it make it make it make it the second can you I, said there was a garden, I was like, God, no! Can I, am I able to, like, look around in this minute that I'm here? No, we're not. Or is, it, is it just the... It is, like, almost... It's almost like a still. Like, you get this mm. still, and you feel it. Like, you feel like you're there a moment. Like a gif. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> almost. Yeah. Well, but, like, nothing's moving. But um, you can, like, okay. hear... It's, it's just, like, like it's like when you're... Image. It's like if you're playing a game and it, like, la- like it freezes. Oh, that's freaking. So you can like like the the image around you is frozen, but you hear like the faint chirping of like birds and like the whirring of like wind, oh. but that's so you haunting. see nothing moving. Nothing. Oh, moving. that's fucking freak. Oh, that's <laughs> giving me like early two thousands like flash game. Yeah, yeah flash they game just have before. the yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the analog horror. Oh my god. It's that creepy thing when your game would crash as a kid. You just kept hearing the soundtrack on repeat, mm-hmm. but you could not do anything. Um, and it's very Are much that bad. It? And, uh, no, Arya, you do not see it. And, um, Andromeda, that is all that you are able to reach out to. Mm-hmm. And when you kind of fly out of this, it is just like that image burned into your brain of, of rose bushes. Is my nose bleeding too? I'm going to also give you a feeling, what you feel. Oh, woo! As you kind of come out of it, you feel like you feel like you were there in that moment for centuries, decades even. What if you? Not this again. I'm so aged. I'm so so tired. It it literally feels like you have been in there for ages. So when you come out of it, it feels like you haven't seen the rest of the group in, in. 
like oh a century. Oh my god, that's oh terrible. God. That's so I'm a, I have a, mess <laughs> is a horror story. You are messing us up with this. <laughs> You're welcome. Let's this is very Twilight Zone. Like, this is so yeah, Twilight let's Zone. Yeah, let's sit for a second. Let's sit with that for a second. Yeah, no, we need to because that was a lot. Because, like, okay. sorry, even just for like, centuries. That's so long. Just and you just see this one an image, image, and it, it's like a, it's like a, a yeah, second. Yeah, so you were just staring at that for like what felt like centuries of time. centuries. It almost and just hearing the background noise. Bly yeah. Manor when, when she's in the room yeah. for yeah, in, which, in the, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's exactly what I was it. thinking too. Yeah, that's Ooh. literally what I every time in Dramat it does the. I always get you that. Think about that. Yeah, I always think oh, about that. Fucking love. She's so good. Love okay, she's gonna. Okay. <laughs> She has like a grip on Arya's arms or shoulders. I feel like Arya like snaps like because she. I feel like she probably like yeah. <laughs> like it's so intense. Yeah, she got them grippers out. Grippers out. <laughs> and she's gonna come back. <laughs> I dropped her. I know. Hey. Hey. And Arya's like. So. So long. What? I was gone for so. It was barely even a couple seconds. I mean, we were right here. 23 Almost. seconds. Is. No, is Ostradel okay? Did we. What? Yeah. Andromeda. Where. Where. We're still in this room. We're still sin. Did you see anything? I was in a garden. For centuries. Centuries. Oh, God. By yourself. Less than a minute. Where is my... Uh, He's he's, he's still okay. He's he's still outside. He's being outside waiting for you. Not to yank you out of this mud just in the background, Mm. just like... I know, right? (laughs) Enjoying (laughs) the 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 music. Oblivious to what's been going on for Andromeda this entire nightmare visit. My brain went immediately there. I I had to... Nightmare sequence. (laughs) Nightmare! Nightmare! Nightmare. Um, She kind of like... It's okay. Kind of slaps herself a bit. She's like, are you like, takes her her hand? And like just like holds it, and like My you rem- you remember mm-hmm. this moment, and you remember everything clearly, like unlike someone would if they did lose like a bunch of time. Sure. But it literally just feels like nothing has happened with this for a century, like for decades. Like you've just been sitting on this information, and you just flash forward it, essentially through time, is what it feels like. Mm-hmm. In other words, brutal. Yeah. Traumatizing. I guess in that is words, the trouble in stepping into wait. other people's trauma, you know? Yes. Yeah. They're my traumatized. Brother, mm. my brother, okay. This is not even my trauma. This is I mean, everything is as you left Every, it. Everything is okay. okay. Everything's changed. Yes. Okay. I'm sorry, I traumatized. I should have asked you. No. What was the garden like? Did you see anything else? Or were you... Was anyone there? Or were you by yourself? Just me. I could hear things. Like nature. And I could see roses. I never want to look at another rose again. Does that mean... I feel like Arya like, stands up and starts like pacing who's in your head then i trying to remember if aria knows if aria is called her auntie rose i always mix up like what the party knows is for it's so what, like, we know. it's <laughs> so um, tough i'm trying to remember if she's i really want to jump to oh my gosh that's auntie rose yeah because, but like would we think would we associate well, you guys knew. I don't know if we've ever, if Arya's yeah. ever called her Auntie Rose. Yeah, but no. we, we associated her with roses, though. Yeah, like, yeah we associated her with roses, so that makes sense. And, and Ari, I Arlo. Think, I think Arlo has seen her. Like, 
I think I have you seen assumed. Her. Like I think you out of character assumed or like connected her to the roses. I don't think you outwardly in character said it in character yet. Yeah, Cause because in character, do we know that it was her room, was, not Orion's? That was something that, was, that, like, that we like. Well, that's what we connected. Pro- like, yeah, yeah. This that was something I think in we character theorized. or out of character. Oh. I thought we did Both? that. I thought we did that at both. Did we have that conversation know. in character? Because I thought we literally just talked I about think, this. I think, honestly, you could have already figured think, it out right now. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that where you could say that you have because you guys have had it as a party, yeah. like, yeah. outside well, of it. Because the main reason why is because Arlo had the yeah, Even had if the our characters haven't had the conversation. With her, and she, and I thought that we had talked about her I last I don't think you talked about the last, the last memory that Arlo had. I don't think he mentioned it. Not? No, I haven't, I haven't no. mentioned it yet. Oh, yeah, yeah. in character. Mm-hmm. Okay. There's a lot going on. Well, even if we don't know, like, but we still know that you know, there's, she like, was, this Arlo, Wait, I Arlo question. knows that she was holding flowers, so you could go off of that and a I, little bit. Well, from wait, that there's memory, something I was, that, like, she did, like, like, roses or something like that. Mm-hmm. Like, from Arya that memory, has a memory of that. Did, yes. Yeah. Sorry, did, go ahead. No, it's okay. Um, did, um, sorry, my brain got all over the place. No, 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 get uh, it, get it out, you're good. good. Uh, from my memory, did Arlo was a- Arlo able to put together that was that that was a younger sister of theirs? You could assume in the way that she looked very similar to Rain, and she was someone that you had not seen yet okay. um, at all anywhere else. Yeah, um, I'm sure the cold, the, the giant stare she gave me was like it felt yeah, like she was really significant. watching you. And, oh, she was, that's that. and she was picking flowers and holding a bouquet of flowers at that point yeah. in your dream. So you were could. They I don't. I don't think that's too no, far. No, they were lilies. No, they were. Lilies. I don't either. I don't either. I think we. Also, I think that. Well, because I think that Arlo would probably ask Arya now and be like, "And Arya, do you think that was?" Yeah, and Arya had that talk with Orion. About yes, about. Being. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I don't. I don't think it's a far off to for you guys to. I agree. That. Yeah, I so I, agree. I totally think that's fine. Okay. What color were the roses that Andromeda saw? Red. Red. Ah. Red roses. Okay. Yeah, red roses. And then she had lilies in my dream, though, right? Or in the memory. Yeah, she had, like, a couple other flowers, but one of the main things in your dream or memory was that she was plucking a lily. Sure. And adding it to the bouquet. Yeah, okay. Oof. Yeah. Symbolism. 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 Jesus. Yikes. <laughs> Do you think it was rain in your head now? Orion? What does it feel like? Did it feel different? <laughs> It's definitely not. And I feel like she's, like, she's getting, like, overwhelmed with that feeling of, like, I fucked up. I fucked up really bad. Um, and uh, I think um, <sighs> Okay. Um, I think that She's gonna go and think back to um, the feeling of when the when it wasn't on her shoulders and she felt like the cold again. Mm-hmm. Um, did she feel? I-, I was imagining her feeling guilt in that moment for how she treated her father, like that she had to ask this of him. Mm. When the feeling any- left you, like when you lost that feeling. Yes, like the fact that she had to ask this of him when she knows deliberately it is against something that he would want yeah. for her because it's so dangerous. Fair. Um, do you we think why, that though. that feeling became worse? The feeling of guilt became worse because of that? Like that she could feel it? Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I'm talking about right now? I think so. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh-oh. Oh, you said it. That feeling. <laughs> the feeling specifically of you feeling guilty of asking that of Orion or something attached yes. to it different entirely well both technically <laughs> I sent um, you a message about it you, okay let me look intriguing <laughs> intriguing intriguing um oh Can you believe Auntie Rose just that- swooped in like that I seriously, Ari, the mo- one Aria on the movie. Specifically, right? In like, like you mean Arya specifically in that with like how she gets that feeling? Uh-huh. Her opportunity. Uh-huh. Okay. okay. Um, what are you talking about? Oh, I know what you're talking about now. What? What like, do you know? Like what? You... I figured it out. Okay. Did so, you? Sparks with an R. Class. Oh no, not that feeling. Oh. oh. 
Um, oh, but that's also a good. Well, Ari is feeling that right now because. Well, I will say. Is she She's very. She feels like she's. You probably mad at feel. You probably feel oh, that. You probably feel that in in relation to Orion. Because yeah. this is exactly what he was hoping um, wouldn't happen. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you definitely feel that in relation to to your father, but okay. With this new presence, you said it felt like, good though. It, I like mean, I like, said, like in the feels... in the in between, like when but he you left, like it more. You like this it, it more than your dad. <laughs> oh, and then I see. and then when it, when Auntie Rose yes, switch, it, it would have amplified. Yeah. Okay, and, and then... so now that it's like she's more warm. Now you feel warm. Yeah. You feel almost like it feels Sorry, comfort- I'm trying to figure it, out it feels to go comforting. Like yeah. it, it feels like something you I feel want, like it feels which comforted is, in a wrong way though. But that's well this is the difficult thing, right? So your head right. is almost like telling you like this isn't right, this isn't right, this isn't right. Mm. But the way that you actually feel, like yeah. the way that the feels back right. of your mind feels is that you you wanted this, that this is comfortable and this is Lotus you're, you're content. I so know, like, is this, this manipulation? But... You're in this really weird state of like, oh, th- like this is okay. This this is fine. This is comfortable. Like I I think I'm okay with this. But then your mind is like screaming at you like, no, 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 no. This so should not for have reasons happened. you probably don't really know yet because you don't even really know Auntie Rose. So, no. but there is that of course of like how Orion has spoke of her and things of that nature. Um, okay. Okay. Yeah. What were you talking about? We were talking about if we thought. Carlo said something. Yeah, we we had asked you if you thought it was rain, and you said that it wasn't. And I think that's when you try to figure out what it felt like, how it was different. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No. Um. It's definitely not a riot. Um, it's. Uh, it's like. It's like warmer. Um, like hot? I don't no, not hot. Um just warmer. Does it feel um, dangerous? It doesn't feel dangerous, I just know it should be. Um based off oh, of Orion. I think it should be. Uh yes, kind of. Um Andromeda. And Arya's gonna, like, kind of get back down onto her knees and, like, put her hands on her face. Um, and it's just like, hey. It's okay. It's okay. You're, you're not in the garden. Um. Thank you. Um. I thought I lost all of you. You will. You can't. Never could. No. We're right here. We um, were here the whole time. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. I know exactly what yeah. you're crying about. I know exactly what you're crying about. What are you crying about? <laughs> about Nell. <laughs> oh, don't do that to me I right was now. here the whole uh, time. That's yeah, true. We were all standing by you. We were all... I'm gonna we're shove all, We were all sitting around the whole time when you were in That's there. That's easy. <laughs> There never really was a time where you were truly by yourself. Even if it felt like it. Promise. 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 Uh, um, You're never really alone. Sin kind of like clears her throat a moment. And she looks at all of you and she says, um, I'm very sorry for the turn of events. It wasn't supposed to go like this, but I think maybe... <laughs> We got some good out of it. Hey, I think if someone's trying to tell us something, even if it's via Aria, that or via it's finally okay, okay, okay. It's it's good that we're finally getting somebody who wants to talk to us, okay? And Aria, you can handle yourself. I know you can. You're stronger than you realize. You have a stronger mind. All right. If people want to talk to you, give them the time of day. And then we'll figure it out together, okay? I thought this healed already. It will. It will. Why don't why don't I try? 
Really quick. Yeah. Yeah, let's just try. Um, roll 2d6 is for me, Isla. Okay. <laughs> We're rolling so much! We I, I never Four. rolled good for this. You've got this. Four and... Okay. Four. Oh, Eight. Okay. That's not okay. Not that's bad. That's good. Okay. Hey. Bad about it. I'm all right. Um, I'm all right with that. You see... <laughs> As you would you allow me to try and 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 help give guidance, or do you think Arya would be too out of it? Yeah, Arya's out of it. Yeah, she's, she's little... like racking she's her brain. Probably, yeah. she's, yeah. Like, she's in there. She's in there deep. Yeah. She's a whole new person inside her right now. Um, <laughs> um <laughs> Arlo. Yeah, you see, like as you place your hands gonna be interesting tonight. on this bandage, you see, like <laughs> almost as though a part of it begins to kind of heal but it's like your your hands kind of glow that gold and it almost flickers slightly as though it's not fully fully there and present and you see some of it begin to glow but it immediately kind of like fizzles out in a way and it is clear that you did heal some of it and the wound is much smaller now yeah. um but just not all of it entirely and just for cinematic value, all it says is key on it now. Oh, nice. oh that's that's good. That's good. That'd be that's a good. cool tattoo. Oh, that's <laughs> so right. Yeah. This is Heal car process. Or speed up process. I, think, I like to think Andromeda looks down at healing, and she's just watching it like numbly, mm. healing and stuff, and feeling yeah. like his like touch upon her skin. Yeah. And she's gonna like look up at Arlo after it's all. Not even like acknowledging it that it healed and she's like i think i missed touch the most and arlo just like like oh, it's cool. just oh, immediately God. takes her in and like i i'm i don't know why i imagine them on the ground together like they were sitting yeah i, I imagine yeah, that's yeah. like yeah. Yeah. His, yeah. with his whole head like like arms around her yeah uh, like that like the the rapunzel hair. hug at the end of yeah the yeah oh, yeah, yeah. that's exactly what it is Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of the best hugs that have her. ever happened in cinema. True. Yeah, that's true. Really. That's very true. With yeah. this, um, Sin kind of gets to her feet. Who and is it? she um, clears her throat a moment and says, um, I would like you all to know that um, I'm determined to figure this out for you all in some way. I will try, at least, even if it kills me. Because I'm okay. not knowing, Whoa. Whoa. not knowing for the rest of my years is worse a fate, and I already live with far too many unanswered questions. Right, but just just do it with us. Yeah, not for with us. Will. You all know Together. that you are welcome here anytime, and regardless of what trouble you're in, know that this place is always open for you, and always will be. Well, she kind of stands. She like brushes herself off. It is probably best that we get you guys on your way. It is going to be curfew soon for you. Um, we do not want anyone to be more suspicious of us than we already are. So Yeah, we could we could stand to lay low for a little we bit. Stand to learn subtly. Yes. Uh. <laughs> Subtle is quite a good word we should implement into our dictionary. Um uh -huh. anywho. Um and she kinda of stands and she walks over and she like grabs for the door and she says, um if you need anything, you know where to find me. Okay? Um, and we're in our dorms, but don't risk going to campus. I won't. Just... Do not be strangers. We'll check in. Thank you. Um, as we're going, is it possible to, like, almost, like, under the table try to, like, like touch Sin's hand and heal her because I feel like you can being... you can go straight up to her <laughs> for healing. Oh, yeah. Okay, I, I just I just I don't I don't oh, want to like, give her a hug. You just like, like are you a making a move? Can right I now? like can I do that? Can I yeah. just have, like can I like absolutely making a move? It's like, like why are you trying to hold my hand? <laughs> um, when you ask her uh, if you can give her a hug, Sin just kind of looks at you. Mm. It's not a trick, I promise. You don't have like a, a buzzer or something you're not gonna electrocute me. No. <laughs> that would be fine. She's not Arlo Heal and Jamba. When, when you so laugh like, at that, she's like, 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 No, 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 I don't have that. Sorry. 
<laughs> she's like pathetic humor that would be pathetic humor do not do not go to that low of a standard to use a no, hand no, no. buzzer do not, I'm not that much bust of a clown. me i'm only a little bad. bit of a clown not that much of a clown um i'm sorry for your nose. oh that's okay i appreciated it it was nice um, I'm gonna hug you now, if that's okay. <laughs> She's just like, sure. Okay. And, like, stretches her arms out, and she very much mirrors, like, how she hugged you earlier, like, very much mm-hmm. just, like, wraps her arms around you, and then just, like, slowly pats you on the shoulder. Love her. She's mom, for real. Um, literally. Now you mom. Now you that a mom. Literally. Let me heal her a little bit, please. Roll 2 6 Even if just physically. No, oh, damn 6 is... Not the one! Oh. <gasps> She can get two. a seven. What? Three. <laughs> so I'm just hugging her to hug as her. As like you hug weirdo. her, as you hug yeah. her, nothing happens. But she does kind of like before you guys pull away, she does like squeeze you a bit tighter, and then Sweet. she like lets you go, almost as if maybe she has like a small notion think- of what you were trying to do, an sure. inkling. Um, and uh-huh. she pulls back, and she oh, kind of just looks at you, count. and she says, "Um." I hope you find your family, Arlo. Me too. I'll look down. (laughs) You do that. Mm. I don't know where. Rocks and cobblestone and I'll look under everywhere if I have to. I'll I'll look under the bed as well. Who knows? Oh, yeah. Mm. Right. Um, And she kind of like reaches around you and she like grabs the door and she like opens it for you guys and she says, um, Please get back to the school safe, safe and sound. And like I said, do not be strangers. Um, do you all begin to kind of go on your way? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I think. I yes. think. Probably go check in on Calanthe, make sure she's okay. Fair. She looked a yeah, little well, sad. We gotta say goodbye. Oh, we gotta yeah. say goodbye to Calanthe. We'll say goodbye. Um, bye. Bye. Okay, I gotta as, go grab you're, my... as you're on your way yeah, out, we'll uh, Sin reaches out very swiftly before you can exit the door frame, Andromeda. Oh. And she like places her shoulder or her hand on your shoulder and she like she's gazes like, at you very intently. And she looks at you. She says, um your boyfriend. Do you trust him? Well, we did. <laughs> with my life and with everything. Undoubtedly. And she kind of nods and she glances out through the open door and it literally is just mud standing there idly sipping on a juice box and looking <laughs> very oblivious to the world and kind of like staring around. Um, and she nods and then looks back at you and says, um, even still, mind your step around him. Even beyond that. I'm not giving up on him. I never said that. Just mind your step. And... <clears throat> I am sorry for how things transpired with your brother. I'm taking care of it. I know you are. It is all we feel we are capable of doing. Fixing things. Or running away. Mm -hmm. There are no other options, so... If you need... There might be a secret third thing if we look hard enough. <laughs> she nods. Well, consider me on your side regardless. And if you need anything, you know where to find me. One dryad to another. She's gonna like sigh, and it's like the centuries that she just endured mm, kind of yeah. like slides off her shoulders. Fair. And she's kind of like, like reach forward to like to to her face mm-hmm. and kind of like grab her and like in a very like just nurturing, really nurturing kind of yeah. way. She's gonna like raise up and like press her forehead against hers mm-hmm. and just kind of like you 
You need to photosynthesize more. You look very pale. <laughs> she, she frowns at you. You are just seeing an illusion, darling. I know it's beneath. And she's gonna like pat her cheek very <laughs> gently. And she pats her back. I could say the same for you. Good. Good luck. <clears throat> Don't put all of your stones in your boyfriend's corner, please. You're late. <laughs> she's gonna like. <laughs> and and Sin is just kind of like. And since you can probably assume that Sin's mind is going back to that necromancer that she fell in love with, and she's just like, oh god. <laughs> and then she just kind of like closes her door very she's carefully. Like, before before she like is as she's like closing her door, and Joe was still kind of standing there. She's like, "How do you see his arms?" And she goes through <laughs> and like walk away. Instead of closing it lightly, she slams it down. <laughs> Um, oh, and you can queen, you can her. assume that she's probably gonna go rest because she's mm -hmm. been through the ringer with y'all. Oh uh, yeah. Um, take a nap, sweet baby girl. So we'll get kind of through this next part, and then we can take a little break if you guys want. Um, I gotta pee. Yeah, me too. I need to eat. I'm just hungry. To win. Yeah, I'm just real, real. I know. I'm like, can we take a food break? Yeah, yeah. yeah I want my chicken nuggies. Oh, <gasps> Did I not these? Um, oh, we can take one we now if to... you want. Oh, no, no, it's okay. Are you sure? That's yeah, good. We can, okay. we can, yeah. Um, so then, when you leave, um, as you're walking through the, the big, like, cellar, um, Mud kind of spots you immediately, Andromeda, and he's, like, smiling, toofy grin. Um, but then his eyes dart down Fresh to bandage. the new bandage <laughs> Fresh on bandage. your arm, and as you kind of approach him, he just kind of looks at you for a moment, and there's this, like, weird look in his eye. Where he fixates <gasps> on that. No, 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 no. His head kind of like tilts to the side and he looks up at you. What happened? Uh, Arya looks. Can I see if Mud. You're all there. Can I, so. can, I, can I roll to see if I can see this look in Mud's eye that he's sure. looking sure. spooky? Looking roll, spooky. roll those 2d6s. 40 for blood, yes. Oh, a six and a four, so that's a ten. Oh, hell. You can yeah. see that he looks off. Not his usual, like, softness. He is looking at her with this, like, rigidness and this, like, intensity. I feel like Arya, like, overcompensates, so she goes, <laughs> <laughs> Your mic isn't even picking you up. <laughs> Sorry. It was just. <laughs> I said, <laughs> I said, <laughs> It's still kind of like you. you're still cutting you're out. Too so you're too high of a bitch. You're too high of a bitch. I can hear right, you. Let me do it lower. Hey, bud, how are you doing, buddy? You and she like taps <laughs> his shoulder, like you sounded like you sounded like Mulan doing the ping voice, literally. Oh, like, yeah, like, you did. I'm, I'm a man. man. I'm a man. I'm a man. I'm a man. Uh, Arya, when she's overcompensating, turns into ping. Um, <laughs> hey, bud, how are you doing? Taps him on the shoulder. Ah. Uh, Everything was a little wonky. When he Lisa. looks at you, it seems like he has to physically drag his eyes away from the bandage. <gasps> so it's like he's like looking and then he turns and actually looks Marlo, at you. Marlo starts to scoot in front of him. <laughs> he kind of like looks at you at the very last second, you know, like his lets his eyes look as long as possible and then looks at you. No, no, no. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> Baby hands. Uh, Andromeda is gonna see the, see the, feel the tension, yeah, and she's really. gonna, like, reach up suddenly, grip him by the chin, mm, He turns and back turn like, him, immediately, immediately. turn him to look at her, and yeah. she's like, It was important. It's being what? absolute. Yes. Good. There is no reason that pain for you should be important. Okay. This that is true. She's gonna reach over <laughs> to his hand and grab his mm -hmm. arm, his free free hand if he's not mm -hmm. holding a juice yeah. box or something. His other one's holding the juice box, but it's like long <laughs> forgotten. <laughs> Scary guy in a fucking juice box. Um, it's like it's like down and he's probably oh, actually, it is down at his side and he has like crushed it in his oh, like face. So it's like dripping to the point that oh. it's just like the last drops are like dripping to the floor and oh. he's like oh. gripping it. So oh, she's we gotta have like, the we gotta have the cinematography. Yeah. Oh my gosh! She's gonna like take his um, 
Yeah. Absolutely. She's going to yeah. take his, uh, his hand and like she's going to put it to her pulse point on her wrist as she's holding his face. And she's like, still beating. He just nods. And she's going to grab him by his face and. <laughs> yeah, so right, so right. hard. Yeah, I'm uh, right. Yeah, nothing oh, out he, of it. He, nothing out of it. He kisses you back, and when you kind of pull away, his eyes are soft again, and oh, he's he's like looking at you, and he just so he smiles like just a very kind of like tired grin, but he like smiles nonetheless, and he oh, he just kind of. This, 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 this is only the he beginning. He doesn't even probably realize is the problem. Yeah. Oh, um, oh it's gonna get so much only worse. Only the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> the beginning. Um, and for it. Literally, here, I'm here for it. You do see Galanthe kind of still, like, kind of chilling in a chair by the I'm here for it. By the like, kill door. It. <gasps> I'm still here for oh it, then, though. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, oh, I... <laughs> Sin is mom. What the fuck? Uh, yeah, wait, what oh, not I'm Sin. Saying. I thought you said kill somebody. Not oh, Sin. Sin. I said Sin. Sin. I should kill Sin. No That's one. No one. No one. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. She's gonna give him a little, little pat on the cheek. Fair. Firm nod. She's gonna take his hand. Well, she's gonna dispose of the juice box too. Fair. <laughs> Put it on the counter. Cleaning up the area. She's like, oh, yeah. she's taking care of him. Um, she's regulating him. She's yeah. regulating. Him. Yeah, bring him. Off. Balance he him out it. a little bit. He needs That's it. So cute. Um, and Clancy kind of sees you all as you're all kind of seemingly making your like leave essentially. Um, and she kind of steps over and she looks at you and she says, um. So, the conversation was in. Did it go well? <laughs> extremely, extremely. You guys are lucky I haven't gotten her to myself for a while. You all got her to yourself. Maybe you should get on that. I mean, she's got a room for a reason. She likes her a long time, she says. Uh, she looks at she you, Arlo. She's like, yes, she, she does. She likes her alone time very much. Yes. She's just saying no, but um, oh later, you know, who knows? I do not think it is my place, so. Could be, though. <laughs> you should. Um, I mean, he keeps pushing her hands down, but she yeah. keeps. <laughs> <laughs> um, she, like, nods. Okay, you're right, though. Um, are you uh, heading on your way? Yeah. Yeah, gotta be you back before curfew. But, uh, it was lovely seeing you again. Yes, you we'll as well. I'm sorry that I got mad at you one of the last times that I saw you. It's Plenty of people are mad at us. Yeah. Well, I'm not mad yeah, anymore. So. Oh, you're yeah, good. Yes. All's well that ends well. Yes. Okay, well, um, it was great seeing Be you safe. again as well, and, and, and you know where to find us now. We'll come visit okay. again soon. Yes, right. it's a nice town. I like it here. It is. Feels right somehow. Can't quite put my finger on it. Interesting. If there are no humans, it would be perfect, but nonetheless. So is the bitterness of our reality. Anywho, let me get the door for you. And she like turns <laughs> and she moves to the door. Aaron's doing like the mental math of like, don't yeah. you drink the humans? Like aren't don't you like them because you drink them? She what? hates she just drinks everything. Blood. She just drinks blood, yeah. So she'll drink like outside yeah. of blood too. I like um, I love chicken I sandwiches, but I'm not hanging out with chickens all the time. <laughs> <laughs> like, what do you mean by that? Food. They're just food. Oh, you know, no, 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 no. Well, let me explain. I think I should hang out with chickens. She's like, chickens. <laughs> she's like it'd be better if there were no humans, but don't you rely on the humans? Oh, for, okay, that's true. All the I mean, no, because she used to have <laughs> exactly when she was chicken 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 all chicken all yeah. Yeah. conspiracy at all. She had, well, she had a food store, but I guess she drinks you though. So it's not the humans; it's just blood. She doesn't need them. Yeah, she just probably has Benny. Maybe it's animal blood too. Benny's 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 blood Benny is Benny? Is Benny? Is Benny still around? Do we see him? Does Benny live? Is he you, there? You don't see him anywhere. Oh no! <laughs> Jane, I'm gonna <laughs> cry. Yeah. Why the if fuck would you kill Benny? Benny is dead. I'm going to cry. Benny Are you saying this? Is it your fault? Uh, she starts unlocking all of the locks. Clint, so we can ask her. Where's Benny? <laughs> Where's Benny? Oh, sorry. Do you, you ask her? Do you ask her? Please, 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 please. Not, 
not like that. Yeah, please like that. Yes. Saren, Saren as a character, as a character, would not be that attached to Betty. I am. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. This is Faye speaking. Okay. Yes. This is Faye speaking. I'm possessing Saren for a moment. I'm this possessing Saren for a Hello? moment. Um. I don't know if he could slip that in like casually, but maybe next you time. You can. Okay. Hey, where's Benny at? Where's I know, by the way, where's Benny at? Actually, yeah. I mean, they don't have a tavern anymore, so I guess he's probably doing is, something else. Or he's is, dead. Is Benny okay? By the way, uh, we, I was looking around and I didn't. Clancy's face kind of falls a slight bit. Um, Are you no. for the team? I appreciate uh, you. I hope so. Uh, he. He was with us when we left, but we got separated, so. You fucking killed him, you bastard. No, you didn't. He's How fine. How could you do that? He's fine. Me? Oh. He's fine. Oh, I'm, talking, fine. I'm talking to him off. I'm talking to him off. I thought you were saying that to Clanthy, and I was like, I thought you were no, saying that too. No. I was like, no. 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 It went so over my head. It went so over my head. What am I gonna do? The difference is like this now in the diary room. My brain did not compute for a second. Hopefully, find his bike. Well, personally, I hope he's fine. And if we see, if we come across him, we'll send send him your way. He made some really good um, blood cocktails, so it would be nice to have him back. Bloody Marys. Bloody Marys. <laughs> Anywho, do you know your way out? Do you need a guide? Uh, we're good. No, we're, we're fine. It's a very straight shot out. Straight through Got the kitchen. This. Just make yeah. sure when you walk out that no humans are looking directly at you. The waitress is there, fine, but it's the, um, you know, patrons. Yeah. Patrons, yes. There's also we'll a back door. So if you'd like to take oh. that instead. Oh, back is that, you. like, less populated? Is that a better option? Well, yes, it just leads around the building and you can circle around. Okay, we will use that then. It's the staff entrance. It's what we all use most of the time. Anywho, and she opens the door for you. See you soon. Hopefully. See you soon, see you soon and I will hold you to that. Bye bye, Karen. Bye. I hope I'll you get to you. sing soon. Yes. Thank you. I sing we'll come sometimes. For I fun. hope we get to hear you soon, sing soon, actually. It's been a while. I will sing for you anytime. Any place. Next time, then. Yes. Um, and you just see, like, Killian just go, like. <laughs> Theron me. flips Bye, him off. Killian. Theron <laughs> flips him off. Listen, he's hot, sexy, damn. I don't know what you got. He's on. my. Are you talking about Theron on the back? Is he on your I, list? I, I, is he on your he, list? No, he's not on my list, damn. but he's like my. The Royals, um, that yeah. one character. He's that August? 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 Yes. August? August? Where it's like, he's a little bastard, but you know if you got to know him that there'd be, like, underlying... Oh my god, August. Yeah. He just does August. what people want him to do. Anyways. He's just helping people oh out. Gosh, it's just in his own weird job. way. Helping people mm -hmm. out. Um, I like got a very specific but... skill set. Yeah. He knows how to do the market, <laughs> I guess. Um, Calanthe is very good to close the door behind you guys as you leave with like, oh, yeah, kind of on the back. a final farewell. <laughs> oh, thank you. Um, I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> fine, fine. And so, no, she's fine. like, she's like, thank you. Thank you for doing that. Oh, oh okay, okay, okay. Good job. Anytime. Um, with that, I was happy to flip somebody off. <laughs> you... Sorry. Um, you move up the stairs, back out the door, and you do see the little like staff exit now. Um, and you push through. Nice. And sooner rather than later, you are back out into the world of Evergrim, and you are leaving what you could call New Cardinal Alley, essentially. Um, and I assume you all head to the train station, and you pass more ivy and brick buildings, little cottage-like homes, and you slide past a few other outsiders when you get to the station. Um, boarding on the train after scanning your TCDs. And the train ride is much as it was on the way here. It is quick and short and fast. And before you know it, um, you feel the train docking at the station. And the trip no had just been... Huh? Sorry. No reflections? No reflections. Sorry. Can you imagine if you saw her? Arya's oh just looking out the window. 
but she's at looking at the window yeah. and just waiting like, to see looking if at her pops face. Up, basically, yeah. yeah. Interesting. Oh, oh that's cool. Love. Oh, cinematic. Cinematic. Um, mm-hmm. and it is basically like your your background to that is just countryside kind of flying by yeah. and so the pretty, city skyline kind of on the horizon mm-hmm. ahead. Um, bingo. And bingo. Oh, bingo. Pizza rolls? Oh. Pizza rolls and chicken nuggies. Oh. It's beautiful. That's what we should make because we have pizza rolls. I'm a- Give me some of that. We do. These are amazing. Um, so with that, um, the train docks at the station and the doors hiss open with the little mind the gap alert that goes off. Mind the gap. Um, and I'm going to give you this tiny little thing and then we will take a break here. Um, as soon as you step out of the station, you see those tall castle-like structures once more. Elegant architecture that sparks perhaps bittersweetness in your hearts. After all, Ravenwood is where you all found one another. But the question of can it be trusted surely runs through your heads every day. And the cobblestone path that lies before you leads back to the world of the Academy. And from here, you are free to go and do as you please. Um, You guys have your bags of things, your gifts, all that good stuff. Um, I'm sure there are conversations you want to have. Aaron's mind is solely on like the second Ravenwood is in sight he is only thinking about giving gifts to like Arthros and Silas and like (laughs) having a good night after this insane day that's so fair with the bags um that's so so cute we will take our little breaksy there um because the the rest of it is very much just whatever conversations you want to have and some little things that I have planned for you guys um so boy 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 so oh boy oh boy yeah boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. how long of a break yeah. would you like to take 25 we, 30 how long do you like to yeah take? can we do like yeah. a dinner break like a like yeah, yeah 30 dinner break. break yeah like a yeah. Third, you want to do 25 30. 30. let's 30 do 30 because we'll be, i know yeah. what we're doing 30 is, mm, yeah. Yeah. 30 is realistic um okay <laughs> well uh, we'll say the latest is 45 earliest 30. yeah yeah i would yeah i don't need that it's 750 now so yeah 30 is fine yeah okay so it would be 20. Eight, yeah. eight twenty, my time twenty for you guys. Five twenty, the twenty, okay. and then six. Oh, six twenty. Oh, good. I love I'm having so much fun. I'm this is so good. We'll be back. So dinner hot. break. Oh, this is oh my god. Is god. Is get your sippies. Get your snackies. Go pisses. Oh my god. Ah.
back. Oh, I'm back. Hi. Sorry. Hi. <laughs> um, Hi. Hello. Hi. We returned. Ginger Ale. Hello. Oh, it's a baby ginger ale. We it's a baby ginger ale. I don't know what I learned from in my childhood, though. Oh, yeah. How yeah. you hold it? Yeah. Nah. I love holding cans. Like I that. don't like. I've never that. done that. Before. You're the only one who's ever appreciated me holding shit like that. What the yeah, hell is that? I, I don't agree. You that feels <laughs> that doesn't look like a hand anymore. No, oh, we need to disagree. You can, you can I always hold like shit that. like that. My hand, like guys. No, it doesn't. It doesn't look like your hand is right. right. You're not. You're turning it into it's a mug. It's a handle. Yeah. It's a handle. No, it's a handle. A handle. Yeah, you are turning it into a I mug. don't like it. It feels wrong. It looks I like it looks it. like a mug has it because it's so it's so. It looks like a mug has has merged with your hand. Is what it looks like. I only have my yeah. medication. <laughs> my medication. I do that shit my all the time with cans. For this. <laughs> yep, <laughs> that's too bad. Right now. That's too damn bad. Ring, <laughs> ring, ring. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Ring, ring. So. Ring, ring. <laughs> <laughs> From here, anyways, oh, sorry, or where we had, <laughs> where we left off, um, <laughs> was you guys arriving at Ravenwood and going about your ways. I'm going to step out train. on a limb here and assume, Arya and Arlo, me? that you are going back to the Aquafin dorms together, since <laughs> i.e. you are Aquafin and i.e. Uh, Elf and Dimitri that. are together right now. Yeah. Wait, no, we don't even know what you wait. What was it? Is it? What, what did we? What was it? It was it double D. What did we? Double D. Double D. Delphine and Dimitri. Double D. Let's go, bestie. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's ride. So am I? Am I right in assuming that you guys are going there? Yes, you are correct. Okay. Yes, you are right. For me, as a group, I feel like we should be like, all right, we're we're going for the night, and then we'll see each other in the morning. We'll meet up in the morning. Meet up in the morning. Where do we want to meet up? Oh, in the woods? In the woods? Yeah, no. under that one tree. Andromeda was saying. The the book burning site. Oh, yeah. The book yeah. burning site. The book burning site. The book burning site. I mean, it's secluded. It's nice. It's, I'll miss uh, you guys. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Aww. No. Okay. You guys. Mud, mud, mud steps forward and puts his hand on your shoulder, Arlo. He looks at you. Oh. I'll miss you. He like he just pats it, point. and then he pulls his hand back, and he just like smiles at you. Yeah, 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 yeah. And Drama's looking. I'm like, isn't he just the greatest? That's <laughs> the hand he kills with. Mud um kind of like looks at you and Dramada and then kind of like offers his hand. Takes it. Okay. Um and I assume you all head on your way. I am going to see my, my husband, husband and wife. I'm happy. Hey, I'm happy. I really I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. Husband and wife. <laughs> um then I'm gonna start with Arya and Arlo. Now, okay, Aquafan. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, Aria, I'm really good. You should Hi. be. Ar Aria, slap me in the face. I should be. Oh my god, <laughs> the grip of you. The grip yeah. on this one. That was good. That was that's good. Goodness. Um, right, yeah. yeah, you both you stroll me. across the campus together. Um, and the late day light, uh, now as evening is approaching, is casting a beautiful golden hue over the autumn red and orange leaves that paint the sidewalks now. Um, welcoming the dawn of fall. Oh, and good morning, fall. Good morning hands. fall. I'm holding Aria's hand. Ah, it isn't long before you are stepping up to the Aquafin dormitory building and lifting your TCDs to unlock the main door and stepping inside. What you do not expect to see upon entering the long blue wall papered corridor um, is Dimitri and Elfie standing outside of your room, Arlo. Oh, oh, oh. and. <laughs> As you near them, you can see that their backs are pressed against the wooden surface of the door, and their faces bear concerning expressions. <laughs> Elfie's oh is twisted in fear, and Dimitri's is kind of the stoic look that's plagued with like a sort of underlying dread. And they have their hands like pressed towards the door, and they turn when they hear the main building door close behind you, and they see you come in. Um, and you see them kind of alight anew, and Elfie's face drips with this like frantic need for help, whereas Dimitri just kind of has this look of like, 
relief that is very clear on his expression. <laughs> and Elfie kind of <laughs> looks at you guys. Um, hold on. Uh, oh you got God. this. I got this. Elfie's so hard uh, to slip back into. He is. Uh, sweaty, it's sweaty, sweaty. Um, sweaty. She looks and she goes, Oh, thank you. Eve, you're here. Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 is well, everything okay? What, what's going on? Why are you guys looking like there's an elephant? Are you both okay? Like, is Morgan yes, yes, okay? <laughs> oh my god. And Arla just starts <laughs> ripping over them. I'll be like <laughs> gasping. <laughs> and Dimitri casts you a look, Arlo, before you go about anything and just kind of looks at you and he's like, she just, I, I, I don't know what happened. It, um. What? How bad? One second. And, and how Elfie's bad like, is it? Elfie's like, she woke up and, and looked bored, so we gave her one of your books to read and then she just lost it. Oh my god. Skill one to ten. Skill one to ten. Dimitri's like, a ten. Oh, definitely a ten. Definitely a ten. Um, oh god. Okay. And he, okay. he like points the door and he's like, I didn't, I didn't want her to, to get out, and, and and that's why we're on the other side of the door. Get out. And and then uh, Elfie, Elfie stops for it and she's like, No, we are on the other side of the door because I did not want to die. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Why? I'm not. Not. What? Uh, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. And and you, so, you hear let's like go. like shuffling and rustling on the other side of the door, and it sounds like very like hurried and manic. Um, you open the door. Yes. More okay. yes. You lift your TCD and you unlock the door and it beeps. Back them up. And it signals that the latch is uh, clicked open. Uh-huh. And you push your way inside. <laughs> Why am I so nervous? And Are you <laughs> what you see is probably the last thing you expected to see upon entering. Um, large, overwhelmingly large, and overtaking the entirety of the room, pressed up against the walls and the corners, is a serpent. What? Oh. Its body is long and snake-like, no limbs to be seen, and scales are coiled up and around in loops, tumbling over its own weight in body as it slithers forward at the sound of the door opening. Books and papers, the portrait of Hazel and Bruce, your collection of movies, Nari's nail polishes, your TCD cable, pencils and pens, practically everything you had in your room is strewn across the floor, knocked over by the sheer size of the creature that is now taking up the whole of your dorm room. And thankfully, nothing looks too damaged beyond repair, but that's surely the least of your concerns when, as you step into the room, the creature moves to look directly at you. And... A scaled body of black and gold uncoils slightly, and the head that looks far more dragon-like than snake-like fixes you with a yellow-green stare that you recognize. Eyes slitted, an expression unreadable but seemingly vibrating with rage. And a tongue slithers out a moment. But aside from that, the serpent doesn't move. It only fixes you with a wide, eerie stare. And I have a reference for kind of what it looks hey, like. I will draw it eventually. Immediately. I will draw it eventually. But this is the style oh kind of, of, of the They gave her like a shitty romance book and it had an oh. awful ending and she probably went berserk oh, that's over so that. that's so real. I said oh, it's a so spooky! It's either a Colleen yeah. Hoover book. A Colleen Hoover that's book. Oh, Colleen Hoover. Cool. <laughs> oh, so cool. It's so Wait, where? Uh, references. What? Oh, oh my god! Oh, I'm gonna throw up oh, a couple I'm literally about to throw up. I, I feel like Aria actually goes like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chat, it's in live stream references for those who need it. I want to see it. Oh, it's she's um, beautiful. I love her. <laughs> she's very gorgeous so cool. to me. Um, she's Arlo, so if... If you don't have anything else, Arlo yeah. will probably look up and be like, Hello, sister. Have we upset you? <laughs> um, and Dimitri well, kind of like, steps in behind you, too. And, yeah. yeah, Arya? Uh, Arya just, like, puts a hand on Arlo's shoulder. Fair. Elfie is well hidden on the opposite side of the door. She's not coming in. <laughs> she's, she's so scared. She's not stepping in. She's so door. scared. She's like, nope. Just nope. 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 Um, the creature just stares at you. And you see, like, its nostrils kind of, like, flaring like a dragon's would almost, and the tongue, like, darts out again in that mm-hmm. irritated way that a snake's would. Um, yeah. Is and Dimitri you see... Arya? Dimitri's, like, probably behind both of you, yeah. Like, just, like, like staring. Arya's trying to lean back a little bit while keeping her eyes on Morgan, and it's just like, Dimitri, what book did you give her? 
I don't know. I, I, I don't know which one specifically. She was looking through a, a bunch of different ones in there, and then and then she, she just she threw them all to the floor and she got. Are you guys seriously talking about books right now? Uh. <laughs> and you see, you see her head just kind of like go like this. Oh. 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 You look beautiful. You look. Go you look gorgeous. Yes, absolutely gorgeous. So, terrifyingly so. Um, breathtaking. This even. is such donkey with the dragon yeah. kind of moment, being like, "Oh, girl, yeah, of course you're gorgeous. 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 Gorgeous.
That um, was that wasn't at the forefront of his attention. There is lots of other stuff going on. No, yeah. he got kidnapped shortly after that. That's true. <laughs> that was kidnapped. This is true. Um, I think Arya I think... will walk over to it. Well, that's what. Okay. Yes, yes, a hundred percent to Arlo, so he has it. Fair. That's what I was gonna ask you to do something. Uh-huh. 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 I got it. You're so real. <laughs> yeah, we got it. We got it. Um, I probably still have Morga in my arms, so I'll probably I probably like look at it in your lap almost, mm-hmm. um, and kind of make out what I can of what she's connected. Because mm-hmm. it's just like a mythology book, basically. On like, Oh, I will like, tell you what's on this page if you would like. Can I look at it? Oh, yeah. Oh, I look oh, at yeah. it. Look at the page. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You look at the page that it is open on, um, and suddenly everything makes sense. And as you see it, as you take it in, there are connections spiraling through your mind, surely. There is a Never sketched up. image of a large kraken. Right. And its limbs are outstretched, right. tentacled and long, and they are sketched to be breaking large ships in half and setting people and wood alike into the air. An image of sheer destruction, of resolute villainy. Mm. And perhaps the Arlo you were before knew some of Earth's myths and legends, but the Arlo you are now certainly does not, raised in Ostradel. Would you like to read the block of text? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm so happy right now. If I love does it, Arya will. Oh. Um, out of all the creatures in this book, the Kraken goes back the farthest. It is a creature that everyone knows by name, a monster that predates so many, a monster that used to lie in the depths of our oceans. Originating from Scandinavian folklore, the Kraken is depicted as an aggressive cephalopod like creature, capable of destroying entire ships and dragging sailors to their doom. A colossal octopus, as it was called, that rose from the depths, piercing the boats of sailors and pirates alike with strong, tentacled limbs intent on destroying everything in its path. The creature was said to have a want, a need, for human flesh, a craving so all-consuming it took down every vessel in its path, sending even the bravest and strongest seafarers to Davy Jones's locker, or in other words, the bottom of the sea. It was the untamed ghost of the ocean, a beast that haunted every wave, killing without mercy and existing without foe to challenge it. Even today, there are still concerns in the eyes of those that spend so long atop the ocean's surface. Fears of what could truly reside beneath the dark waves or what could still exist in the depths. When it comes to these beasts, there will always be those that doubt their existence. Theories that the partially digested or rotted remains of giant squid and large octopus that were washing up on beaches were simply scaring people into making up myths. But the real question is, who can be sure? Was it simply a boy who cried wolf situation? Or was the Kraken so widespread a thing, so well known amongst so many, because it well and truly existed? Because so many saw it with their own two eyes. And that is all that it says on the page. I love, that was so good. <laughs> was so good. Um, I was probably just like, I, I, I don't, I don't understand what, do you, do you know about this? To Morga. She looks at you. You don't know about it. I, I, I have lost all my memories. I don't know about anything. You don't know about him. Are you talking about Kai? Kai? I've only heard his name once. He was not like that. He was, he was not like that. He was angry, but he was not like that. He wasn't. So he was like... Why would they say his... such horrible things? Why would they? Why would they say it? Why would they say it about him? I don't know. There's humans say a lot of terrible things about. And he didn't creatures. look like that. He didn't look like that. What did he look like? He was more. He was greater. He was better. He was. He didn't look like that. Not completely. Did he have like a form where you like you where you're one and you but then you can also grow into a greater version of it? He visited us all the time. You know he visited us all the time. He had to leave the sea to visit us. He he had to leave. Um And I think that Arlo probably like looks at Arya and Dimitri just like for a moment. Um, uh, did, I'm, do you, I'm sorry. Yeah. Do you know where 
why why would he visit us why wasn't he with us oh, he, he was in charge of the sea the sea was his the sea the sea was oh. his are we was it all like we all had did we all have a commitment to something we had responsibilities Arlo. we had res- we had things we were to do i have things that i am meant to do but i am not doing them why am i not doing them right now like the weather why are you not doing them right now any donor a donor is not doing it no i don't think so no What's the last thing you remember? Ice. The ice always remembers. What's the last thing you remember of them? Of our family? We were, we were running from something. We were, we were... It was like one by one, everyone was just leaving. Was he to where? I don't, I don't. Why would they say such horrible things? It makes no sense. Because they're stupid. That's why. Yes. Because they don't, it's because they don't know about us. They don't know anything like you do, right? She looks at you. <laughs> I do not know who you are. This is my friend, Aria. Yes. It's very nice to meet you. You were... What of of the boy? Dimitri? Oh, how... He's looking directly at... She's looking directly at you. She doesn't (laughs) even look at Dimitri when you say that. Um... He was your friend, the boy. Yes. You're right about that. Mm Mm-hmm. Why? Where is he now? What? This boy? The oh. smaller boy. Oh! <laughs> oh! oh. 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 <laughs> Dimitri, like, not me, guys. Not, not me. me. <laughs> He's not a boy anymore. He's a man. That's what I like. She kind of gets this, like, glaze over her eyes as though she's kind of lost in memory, lost in thought. Morga, what was Kai's gift? The sea. What was Arlo's? To heal. So he controlled the seas? Yes, he, he protected, prote- protected the seas. A big job. <sighs> we each had a responsibility. Mm. Um. God, I have so many questions. Yeah. How about we take it one step at a time? Okay. I don't want to brigade you with questions. I know that you're in a new and familiar place. I don't I don't wanna we can take our time, you know? We're together, finally. I don't wanna waste that, take advantage of it. I'm just glad we're together again. You see her frown kinda lift for a moment and she like smiles and she looks at you. Is Kai coming to see us? I'm not sure. It is a long journey for him. Where does he use, he, uh, do you know, uh, is, you were, is there a certain direction? Like, do you, yeah. what if we meet him halfway? Yeah, what if you take, a, what if we meet him for once? What if you, we, you took us yeah, we could. to see him? That is if he is at the Haven. the Haven. Well, I've left some things there, I'm sure, so we could go check the Haven. We could definitely And then if Kai's there, that's even better. A and everyone, the they are waiting for us, surely. Why are we? Why are we here, not there? Oh, 
Bang, bang. Was? 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 Ja. <lacht> um, I'm oh, sorry that I was angry. No, no, it's okay. Oh. I have destroyed your things. They're just no. things. They're not destroyed, or they're, they're <laughs> destroyed. It's fine, it's fine. You should destroy the book. Huh? Beg your pardon? The less of that book oh. that exists, the better. It only is spreading lies. Right! Or he's gonna try and rip the book in half. <laughs> you know how, like, when people work? Like, she just tries to, like. How old are you? Um. Arlo goes and he grabs, like, one of the metal trash cans and he puts the book and he looks in her and, like, throws it in there. And then he. There's gotta be fire somewhere. Like a match. Someone, Come has, a, on. someone has a lighter, probably, yeah. Dimitri. <laughs> oh, Dimitri has one. Are you sure. like. Dimitri, Dimitri reaches into his pocket, hands you one. Thank you. Um, when Ari, like, and then, it, she, like, grabs a couple pages and it's just like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there. And then I look at Morga and I say, no more lies then, right? No more horrible things. Mm -mm. And. Um, Arlo lifts it over the trash can and burns the corner and holds it as long as he can until, like, it's too hot and then drops it into the trash can. Ugh. Symbolism. Fucking love. Gorge. Gorge. She, like, smiles when she it's watches it. off the it. fire alarm? <laughs> no. <laughs> she... Not this. We can't get in any more trouble. <laughs> when it kind this of, like, bad. crumbles to ash, um, she smiles and it's, like, that toothy, sharp smile. And she nods, and she looks at you. Thank you. Anything for you, and I mean that. We will find Kai. Yeah. And we will get him out. Out of what exactly? Out of you know, out of what is there something he's in? He was always in the ocean all the time. Oh, out of the ocean. Like you mean get him out? Uh, he leaves the ocean of his own accord. But not this time. I do not follow. I don't think I do either. <laughs> She's Delulu. <laughs> a little bit, and I love her. I really do. She's a little the Lulu. It's a little bit about jumping into hoops with her. And yeah, yeah, it's, it's great. Just <laughs> following the hoops. Little mysteries. Oh, wow. Well, um, why don't you, if you feel comfortable, tell me one of your favorite memories with our family? Something happy. What's a good? I have a question. Yeah. Arlo. You do not act. You do not seem desperate for his presence as you always were. You were inseparable when you were together. But that is how it is for twins, I suppose. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, Morga, I really, I really apologize on this. They were twins. Uh, I was a twin. Kai uh, thought. Uh, Although, you know, you know that thing that Kai would always do. I'm... I don't, I don't know the thing. Could you huh? explain it to me? Oh, he, he liked to tease that. <laughs> He was a few moments uh, older than you. Oh. But if it was close enough. Right. That's so funny. <laughs> that makes sense because water, fresh water and salt water, twins. Well, yeah, that. <laughs> twins. Uh -huh. Are you looking for him? Uh 
Oh, no. Um, we're looking. I've always, I, yeah, yeah. Well, he is probably looking for you. Will take me to him, please. I cannot. Yeah. I have to get him out. We have to get him out in order to see him. Okay. Let's start that then. How do we start that? Yeah, how do we get him out? That's a good <laughs> idea. Let's get him out. <laughs> Sorry, I really want to help. It's okay. <laughs> Sorry. Bless you. Suck up on me. Um, she frowns at you, Arya. Sorry. Well, you are Sorry. not Keldrius, and if we do not have Keldrius, then we do not have I'm Kai. Not Caldrius. Do we need? To... Okay, so we need to find Caldrius. Get him first? first. Do you know where he is? Oh, you that's a good one. Oh, wait. Yeah, where I is have he? told you to look for him. Have you not been looking for him? I've been. It's been like a day. Um... It's been. <laughs> We've been looking. We've been looking. We've it's been, been a I've... century. It has been a century. Where is our brother? That's a wonderful question. Did you? He feels so close. He's apparently under your nose, him. I gotta say. What? <laughs> True. Yeah. What did she say? He feels so close, and yet I do not see him. I was told that he's right under my nose. Do you know what that could mean? What a silly thing to say. Yeah, I was told to me, and then I was booped on the nose, so it felt <laughs> double as silly. And she leads forward. And no, I have not found him. No, I thought that might work too, but... That was... that was good. What is it? Why is Haley making a horrified face? Is Haley okay? <laughs> Haley thinks that... Haley thinks Something that not so chill is Oh wait, I didn't know everyone was typing. Wait. They said she said, What if what if they took Kai's heart and put it in oh, our wow. body and that's what the story Right is. under his nose. Oh my god, that's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. not funny. I literally I just assumed oh, that he was like I, oh, I well. just assumed he was like oh, the oh, uh, first under Ravenwood in like the yeah. prison. Oh, oh like I like too. this star though. I Maybe. like the right under your nose. That's I this. was thinking so right. So the well, way, two different like, reasons, Idona so. said something really specific uh -huh. once, yeah. where because I was like going back and like really looking through stuff, mm -hmm. and she said something. I have to like get it from word to word, but it made it sound like she was like, "I live within you," but it was very yeah. like intentional and weird. Not, mm -hmm. <laughs> but like I know, you like mean. I like in a way that makes me feel like you know how Keyhorn is in me, like yeah. not that they would be yeah, like yeah, familiars, yeah. but like but that type of. I'm wondering if there's some sort of like Skywalker connection or like what do they like lock you, you like locked them within you or something? I don't know. Yeah, ex like I got protected yeah. them that way. Like I have no idea. Oh, oh. Ooh, that'd be cool if yeah. you protected them like Dude. that. Mm. Freaking uh. portal inside Arlo. Ooh, <laughs> pocket dimension in Arlo. Well, if you has to meet. Also, the fact that we are the key. I feel like. <laughs> I feel like the fact that, like, we are the key, um, because we didn't try, like, all of us, oh, hey, hey, sorry, sorry, she's taking, she's I just had taking a beat, I really, I had to leave. she's taking a beat, that's fair, that's <laughs> fair. No, go ahead, that was so fucking funny, yeah, um, go ahead, I sorry, theorizing in this, please, I love it, no, no please, please. But, uh, yeah. the fact that all of us, like, putting our magic together opened, like, the seal to the museum, I feel like yeah. we should have tried that in the dungeon, or, like, the prison, whatever. Ooh, um, and that yeah. would have opened, because, like, all of us together are the key to weird. opening that door. Oh, smart. And Cal is, like, under your nose in the fact that, like, he's there. In the basement. That's my theory. That's I got. That, That's yeah. all I gotta say. That's good. I like that. I, I like that. that. I like that. I mean, I going off of that, that. <laughs> what Tobias slash Rain also said. What? What, what which year is, he says a lot of things. You're He's as beautiful as the day that I last saw you. I saw you. The... Is that his oh, ex? I'm thinking you. about Kai. Is that well, his no, ex? I thought it was. I I I feel like it's Cal no. under the thing because Sin fair. said that Cal is right under your nose. So I gotta assume Hi, I under your nose means under Ravenwood. Like she she didn't specify. She just said he. 
Oh, he's oh. Cool. Okay. oh. Yeah, okay. I was gonna say, because I was like, I, so I read that either, as time. Essentially, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, in my mind jumped to Cal, yeah. but yeah. Oh, you're fair, though, because it could no, be either. No, because Morgan's specify. also saying that Cal is close, and like, but mm-hmm. she doesn't see him. So I feel like that yeah. makes more sense. I'm sorry, I And then I feel like Kai the is actually left. Quote of you're as beautiful as the first day I saw you. What is, where was that exactly? Um, Tobias, more so Tobias. It was before we went to Osterdale. Uh, it was when you guys were in that little prison cell, and he Let's looked in that room, said oh. that, and then closed the door. And the only yeah. reason I, I'm bringing it up is because, obviously, like, you know that Rain had connections to the Guardians and was in, like, involved, ooh, involved with the Guardians, so there's more. And also, Morgan's saying, like, what happened to that boy? Like, you and Rain were friends as kids, mm-hmm. so, like, yeah, I feel like Rain was around to see Cal for sure. And it was like, oh, like, they're really cool, and they're really pretty, and it's, I mean, we already know Cal is yeah, I mean, obviously, Cal is... Yeah. Obviously. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Back to the <laughs> I'm losing and... my mind. Wow. Love. Okay. Oh, what if I scream? You should. What if I yell right what now? Do what if I just yell right now? Um, Fun moment. Yeah, Morga is... staring intently at you. Um... And she kind of frowns a moment. I love you, Alo, but I hate that it is just the two of us. That's fair. I bet it also feels like it's just the one of you since I can't even remember. Your presence is enough. That means a lot. Aww. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes Morgan, Morgan looks at you again, Arya. Sorry. Sometimes I feel like an empty cell. Um, shell? Like this? Uh, Sorry. Um, of some greatness that I used to be. That I don't have access to anymore. There are no shoes to fill. You fill them by simply existing. That's right, Morga. Tell him. He needs to hear it. <laughs> she looks at you again. And like every time she looks at you, it's like she's seeing you for the first time. Just oh, like, who is this? <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm like, so sorry. I don't know this? how to interact with Double siblings. takes. It's really You're doing great. Oh, <laughs> so funny. I'm sorry. Kind of. Out of nowhere. <laughs> I'm gonna stop talking now. He did do horrible things. But not as many as they say he did. Um. Not for without reason. We all have to do things sometimes. For good reasons. You do not understand. We are supposed to be the very depiction of good. The very heart of good. It is who we are. It is, we are, we exist to help. We are burdened with uh, such gifts and if we are to use those gifts for the wrong things it would lay waste. Me with my... And she like kind of like points like up at the sky kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. She's like, I could use it to create disasters. Mm. Instead I use it to maintain them. Um, we are meant to help. For so long in our circle, it hurt so bad that we didn't even say the name Kai.
Carl's official title for him was the Rogue One, the Rogue Guardian. Did, did everyone come around to forgiving him or only some? Did I come around to forgiving him? I do not know. But you were angry. So, so angry. Not as angry as Cal, but angry. She smiles again. So you said we were meeting him, so where? What time? <laughs> Arlo just like... <laughs> it's, a whip, it's a whiplash. Oh! Uh, no, no, Hi. Hello again, sorry. She's literally... Uh, I, hi, I'm a friend, and I have a question, if that's okay. Um... Um... The boy that Arlo was friends with. Mm. Um, do, do you know if he ever had any siblings, Tom? Oh, yes. Oh, he did? Mm. Did you ever know them? They were around, an older and a younger. Boy. We didn't see much of the older. Um, but the younger? Mm. Any, any fun things about to her? Them? She mostly followed the boy around like a puppy. Oh. Not what I was imagining. And she liked flowers. Roses? Any flowers. Oh! He don't quite like that about her. Mm. Yeah. She looks away a moment, back at you, Arlo, and then she looks back at you, Arya, and she gives you that look again. Hi. Hello. Uh, yeah. Hi. I actually have another question. Um, did any of your siblings have I don't know any issues with rage at all? No. Good. That's great. Great. Do I misunderstand? I don't think so. Um, just, just uh, uh, something my father told me once about um, having a gift. Rage can be a gift, so I was just curious. You, you, you were calling your gifts, gifts, powers, gifts. Um, I was just. We have all just... felt rage, but rage is not a gift, not for us. If that is what you mean. Um, doesn't matter. Not not important. Um, we're just glad that you're up and at him. And I'm yeah, tired. Yeah. Nap. Naps are very nice. Yes. And she smells good. <laughs> you take cute. that nap. Oh my god. Great nap. I'm going to stop talking because I think I'm <laughs> and she <laughs> looks. She looks at you very, like, sternly, Arlo. You left me with two strangers. They're my friends. She looks, and, like, Elfie has, like, peeked her head around the corner now. And, like, to me, she's just like... <laughs> okay. You can trust them. They are not friends that I remember. No, they're new friends. They're new friends. Newer than a century. 
<laughs> she she just is like Arlo has lots of friends now. It's very popular. No. Yes. No, I'm not popular. Arlo, yes. No. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's, like that, it's like all you can say. trying to boast about your friend to their parents or something. <laughs> He's uh, beloved by all. He always was. Ah, oh, well. That makes sense. <laughs> okay, you want me that to just go? Oh, <laughs> she looks at you. That is how your legend goes, doesn't it? Um, tell me more. Ooh, I don't know this. <laughs> she just smiles. Such a good wing, <laughs> wing partner. <laughs> <laughs> wing partner, and she wings. Wing partner? Um, yeah. uh, Morgan just kind of looks at you. Wingman, sorry. Wingman! Oh, wingman! I couldn't remember the word. Oh, <laughs> fair. Um, Cheers to that. <laughs> she looks at you and she she nods for a moment. She says, um, we all have our legends. Yours was always about perseverance. Um. Always striving until you reached the point you wanted to reach. And do I usually? <laughs> she frowns. <laughs> yes. No. Oh. What is, uh, are there any other details or? You said I had a tail. What, uh, um, what about that? What kind of tail? Why are you asking me such weird questions? Um. I have a lot of them. <laughs> and I love learning about my friends family because you guys are so cool. <laughs> I'm a storyteller. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Arlo just looks at Arya and just goes... She, she, she looks at you and she goes, I'm... Hello, I am tired. Ooh, that's right. Let's get you that back. was a good one. Good comeback. Arlo just <laughs> starts to get Morga up. <laughs> Like very, Morgan like, very... is like, like as you're leading her like, to the bed, she yeah. keeps like glancing over her shoulder at Arya. Oh my god. Just like... oh my god. You're scaring her. <laughs> shut up, shut up, shut up. I'm gonna give you like a look to make sure you know that I'm not upset. And then, um, I like brotherly lead her to the bed and kind okay. of make sure she's okay because she just sobbed a bunch. Yeah. She kind of curls up in a little bit of like a fetal position for a moment, like brings her legs up to her chest. And she looks at you, um, and she just kind of says, uh, we have to get to paradise again. We do, don't we? You always persevere, so you will lead us there. Oh, it would be my greatest honor. It is your I legend, would... you must. If I don't have any other choices, then I guess I'm going to do it. Although legends can lie, I suppose. And she just stretches, yawns, <laughs> and like grabs one of the pillows and does like the like, <laughs> like big cuddle with it. And then joint like just zonks out. Yep. <laughs> Passes the fuck out. <laughs> oh. She's such a goofy. Such a goofy yeah, I love her so much. <laughs> Such a goofy uh, goober. I just uh, gotta tell. Oh, okay. Arlo's just standing, staring over her like. Arya just... like looks back at Dimitri, and is just like, "I'm just gonna go," and then just slowly starts to walk out. Dimitri like nods. Yeah, I'll um. I'll. I'll... Hi, Arlo. Okay. <laughs> from behind. <laughs> Dimitri's like she gives him a pat on the shoulder. Dimitri's shoulder. And he walks towards and Elfie is just like waiting at the door and she like looks at you, Arya, like waiting. And she's just like Arya still has a hand over her mouth while she's walking out. Why do you do that? 
The monster took your voice. What? <laughs> oh, I you are she, back. She, <laughs> she steps outside of the door and then she closes the door. From, no, um, Morgan didn't take my voice. Were you right? We were watching The Little Mermaid. That makes a lot of sense. Um, no, I'm good. I just talk too much. I do not think so. Well. You talk a perfect amount. Are we leaving now? Because I really do not like it here. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> okay. She starts, she just, so she starts walking, but in the complete opposite, like the wrong direction. Arya like, like turns around and then like takes her hand and like pulls her in the right she's direction. Like, oh, <laughs> she's gonna talk. Okay. Oh, um. <laughs> 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 I love that shit. Sure. Uh, from there, uh, putting a little pause. Are you guys okay for a little potty break, real quick? I gotta piss. Yeah, go potty. When do I not have to piss? You know. Hydration's important. Um, Hydration. If no one else is pissing, I'll just go really, really quick, and then I'll be back. Oh, I'm um, gonna go pee pee. I'll go with you. Oh, okay, okay. We'll be right back. Chat just a. Piss I just made. They just gave the biggest eye roll ever. <laughs> I don't have to piss. Sorry. I'm with. Hey, 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 hey.
Yeah. <laughs> we are back. Hey yo. Okay. From here after this little interaction. The girlfriend. Zah. We are going to Oh he's so cute. Poor thing. <laughs> Alfie. She's so, she's so, she's so cute. I'm on this side of the life. door, so I'm not gonna die. So I'm not gonna die. <laughs> um. Okay, sorry, I lost my place. My notes. She's protecting her peace for real. <laughs> she needs protecting her life, like, but okay. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> and by protecting her life, she's protecting her peace. Well, us going to a fucking snowy place. Maybe no maybe fucking maybe. thank you. Us going to fucking redlands. No fucking thank <laughs> no fucking you. Thank you. Yeah, she's like nah. She's I was like, I'm not an adventurer. I am not an adventurer. She's a princess. Yeah, yeah, she's a princess. A princess. princess. And she knows it. What's she gonna do? What's she gonna do? Work? Good life. No. Hell no. Work? And this is gonna be? No. No, no, no. no, no, no. As a princess? No. Okay. <gasps> what you got next for us, love? We're gonna jump to some drama and ride. Oh, God. Good luck. Good you know, luck. Like, Andromeda's gonna have one of those touch me scenes from um, from Ooh, uh, what? Haunting. Oh, because she said what? the thing that she missed the most was touch. Oh, it's like yeah. Theodora. Oh, um, yeah, I see it. Haunting. <laughs> it's like oh. that. When she said, when you said that, I was like, uh oh, she's about to have a touching scene. Uh oh. 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 But it's good. It's good. Good for them. Good for them. My girl needs to stop being yeah. tired for centuries because she's like 18, 19 years yeah, old. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, this is the second time because she was stuck with the centaur for how long? It was like a few weeks. Like weeks? Yeah. yeah. And this is centuries. Enough, enough to see him degrade <sighs> to. Uh, it was quite a bit longer. Yeah. Enough to see At least you had a nice view. Yeah. It was like a nice. That's true. But it. No. You're like I'm you would go you again. would go crazy after a while, like just yeah. see, seeing that, you saying yeah. you saying as a drama that you never want to see Rose again was a very good like that was a, a that was a really good yeah. response to yeah. that traumatic was fucking look at a Rose again. I mean, yeah, yeah. you're right though. She's like, good. That makes sense. She's good. She's fine. She's oh. so. <laughs> she is drama. protecting her peace. That's right. <laughs> she owns uh, protecting her peace. Um, the two of you make your way to the Terraclaw dorms, um, and nothing seems awry, nothing seems off in any way, um, but Mud does follow you to your room, Andromeda specifically, uh, he does not go to his own room, he follows you to yours. Deal with that later, that's fun. <laughs> Deal with that later. Uh, and I assume you unlock your door with your little yeah. TCD? Yeah. Um, and he kind of follows you in, um, and nothing looks off, everything looks more or less the same, there's nothing different in your room than, um, you saw previous. Um, and as Mud kind of walks in, he kind of stretches a moment, uh, lets out like a little yawn, and he looks at you, and he says, um, so how did it go with the lady? in the thing we didn't get to talk about it so i figured i'd ask it was interesting um she's kind of deciding fair how much she wants to tell him of sin's story that's fair um well so give the give the basics give the rundown yeah um she came from my grove. Oh. Well, that's that's kind of a uh, big deal. That's not what I thought was going to happen when you disappeared into that room. Yeah, I kind of had an inkling when we found her house in Thahorn. Right. That, that was her house. That, oh, that was her. Yes. Yep. The one with all the weird... Yeah, weird all right. Notes. That wasn't laid out for me, and so I, so I really didn't get there on my own, so I apologize for that one. It's yeah. okay. So, you know, sometimes it's just the whole picture just comes together. And, yeah, you know. uh, it's come together now. Thank you. <clears throat> yeah, that was her. Um, She was the one my brother gave the book to. You remember the spooky soul book? Right. With his minutes, yes. Yeah. And she gave it to me... Um, 
she deals with weird future things too, future premonitions and stuff. Well, that, at least you have someone to relate to now. Yeah. We could have... We could have known each other if she had been there still, but she left. She had, she had to leave. Well, I wonder if if she had stayed, if things would be different, maybe we never would have met, so... They were planning on killing her if she stayed, so... Well, then it's probably good that she left. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I, um, you know, um, we talked earlier and then, and then we went out to town and, and I, I've been, um, meaning to ask, but just haven't because, you know, lots going on. It was one thing after another and then we were in a weird museum and then, you know, um, how, how did your talk go? I feel like at that point Andromeda was at the bed and she was like unpacking all the crap they had bought that day and she was probably on like the second portal ball <laughs> out of her bag. Fair. Here's the question and she just highly considers just slamming the portal ball down and just teleporting to another dimension. <laughs> oh god. She probably had like put that at the back of her mind too. Like she probably was not thinking about Darian purposely all day. <laughs> compartmentalize that yeah. shit so hard in the back of her head. So fair. He's curious. Um... <laughs> just gonna set the portal ball down. He's just smiling. Could have gone better. Uh, I... I'm not really sure what that means. He kind of yelled at me. You see him but blink it... for a moment and he like frowns. But why? Why would he yell at you? I kind of flubbed my words a bit. It was my fault. It 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 is my fault. he should have asked for clarification. It was a lot of emotions and, you know, I kind of probably took him off guard and I was going to go apologize. I don't understand. Wasn't it? I thought that there wasn't many feelings there. I thought it was more distant. For him it was, I guess. I suppose I did attach a bit of sentiment there without talking to him first, and the way I phrased it was kind of presumptuous of me, and so I just needed to go. Well, what did you presume? That he had feelings, or...? I suppose. And he was mad because he doesn't have feelings? He was mad because I suppose it felt like I was treating him as some convenient second option. But I didn't mean it in that way. It was... I'm stupid. <laughs> uh, Mud kind of just frowns. So... He thought being a second option to you was a bad thing. Who likes being a second option? I would have been a second option. If I had to. I didn't want to treat anyone like a second option. It's not fair. I wouldn't want to be one. I think it is presumptuous of him. 
He did say one mean thing, which I'm going to yell at him about. What did he say? Something about Zephyrus. He knows about the fiancé. Yes. Just how close were the two of you? Per se. Just... We talked a few times and I was highly emotional. And he said a little bit about his past too. And maybe he viewed it as nothing, as just a, an exchange of some kind. And then that was that. And I suppose I just clung. And that was a fault of my own. A mess. So you chose him over Zephyrus at that moment? Essentially. I am a Capri Sun. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm a Capri Sun. I am a Capri Sun. Um, he just—he's just frowning at you. Why would you say that? I... Because he was still around during this time, but you w were with Darian. I didn't know how to talk to Zephyrus. He was. But you talked to him for so long when you first saw him and I wasn't even considered at the beginning. You could have talked to me. I'm sorry, maybe I am misunderstanding. I, I just... I, I... Well, you said you were going to kill Zephyrus, so I thought if I talked to you about him, you would have... Are you saying it's my fault because I was angry? I'm... No. No. I... Was my anger a problem for you? It's never been a problem for me. You were there and I... I was taken so off guard by Zephyrus appearing, and I was so, 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 so... I'm so in love with you, and... It's too much, and then... But then we got here, and then you found comfort in a stranger. And rather than talking to me about the things you were feeling, you talked to a stranger about the things you were feeling so much that you built a connection with him to the point where he feels like a second option. I feel like puzzle pieces that I did not have access to are becoming more clear to me now. Is this you talking? Is it mud? <laughs> he leans back. So now you cannot even take me at face value. I think I need some air. What? Before curfew. Clearly, I am not thinking like myself. And he kind of moves and he like puts his hand on the handle. No, and she just, <laughs> she walks for it and grips him by the arm. Fair. He just stands there. I am not having another person in my life being mad at me. No. I just need a moment, Andromeda. Are you going to come back? 
If my moment ends before curfew, then I will come back. Darian is just my friend. It is not about Darian. It is fine. I just need time. I'm not... No, I know you're still good. I'm not mad at you, I'm mad at this, this situation. I just need a moment. Is it not better for me to take space for myself than to stay here and yell more? It is, it is. Then allow me to. I was in a vision today, and it was centuries long, and I, all I could think about was you. I promise I will not be gone for centuries. I'm not saying that to guilt you into coming back, I just need to say it. Okay. I love you, and you know that it does not change. But I need air. The good kind is outside, so. I'm going to go get some. And he like turns. And he pushes down the handle, and he like glances at you, nods, and then closes the door. But like how gentle his like nod is doesn't match like how loud the door like slams behind him. As he as he slams it, as she's going as he's going to close it, she goes, "I love it." Oh, <laughs> that's not how I imagined that going. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> there that are caused me times. immense psychic damage. There <laughs> are like at least three times that I that a drama that said something that I was like, oh, oh, yes. you signed your obituary down. Oh, yeah. 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 So, you okay. dug yourself deeper and deeper. The is it mud? I was going to say, like, I was going to say, the mud. I was gonna say your your like the way you were explaining yeah, it was yeah. really like good. Like the way you were explaining oh, the dairy yeah. situation oh, yeah. was really good. It was, was just surprised. that mud was a little unhinged, mm-hmm. as yeah. you can tell. And then oh, something crazy. something a little at the yeah, is so this like, you from talking his perspective? Like they that just was, had this was whole fight far. about yeah. being like, oh, are you gonna choose me or Zephyrus? And then, like, you kind of choose Zephyrus, and then you don't choose Zephyrus, you choose <laughs> Darien. That's when you just let her die. In Mud's like, why not? And no, like, what? Like, yeah. But in Mud's, yeah, but in, but yeah, in you, you needed a you yeah. needed an impartial third party. Yeah. And that is yeah. okay. And that makes oh, yeah. sense. You're, you're, but you're no, Mud doesn't, doesn't know that. Mud doesn't know that. Mud doesn't know that. He's also, also, yeah. He's also, in Andromeda's defense, too, Mud, when they, like, fixed things mud was like i don't care like it's in the past now like we're moving yeah, on yeah, yeah. but of course yeah. like it's she's clear. being honest about it yeah, she's like, yeah. Not, she's no not and that's corners. that's what was so good because you like yeah. started that conversation off so well it was just that like, he started blowing it out of proportion Getting a little cr- and yeah. she's like Whoa. <laughs> yeah was just that felt like that felt really like it made so much sense for both of the characters. It did. Yeah. Chat, said, oh, chat said I deserve Oscars for that. Thank you. I need you a cool Oscar. Thank you, Randy. That was great. We got a date. I love my Every fiber of my being. That was intense. I was debating so hard. Oh, my tummy. My tummy. My tummy. That was so That was great. That was great. At the end there, I was debating so hard on her saying the the vision thing because she was going to yeah. tell him that that she was like stuck in there for centuries and all right. she could like a lot of the time she was thinking about him yeah because she's like is he okay what's going on like i want to see him yeah and yeah. then 
and then he she was gonna tell him that and then things started going downhill and she was like do i tell him this but i don't want to seem like i'm guilting him yeah. into like forgiving me or and something being like oh yeah you've been stuck for centuries okay i'll be here no, for you yeah. but like yeah. also it, it, was, it was a little guilty but like yeah i don't yeah. think he took it that way with she's no good. but she, yeah. she was no. like i'm not saying this to guilt you but i have to tell you it's like, like, yeah. I went through this. There's like andromeda yeah. feels like the drama is lost exactly. so much so for andromeda not to have like it makes sense that she yeah, yeah. It, it makes sense in the current moment too all all our characters have experienced is something bad happens oh something worse happens before you can fix it yeah so yeah. i feel like her being like this, this thing happened to me and i have to tell you it because if i don't yeah. tell you it now i may not get the chance to tell you yeah. bigger yeah. Also, like, having a problem with the one like the person that's supporting you the most like during like like and losing that person yeah. like all the other problems it's is, terrifying like, on top of like, I know, you're like okay, the last okay, time yeah. he left like this he didn't come back and yeah. so she's yeah. like please come like, back. Make up. Please, yeah. Please, yeah. Yeah, he yeah. he also wanted yeah. to be like like me thinking i love you because it was like he which didn't i'm want glad you to he said that yeah he didn't want you to take it as like he was walking out and he was like sayonara like he was just like, like yeah, so i need to but process this break. Yeah. So yeah. Don't take it out on you yeah yeah which is true yeah yeah yeah, that's why he was so. But also, me like thinking like it dropped to be like, oh, I was thinking about you so much, and I'm like, and like, oh, it's like Darian's just a friend. I'm like, you wanted him, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> like that, that is that sure. is loved yeah. her fucking words. She loved it. Yeah, words. yeah. She oh, well, okay. a friend liar. <laughs> it's because like, the whole conversation before I was thinking yeah. so hard about this. I yeah. was analyzing the scenes. I was like, "What?" Because she was going into this like, "Yeah, I'm gonna break it off with him. It's fine. It's cool. It's whatever. It's what. It's we're we're done. So, but yeah. you know, it was great, right?" And then the, the conversation with like Arthros and and Wit and mm -hmm. Silas and Arthros was like, "Well." Isn't there like sentiment there? Didn't you attach sentiments because you guys yeah. like talked and stuff? And well, so like, yeah, I'm thinking like, oh, I guess you I a, did. You had like, yeah. like you guys were like, you know, interaction. Yeah, and Silas was like, ah, ha, ha, threesome. And, <laughs> and him As saying, you yeah, have that plan. And she's like, okay. like that. Well, I'm gonna like break it off with him, but I'm gonna be like, yeah. I'm gonna be. Well, just in case I'm... if you want to live. Yeah, that's yeah. what that was her way it's of being like it. kind. It was her yeah. way of like not being like, okay, bye, you know, slam the door yeah. in his face, whatever. She's like, ah ha ha, but she doesn't. She's not a fucking crazy, like, frankly. Yeah. Yeah. Like she said, she can. She's not navigate this. Yeah. She no, she doesn't. Not. She ain't knowing how to navigate she this. At least she's like, I fumbled my words, and at least she owned up to it. Yeah. yeah. She's like, I'm stupid. I don't know how to. <laughs> I'm stupid. This. Yeah, I love no. Wowie. She's my little idiot. <laughs> she's so she's the thing. That, like all of this is so in character for her. even like oh, every yeah. like oh, little yeah. like reaction. It's so realistic. Her, which it's is realistic. Just, mm, they, they, they got together and they were like, oh, perfect little relationship picture. of like Mud and Drumna because we we like belong together. And they, they really do belong together. But it was they like really they, they very immediately were like, let's fix everything. Everything's fine. Like everything's fine. Under, under this like mindset right of like of like this stuff isn't gonna come up later. Whereas like yeah. it's gonna it's come up later. Yeah. yeah. Like it's gonna oh. come up again. Especially um, being like oh, in Raven Wood no, again. Yeah. Like, oh, this is right there. That's Darian yeah. right there. We love it. Love the angle. <laughs> this is Zephyrus' like old room. Okay, there's a lot going on. Uh, um, <laughs> anyway, all the shit still out there. Right there. All the right. shit. Oh, yeah, there's better than Um, so. I see. Oh, good, that, good. I love it. I'm jumping <laughs> to wit. Yeah. <laughs> I, I yeah. I love it. Uh, The things that I have. Purchased amazing. Yes. Um, I, had I, know. I had to grab. I had to grab my notebook. So Y'all are so cute. Yeah, I, I love couldn't you guys remember. So much. Otherwise, oh my gosh, I, I could not remember. That. I love you all so much. Um, Arlo, you... did I already give you your snow globe? Uh, thank you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I just assumed I gave you the stroke, but I don't know. You probably did. Yeah. Uh, can you imagine? I probably like like stood by you like a little like, bit. Oh, so like, I'd be like. Imagine Arlo, though, like, thinking about... Because it's a, it's a sea-themed one, right? Yeah, it's the under-the-sea... Imagine uh, Arlo like, laying in bed, like, looking at the snow globe. Like, shaking at it. I mean, it's be like an octopus that's, like, floating in the background. You, like, okay. shake it around. <laughs> you guys don't understand. I shake it around. You gotta really... I really, really fucked up where this art. I really fucked up. Um... Wit. Or Theron. You... Uh... Oh, baby, I love you. Easy. 
Uh, yeah. <laughs> easy. Uh, easy. Easy. <laughs> you walk uh, the walk across campus towards the Ignis Ember dormitories. Um, and probably Excited. enjoying the autumn leaves um, and the cooler winds around you. I step on the crunchy ones. Oh, as you should. Oh, yes. Um, and when you get to the Ignis Ember dormitory, there's nothing out of sorts. Not like what Arya and Arlo saw. Um, and uh, mm-hmm. um, and um, I assume you get to your dormitory and you do your little beep boop. Um, and you do your little people. I have, like, so many bags. <laughs> Fair. Yeah, you're just like... Um, and as the door kind of opens... Uh... Oh, I forgot... Oh, it's fine. I'll get it tomorrow. Okay. I forgot to get the notebooks, the mugs. Oh, you're getting smart. They're fine. They're on sale tomorrow, too. Um, no, you're all good. <laughs> Didn't you get them? Oh, no, you were going to get them no, afterwards. Yeah, 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 yeah. Curious. That's fair. Yeah. Yeah, get them tomorrow. It'll be fine. I forgot. Uh, fine. They'll extend the sale. That's all it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> you open the door to see quite a cute what sight. What do um, I see? You see Arthros sitting on your bed, and her legs are crisscross applesauce, and she has a book in her hands. And her head turns to look at you immediately as you walk in. And you see that Silas is sat next to her. And he's also crisscross applesauce. And they both have their backs <laughs> towards the wall. But Silas has his head on her shoulder and has since passed the fuck out. He is, like, snoring lightly. And as you walk in, she, like, looks at you. And she goes... <laughs> She's like, I-, I don't know what to do about this. Um... <laughs> um, and as soon as the door like closes behind you, you just see Silas go. He He runs a hand through his hair and he like looks around, kind of like rubs at his eyes. Morning sunshine. <sighs> he just looks down. <laughs> Um, Arthur's is kind of like, did you have a good trip? How is the town? You're hesitating. What happens? Are you okay? And she like, when she scoots forward on the wait, end of the bed. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Do I I'm need fine. to kill I'm someone? Fine. Do I need to kill the guy that we talked about? Do I need to kill anyone? I mean, not yet. Eventually later. But, Okay. <sighs> Silas Full disclosure, like, shit happens. Uh, we're dealing with it tomorrow. Tonight, we are not dealing with it. So, okay, but I have okay. an important question. Is it like, is it like vital that we do deal with it tonight, or can it be something that's left to the morning? Yeah, the the morning is fine. It's okay, not, it's not wonderful. Okay, cool. You I have guess. large bags. I went shopping. <laughs> um, and Silas is just like. Those, We're gonna focus are, on the shopping. Those are large bags. What could you possibly buy to fill bags like that? Well, I'll show you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so he takes all of the bags and he like sets them down on the desk, mm. spreads it all out. He <laughs> Arthur is like one. Arthur is like on her knees on the bed, like looking over the desk, and like her tail's going like this. <laughs> like, like, she's like looking. She's like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> she's I, waiting. Hope I for you guys. I'm holding back. Kissing her right now, for fairness. Because Why? Silas is there. Why, Why so, are you doing that? But he should really have to see her, okay? He should kiss his later, girlfriend. It's fine. Yeah, it's you fine. should kiss your girlfriend, your wife. Okay, she fine. He's <laughs> really excited. Sees her also excited. Goes over, smooshes her right on the lips. As you should. Uh, you see a Silas. Yeah, I missed you. Silas, <laughs> Silas, Silas kind of like Hope you had a better day than glances right. over, smiles for a moment, but then kind of like strays his eyes like he shouldn't be seeing this so he's like okay he's just like, i'm not gonna watch uh, um if there is that he's gonna ruffle silas's hair and she'd be like ha and then go back to unpacking all of the stuff they're so cute for real <laughs> that was based uh purely on my drabble by the way that drabble is canon that drabble I know, happened I know, I know. okay yeah, yeah and that's why and it's so good it's beautiful it's amazing you didn't see that silas fell asleep on her that's it i did it but she started <laughs> reading to him so he fell asleep while she was reading to him yeah listen if you like I'm that fine. i'm fine <laughs> 
okay, okay, share okay, that okay, travel okay. with 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 everyone. It's, Actually, it's fairly safe for work. Yeah, you need part. to read this travel because it's canon and it's beautiful. I'll post it on AO3. It means watch me. Yeah, you gotta send it to me so I can post it. Quite yeah. a few times. We need to post it. all of our shit on AO3. Okay, okay send, send it to us. Do it. Let's Tell do it. it. Tell me that you're okay with it and Share I will do it. All our Even the explicit ones. Yeah, especially don't we have we things. have a Ravenwood? I made yeah, one. Yes. You have one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. put it on there. Jazz, yeah. Hey, hey, we haven't said anything that's that we were there. good with it, like officially. officially I'm good. So There's one going. that's not going yeah. on. <laughs> you gotta tell me. I think I know. Which one one I think you could guess which one. I didn't read it. I'm gonna read that after stream today. I promise. Which one? I don't understand. Which one? Not that one. Not that one. I know which one you're talking about. Starts with the T. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, okay, okay. okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's, why not that one? Yeah. that's just for us. But that's I love that one. I'm a coward. Anyways, <laughs> I, yeah, you're fair. I say do it, but okay. You're I love, so I love it. So valid for that. I, I love it. I know this, and I love you. Um, I know this, and I love you. But uh, for context, Silas is still sitting with his back pressed against the bed, and he's still crisscrossed applesauce on the bed. And but Arthur's is still in that position of like trying to see what you have. Like, yeah. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, I can just yeah, imagine, yeah. like, because what she probably did is she put her hands on, like, the bed frame, so she's, like, leaning over the bed, because I imagine the back of the bed faces the desk, I right? So when you kissed her, she was at, like, eye level with you, because she was, like, up, like, perched. Yeah. Back. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, Sorry. okay. Had to. All right, that works. That was how that it works. was in my brain, I so I had to, no. had to throw it out. Okay. That's beautiful. <laughs> <sighs> okay, Theron goes back to the desk, and one by one takes out all of the goods and spreads them out on the desk. Um, and <laughs> so I, half funny. of them are, in fact, sugar. I can read you the list if you want me Please to. Please do. I want to remember everything that you bought. All right. I've got macaroons. <laughs> I've got a lollipop. I've got a sugar cookie. I've got a caramel apple. I have a succulent. <laughs> uh, caramel syrup, chocolate, coffee, whipped cream, creamer. <laughs> like, a bunch of different creamers. Um, Who gave the grits? Actually, if you look up your husband in the dictionary, a picture of it's just a picture of it's just a picture of wit. It's just yeah, it is. It's literally just wit going. Is he in Theron still? Or is he's 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 yeah, he's in Theron. Yeah. <gasps> um, I bring out wit. <gasps> bring out wit. Bring out wit. We want to see this. I want to visualize this with wit. I thought it was like difficult for it him is. to change on Earth. Oh, it is very so like oh, that's why oh, that's, that's why, why he was in Theron for so long. No, Theron's delicious. Tomato, tomato. I love Theron. I love I love Theron. Okay. Okay. I love Theron. So, <laughs> Theron. I love Theron. I'm the president of the, cl the club of fans. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are the you love a fan? Theron fan club. Theron club. The Theron, Theron club. club of fans. As long as that's clear. <laughs> My list is only halfway done. I've got a Grimm's book for Arthros. I've got a snow globe for Silas, which is the Evergrim one. Mm. I have the snow globe for Dolph, which is Halloween. Uh, Arlo, I assume I gave you yours. So I'm going to say that. I have all the necklaces, which is citrine for Arthros, mm. red jasper for Silas, aquamarine for Arlo, which maybe I. I I don't I like think that. I've given them to you guys yet. Save I don't it. know. Save it. Save it for Obsidian me. for Arya, Honey Citrine for Andromeda, and I think that's it. Beautiful. Slay. Slay moment. Yeah. Slay. Uh, as, you're, you're, as you're laying come this on. all out, our, uh, Silas's eyes widen when he sees this array of like sweet things. And he kind of like sniffs slightly, and he's sweet just thing. like looking. And he like Question. Leans back. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Does he do the does he do the does he do the snake sniff thing that I Does he do the tongue with his tongue? tongue? You just see the does he go Yeah <laughs> He's tasting the air. Um oh my goodness. And it's he, my favorite thing. He he just oh. kinda like sits back, kind of willing himself to like <laughs> remain <laughs> contained for a moment. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, Haley. Um and Arthur's is like oblivious. She is just like looking at all the stuff. And oh, she sees the wait, book like immediately. Wait, I didn't read it. Oh, that's what it was. Okay. Chocolate covered coffee beans or cacao <gasps> yeah, beans. Yeah, or yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are Arthur's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No. Okay. no. The really oh, dinner. I forgot about beans. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Espresso beans. Yeah, that yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, she is. Her eyes are dead set on the book right now. Like, she is. I like, know, I know, I know, I know. It's like, <laughs> it's like, what's that one? You don't have this one yet, as far as I know. This is a Grimm's book. It's a bunch of Earth fairy tales that are kind of dark from what I saw. Oh, I delicious. Really... I love it. And she like yeah. gets off of it. And she, got and she, she grabs it from the desk and she starts flipping through. She's like, oh, you weren't kidding. 
And she, yeah. she moves to her bed. The illustrations to, like, are, are disturbing, I gotta say. There was a candy house and two kids in a freaking furnace. But oh, that's so funny. Whatever. And she starts uh, reading. She starts reading, and you see her flipping through the pictures, and she's just like, huh. <laughs> she, I don't know if she's like, laughing at these stories. <laughs> like, she's, uh, she's literally, like, laughing. Like, she's laughing. I'm slightly that. concerned at this reaction, <laughs> but okay. <laughs> yeah, Silas, like, heard your description of disturbing fairy tales, and he's just like, but it's for you. Enjoy. I'm not going to question that. I also got you, um, I know you don't like super sweet things, but I got you espresso beans that are covered in a very light uh, dark chocolate coating. So they're still bitter and will give you energy, but different than coffee. She nods slowly. I will try them. She takes them. <laughs> she puts them in Don't eat lap. too many because... There's still, a limit. Still caffeinated, all right? You cannot give me a limit. Well, I'm not eliminating you. I'm just saying be oh. mindful. Okay, I will try to be mindful. I will not stop you. I'm just saying for you, for your, you might. Wonderful. You know, it's, a, it's a warning. And she's wonderful, and she just opens it. <laughs> yeah. like, sits it in her lap. That's if you like them. And she starts. She eats one. It is bitter. Yeah. It's it's a bit of a kick to it. Would you like one? I'm good. Thank you, though. Okay. She, like, gets all, like, cozy, (laughs) like, sits in, and she has her, like, coffee beans and her her book out in front of her, and she's just, like, still flipping through as she, like, slowly just, like, puts them in her mouth. (laughs) She's I love her. She's, like, immediately, like, I have gifts. I'm using them right now, actually. I kiss her again on the top of her head. (laughs) On the top of our head. <laughs> so soft. Okay. He turns back to the desk with the full spread of so many things. He's now realizing that he went a little overboard and... Uh, the array. <laughs> uh, he's now, like, questioning, like, is this, is this too much? It might be a little bit too much. <laughs> oh my god. He, uh... He's, 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 just gonna pick out one thing, one sweet thing as a right. gift, which will be the sugar cookie. We're gonna mm. start off easy. <laughs> Simple. Simple. <laughs> I'm gonna pick up the okay. sugar cookie. There are a lot of sweet things, but you can start off with this if you like. Your people hand it two sides. Just looks at it and his eyes kind of like dart to you then he looks at the cookie he looks back at you do you, you bought do you just like yeah well a lot of things but i don't want to <laughs> overwhelm you i'm rich though so it doesn't matter don't worry about it <laughs> sugar daddy theron um <laughs> <laughs> literally sugar yeah <laughs> oh um Silas if they like those treats. I would have bought them. <laughs> Silas is like looking. Are they sugar babies? <gasps> sugar babies. Yeah, those are good. He'd go insane. Um, he yeah. Uh, and Haley's like no. Um, for my sanity, he can only have I those. Hate those. <laughs> they're so good. What you don't uh, like them? They get stuck in your teeth, but they're good. Worth it. Freaks me out when it gets stuck in your That's mouth. Fair. I'm like, okay, I'm just like, I'm just gonna pry way. my teeth out, but yeah. I love it. I hate yeah, it. Yeah, I hate same. it so much. I, it's um, satisfying. Silas doesn't grab, uh, <laughs> sorry, someone in chat said, Bay, don't forget about the stuff from the one shop, which. <laughs> that is chat. a separate bag. Thank you, Thank chat. You, chat. <laughs> <laughs> separate bag. <laughs> oh, wow. Well. Um, anyway. Like um, stuff from there as well. Uh, yeah. That's in, like, um, a little black bag that Theron quickly stubs, like, shoves in one of the dressers. Thank you, Mika. I appreciate dresser. that. I mean, I appreciate it. Do you put it next to I mean, to yeah, the, it's the probably just in, like, in one of those, like, discreet bags. Oh, I don't want those next to each other. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like he slightly yeah, like like put it talk. behind Arthur. Can I just put it in like a night table or something? Like, yeah, yeah. I was, I was like sorry. a normal human. I was, I was cracking a, a okay. morbid joke. Actually, um, actually, if you if we put that in Oliver's body hilarious. and that bag was next to it, he would find it hilarious. Yeah, he would, <laughs> he would find it absolutely hilarious. He would laugh for you. That is true. Alder would. Yeah. 
Um, sorry, Theo, your lighting is so pretty right now. Um, it is. You look yeah. so handsome you right now. Do, you look like a guardian. You look like a guardian. Like guardian. Guardian, 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 guardian moment. Guardian, guardian, guardian moment. Guardian moment. Oh, oh, looking majestic as fuck. I love you so much. Um, I love you. Personal attack. Oh my god. Having a fun time. Silas looks at the cookie. The cookie. Yeah, he like didn't take it from your hand. He like looks at it, then he looks back at you, and he's like, "Scoops it over." What did you do to it? Oh, I bought it. It was in a bag. It's slightly smushed. Still edible. Okay. <laughs> like he's like, sure. You, I, you like sweet things, right? Not just drinks, but like food. Yeah. Okay. How about it? Why? Why do you want? Why are you so enthusiastic about giving it to me? Well, have you ever had? He, he starts going before? like he starts going like this to you. He's like, There's no hidden motive. Okay, <laughs> just eat it. Just in the background, no. There is is oh. there is for me, oh. there is a preference. Oh, oh, oh. oh. oh um, there is it. Silence, oh, there is there is. Silence slowly reaches, like picks is this it up, one? picks it up. Boy Scouts. Like, he almost like flinches. Is it this one? Is it this one? What is it? Four. 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 This? Okay, I don't freaking know. I don't know. Scouts honor or something. Scouts honor. I couldn't Gally. tell you. Um, <laughs> Silas picks up the cookie very slowly, um, and he yeah, kind of just like has it, has it in his hand, and um, he just holds it there, and like he looks at it as though it's gonna do something to him. <laughs> like he's like he's unsure. Um, <laughs> he looks at you. Not poisoned. Okay. He slowly breaks off a piece. Slowly eats it. <laughs> and then it's the arm like, trying really hard not to share that much. Fair. <laughs> um, <laughs> he like thinks for a moment. That's cool. That's cool. That's it natural. tastes good. Good. Oh, I'm glad you like it. He's just squinting at you. So all of these sugary things are for the dorm, and you are in the dorm, so you are free to have the sugary things. But I'm the only one here that really likes sugary things. Yeah, I mean, I'll eat them too. Okay, I feel better about that then. Arthur's probably won't, but she has her snacks, so. She's like, like, she's got a handful hey! of snacks. <laughs> <laughs> Like, oh. oh no, she's gonna be up easy. Oh, easy. easy. That's well, whoa, we will see. It. Whoa. Here's she's the question. Here's, will you. this make her crush? Though? Here's the question. What if it has the opposite effect on her? <laughs> mm. She's nervous it makes, it so maybe melatonin. Oh my god, there you well. go. Coffee, coffee, coffee makes me tired. Yeah, literally, makes, coffee makes me tired. Yeah, so. coffee makes you oh. tired. So, there you go. Brett. Oh, I bet that, that, that is how it works for our Most of the time, if we have coffee, Jade will fall asleep. We'll yeah, I'm out. like, awesome. Um, <laughs> yummy. She she pass it can out. we make this canon? I mean, I guess we'll find out if we'll she cracks. Out. Um, she's just still reading through her book. And like yeah. every so often, you hear like a little like, like a little giggle in the background as she's reading through. Not a funny book, but all right. <laughs> um, <and laughs> Silas is like very slowly, like as, as he eats the sugar cookie, he like picks it apart very, like in small little pieces as he eats it, like very carefully. Like he almost as though he's too insecure or like too nervous to just take the cookie and bite it. Um, Chomp. Which is that's how I fucking ate at school because I was like. I'm insecure. I can I'm only do it, it in pieces. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You on the same level? Um, I was like, I have to tear it apart. Fucking hallways of school. <laughs> no, I was so like, I was like, stop perceiving me. Yeah, like, exactly. I couldn't stand yeah. people watching yeah. me. I don't eat, like so. if people are still like that. I'm eating. Eating. Yeah, same time. Yeah, me yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Valid. It is the same for me. Um, but yeah, he but he's slowly eating it, and every so often his eyes kind of like look at you, and then look at Arthros, and then look back at you, um, uh, and he goes back to eating. 
Based on this reaction, Theron is no longer confident that he will receive any of the other gifts well. <laughs> There's a lot of gifts, so that's a problem. Mance is sus. Um, uh, I mean, he kind of watches you for a minute, and he squints, and he's like, the last time that someone gave me a gift, I didn't ship for a week. Jade, is that a reference? A lot of information. Yeah. I love you. I love you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> That's a weird reference, but I, yeah, I'll take it. Yeah, yeah. The last time you zapped me, I didn't poop for a week. I didn't I poop for a week. For a week. <laughs> Sorry. We're driving. It's a Dean Winchester That's reference. That's supernatural. Yeah, I knew it. Yeah, yeah, it's it's supernatural. Supernatural. Yeah, I've seen that. Um, it was in the out of context. That was, that was shocking. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but he just, he kind of is like watching you. I don't think you'll have that problem it was, with this. It was, it was the in my gang and they got it for me and it was a funny joke this so oh, he like forces uh, like a really like like strange smile <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay well this is not a joke you, you're gonna be fine that's it's what they say just what we do here I wouldn't prank Arthros, and I'm not gonna prank you. At least not with food. Or anything else, probably. <laughs> yeah. He just nods silly. Okay, cool. Hey, t take your time. Take your time. He he's like... Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like, it's turns okay. to look at Arthros. <laughs> <laughs> um... Yeah. Arthurus like looks up from her book for a moment, like meets your eye for a moment, like glances at Silas, glances back at you. She like shrugs. We had a heart to heart. Did you now? Mm hmm Then look at Silas. Did you now? Silas just like looks at you, goes back to eating his cookie. <laughs> <laughs> um Arthur's just like Yes. Because I hated him at one point, and so we cleared that up. I yeah, I remember that. That was yes. uh That was before we uh really knew each other, so Oh yes. I I haven't hated him for a very long time, but he thought that That's I still good. did, so we talked about it. Ah, glad glad you cleared that up. Yes. I think he's been living in fear that I was going to murder him in your absence. Oh and you you're not gonna do that. No You wouldn't do that. Why would I do that? I wouldn't do that. Yeah. Unless it happens when I'm not conscious. <laughs> you just see what? Silas. Silas on his cookie. <laughs> he's like, have we have we not mentioned that to Silas? I don't think so. I don't think he knows that like, he's rooming with an assassin who gets mind control. Oh. Him. Um. Uh, well, was that part of your heart to heart? I feel like that should have been part of your heart to heart. <laughs> Silas just like looks between Arthur's. He's got like one cheek full of cookie. He looks between both of you. Yeah. That was not part of our heart to heart. <laughs> <laughs> Arthur's is like, no, maybe I should have mentioned it. I'm not yeah. proud of it though. Why would I talk about things that I'm not proud of? I... We well, shouldn't be ashamed of it either. You can't help it. No. Plus, I'm here to keep an eye out, so we're gonna be fine, and you are mostly safe. Silas. Well, there is three of us now, so if I really do try something, at least there's another person to stop it. Yeah, strength in numbers, and I don't think Silas is one of your targets. <laughs> Silas so. is just like... <laughs> I'm still unsure of the context of the situation. Arthros, darling, would you like to tell him, or should I? Arthros, like, looks, and she's just like, I'm ashamed of it. I, I can say it. <laughs> <laughs> she like, she's like, she's like, she's like, she's so cute. She's so cute. She's, oh, she's, so she's, she's, like, she's just like, nah, it just maybe I want to hear you say it. I don't know. Head over you know. heels. She's just like, uh, right. Um, <laughs> she's twirling her hair. <laughs> As you know, uh, Arthros is an incredible assassin, super badass. Um, I'm sure you have your share of history with. Stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, but she has a condition of sorts, I suppose you could say, where um, occasionally, although it hasn't happened 
at Ravenwood. Well, no one has. Well, I'm, I don't know that for sure. Um, I'm not explaining this very well. But basically, sometimes she is not in control of herself and ends up killing people. And we don't know who wants these people dead or why or how they're controlling her. We're working on it. Why Why did you volunteer your room for me to stay in? What? I feel like there were some other options that didn't involve mind-controlled assassin. Socially, this seems like the best place for you, but um, oh. I might have actually forgotten about that briefly. The whole killing thing, because it has happened in a long and you time. Sleep sleep sound- and you sleep sound. You sleep soundly, like a rock. <laughs> Sorry, that took me so hard. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Silas is just like, okay. So, so am no, I like, supposed to wake up once and I saw her on the way to go kill someone, presumably. Um, we were at a different realm at the time. And if you didn't wake and up- And I was able to stop her just by like 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 grabbing her, like touching her, and then she like snapped out of it. So it's fine. So if you ever see her like sleepwalking. Right, like, so if she comes over shoulder. to try and murder me, I should just conveniently wake you up so you can wake her up out of it. Huh? <laughs> well you 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 could also wake her up, but yeah. How am I supposed to wake her up? Listen, there's two of us. We can take shifts if we need to. It's gonna be okay. Show, don't worry. And I'm I also gonna be so, like sleeping in so her bed. You know, yeah, so, I will so you feel guys are gonna just sleep. You're gonna cuddle do your thing over there as you yeah. do. And I'm supposed to. Yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. gonna sleep soundly in your bed over here. Well, you're gonna crash from the sugar, anyways. So, so yeah, I don't. Gonna, I don't crash. Out. I don't crash from sugar. It has no effect on me. You were asleep when I walked in. I was asleep because she... He, like, points. Arthur's just like... <laughs> she has a nice reading voice. She does. I agree. Well, she can read you to sleep, and then maybe you'll forget about the fact that she could kill you in your sleep. <laughs> I live. I d d can I tell you something really funny? Actually, yeah, I feel like it's not gonna be funny, but sure. I lived with a gang. Yeah, Baron. I'm aware. I lived with a gang. I slept in a tent amongst a bunch of people who rob and steal and murder. Yeah, yeah. I am more scared now than I was then. <laughs> Well, we could have not told you, but we did. Yeah, kind of wishing you chose that option. Because then at okay. least if I was killed in my sleep, I wouldn't know any better. But I'm now I'm going to be awake, choices. laying there, eyes wide open, thinking about how at any moment she could strike. And he just points. <laughs> and Arthur's is just like... But it, it don't, <laughs> don't, it's not going to happen. Don't worry about it. You're not a target, probably. Probably. Most likely. Cool. Thanks for the info. I mean... And the cookie. You know. Thanks for the cookie. Macaroon? To ease your <laughs> woes? He immediately, like, snatches it this time. And he just <laughs> takes a bite out of it. <laughs> so I might as well enjoy all of these gifts you're giving me that might possibly be poison if I'm gonna die tonight anyways. You're not poison. I just told you you might die, so why would I poison you? Think it through. <laughs> I cannot. I love you so much, babe. I love you so much. Um, <laughs> Silas just, just nods. Yeah. Okay. He looks over at Arthros, and Arthros is back to her book. And he's just like, oh great, she's reading again. I mean, she also doesn't sleep much, so it's like four hours per night, which is it's a very small window. Is this supposed to make me feel better? Yes. It does a little bit, thank you. <clears throat> 
I also will take shifts. That's how we've done it before is I'm awake while she sleeps and she's awake a lot while I sleep. We have a system and it works. And now you're here, so if you want to help, be in your best interest. Sure. <clears throat> Thank you. <laughs> Silas just gets cozy on the bed again, like kind of grabs the blanket, pulls it up over himself, <laughs> crosses his arms over his chest and finishes the rest of his cookie. And he's just sitting there. And Arthros is enjoying all of her gifts right now. She's just not a care in the world. I fucking love them very much. The fact this what? is this was too soon. The fact that I have like necklaces for them and like a snow globe for <laughs> Silas and he's just sitting there with his it's cookie soon for this. It's his cookie I... and his macaroon. <laughs> Oh. When Theron just got humbled really quick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like we're not to that stage yet. I gotta I gotta chill. <laughs> you gotta like pack yeah. some of those things. Yeah, yeah. you got the Andromeda curse. You got the Andromeda <laughs> curse. You get the curse of clinging. I rushed into this. I rushed the into curse of cling. The curse of the cling. Too, You're so it. real for it though. Hey, You're so hey. real for it. Only fools rush in. Oh. But I can't help fall in love. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the biggest fool. I'm the biggest bird. I'm, I'm the biggest bird. I'm the biggest bird. I'm the biggest bird. I'm the biggest bird. He's gonna he's gonna pack up those things. Andromeda scream song and put them in the bag. Uh, she on a ukulele. With a ukulele. <laughs> the second day in a row, by the way. This is the second day in a row. Mud walks through the door again, and she just has a ukulele. <laughs> no, not the ukulele. Apologies. No, I'm not no, a groomer. Please. I'm just a loser. I can't. I can't. The only thing I've groomed is my two Persian cats. <laughs> I'm not a groomer. I'm just a loser. Just a loser. Not that. Not how that works. <laughs> not, not. Not. <laughs> um. So, with this, with that, um, with that cuteness. Oh, I'm Theron's gonna... gonna get in bed with Arthros and like settle in for the night. How about you take a shower? When stretch, you get whole... kind of like oh, the whole shebang. Uh, the when whole you shebang. get kind of like snuggled with her, she starts like pointing at things in the drawings in the book that she finds hilarious. I'm going to have nightmares. <laughs> There's like a decapitation in one and she's just like, oh, wow. Wow. She's like These reading are really the original graphic. Little Mermaid. These should not like, be fairy tales. Oh, this is the one that Otto read was talking about. She knows about that one. That's the yeah, one that she had that one. conversation, the Little Mermaid, because oh, they had that conversation. Yeah, that's right, yeah, she, she read it in a book. It's yeah, a, like, like it was the original yeah. horror. Yeah, right. she definitely mm. stumbles about that right. one, and she's like, it's not a oh my god, it's also, not a I have to show Arlo now, he's going to understand. It's not a grim story, though. It's a, it's a different author. No, it isn't. It's a different author. It wouldn't be. Oh, uh, well, it's in it. It's in it. It's in All this right. one. All, All right. right. No. <laughs> no, it's not. It's, not. it's canon right. now. Right. It, can be, though. it can be. No, but It's, a, it's so like cute. a modernized <laughs> version of the grim story, so they actually didn't know any better when they were putting all <laughs> I mean, yeah, together. It's, it's, it's been so long at that point. Yeah. They just combined it all. Yeah. They just yeah. combined all of them. They're like, these it's are grim. Just, the Grimms. But it, okay. it's a grim, it's Did just you know grim stories. Did that actually. the Grimms brothers, they, they helped develop the first dictionary or some shit like that? Yeah. 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 That. They were like, like yes. they, they were like uh, respected writers. They or they like did their fairy tale thing. We love them for that. Cool. Um, so no, it was cool. From here, I'm gonna kind of delve into for all of you, kind of your nights, essentially. Yeah, Arya, I would like to say for you, when you did get back to your dorm, um, do I start with you, and we transition to that? Please, please do. Yeah, because I'm. I'll I mean, start with you. I'm just. I'm just. I just don't want to be last. Because if I'm last, <laughs> then I'm in danger. That's all <laughs> I'm saying. Right. Bad we'll start happens. With you. We'll start with you. We'll start with you. Play. Um. Okay. Arya. Um, yeah. You walk back to your dorm. It's not a very far walk yeah. with Elfie. Um. And when you kind of get back to the dorm and you unlock your door and you walk in, um. You see that Ku is snuggled up in his. Yeah. Sorry, someone's doing like someone dropped something downstairs or some shit. Yeah, um, uh, you see that Ku is snuggled up in his bed and he is hugging that pillow that you made for him. 
Um, and he is like conked out. Um, and his his little book is like over his chest like he had been reading when he fell asleep um and he is like snuggled up and you hear that soft like purring Mm. and that soft little like snuffling as he sleeps um and elfie kind of like glances at him as you guys walk in smiles a little bit because he's just he's kind of cute he's kind of he's he's a big cat you can't not be in love with kiro yeah he's literally he's a big kitty He's a um, big soft kitty. How are you? He's in love. <laughs> and she kind of like looks at you and she kind of whispers under her breath more so. But she goes, um, so how is today? <sighs> a lot. Oh. Not just fun. I am sorry. Do you want to talk about it or would you want to kiss or do you want to um do something else we could play a game i think she kind of like turns to look at elfie um and she kind of just like puts her hands on her face um and is just like looking at her and i think like she starts like looking into her eyes Mm -hmm. and then she gets this like feeling of like dread of remembering looking into sin's eyes Mm. And it's just like Sin's words start like rattling in her head. Fair. You are looking at me like something is very wrong. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. No, it is okay. I think something is wrong with me. No, there is nothing wrong with you. No. I think there is. What could possibly be wrong? You are perfect. (laughs) I think... I wish everything was a lot simpler. And she kind of just, like, pushes, like... Because I'm assuming Elfie has her wig on. Yeah. Um, she probably hasn't taken it off yet. Yeah. I think that she kind of just, like, pushes, like, the brown, like, parts that are, like, in the front, like, behind her shoulders. Mm. Um, and kind of just, like, caresses, like, her neck and her shoulders right here. Mm. While she's just, like, looking at her and trying yeah. to take in all of her pictures. They're so cute. I think there's something very, very wrong. But it doesn't feel like it should be well i am very i am one that says (gasps) (gasps) tio (laughs) no (laughs) tio where are we 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 switched to no you're good oh if he comes back in he might come in um perfectly fine the correct order yeah yeah he may let's see ah hey tio hi are you okay tio welcome back Oh, I just my- have to switch you and uh, Andromeda, that's all. Slay. Why did I change my music? I'm like, you've done the tag. Uh, uh, that's fair. That's I accidentally grouped what, it, and then I was like, I don't oh, know I was wet. And I said, oh, I grouped you, and last time you tore me to shreds. So, I screw you. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what was that? You <laughs> tore me to shreds. No, I, I I did that one time, and you guys oh. tore me to shreds. So Sorry. screw you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, You're so right, Bay. You're so right. You call us. And look at you. Look okay, but you I'm doing the same thing. Yeah, and I'm a baby. Yeah, I'm a baby. baby. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm baby. literally <laughs> a little little baby. Look at his little face. Look at his little face. face. We're glad to have you back. With Look at little fine. Oh, this hey, one, a creature of carnage. The, t- the bimbo himbo alliance is on the bottom of my screen now. Oh, no, oh, he is I'm, down with me, actually. I'm no. next to Theo. Oh, what the heck? Like <gasps> I'm actually well, I'm I'm below next. all of you, and I'm by myself. Oh, I'm by myself. Oh, me too, Theo! <gasps> me too. Very nice. Oh, what? Freak? You're next to me, oh my. Hi, goodbye down there. Hi, Hello. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> You're on the... What? <laughs> um, it's like, it goes Boff, they, Haley, are... Uh, I'm on the bottom. The bottom. The bottom. Uh, anywho. Link. Um... 
Yeah, you are. Elfie Whoa. looks at you. Aria. Whoa. Hey, yo. Whoa. Hey, yo. Whoa. Crazy. 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 Um, yeah. Elfie looks at you, Aria, and yes. she says, um, Elfie. I am one that is very strong on the fact that feelings mean more than thoughts. If I had not felt that I should fix my situation then I never would because the logical thing was to say that I did not want to so maybe for you your head wants to say that things are wrong but your body says that they are not so maybe you should listen to what your body is saying to you me my mother always said follow your heart <clears throat> my heart led me to leave my kingdom and kill someone so I think it, it worked out well yeah <clears throat> um. yeah yeah of course of course um is there anything that I can do to fix it? <laughs> I'll, I'll figure it. I'll figure it out. Um, okay. Thank you, though. I appreciate it. Um, I guess one kind of good thing happened. My my hair. <laughs> she like she like <laughs> she like <laughs> looks at it. She's like, oh my yeah. goodness! I thought that your hair sometimes just did that. I think it kind of does, um, but I, uh, um, it's like on the... Changing. Is it like mood ring? Uh, no, no, not, not like, well, I mean, kind of, technically, actually, now that you say it. Oh, that is so cool. I guess it kind of is. But anyway, um, I... Oh, I wish that my hair would change color with my mood. Oh. <laughs> That's fair. I mean, I think your hair is quite beautiful, but... Growing up, my, my mum would give me those, like little ring things and they had little mm. stones that would change with your mood except right. mine was like bejeweled in gold because you know royalty it's beautiful yes i'm sure it's a good thing it's a good thing um okay uh but i i, I was gonna say um um i i i saw an old friend today um oh how did it go? <laughs> I mean, my hair is normal. I don't exactly know what it means, but oh. I forgot about them. And seeing them made me remember them. And that is a good thing, not a bad thing. I, I think it is. I think it's a good thing. It was nice to see them. They obviously did something. Um, I'm just a little stuck on where to go next because it feels like there's a lot that's making it harder for me to trust myself, I guess. Well, you have come this far and that was just off of making decisions. And so I think that you can trust the cards to go where they may go and then <laughs> trust that you will make the right decisions. Hmm. Trust, okay. Yeah. Mm. Um. You were all the ones who taught me that you always have a choice, so. Right. Right. I, sp I specifically remember Andromeda saying, you have choices <laughs> here. Andromeda's very good with that. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, telling others that. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <sighs> Um, I think I just want 
you and everyone to be okay. So and Ari kind run, of... Oh. No, it's okay, go ahead. So go. in the long run, I think it is just important that you make decisions that mean you will be okay. I think she kind of like, like her shoulders kind of like ease a little. Um, and I think she kind of just like moves in to like pull Ulfie into her chest to like hug her. Um, and I think she kind of like puts her hand like underneath her wig. So she's like petting her actual hair mm. instead of just like the wig's hair. Yeah. Um, You've, you've dealt with feelings before. We've talked a little bit about it. Um, yes, only one time. Between us, yes. Um, it had a very good outcome. Um, but... oh, yes, but I, I mean, I, I have only dealt with, with those feelings one time in the past. Right. Um, did you, when you decided to like trust your feelings, was that also scary? Oh yes, very. It was also scary because she was a maid in the royalty quarter. So. Um, it was oh. not a very yes. Yeah. So um it was not allowed. Mm. So it was scary. That's fair. That's that sounds really scary. Um But um I am glad that I did because then I would not have had the experiences that I had with her. Mm. She sounds Sounds good that you, um... She has a very important memory. Tell me if I'm overstepping. Um, but if... Did, did you lose her? Oh, yes, she left the castle. Oh. I'm sorry to hear that. It is okay. It was... Too high pressure a situation, I think. Right. And I was betrothed, so. Yeah, that's also a, a piece. Yeah, that would be. Yes. That would be a lot of pressure. Now, like, that's fair. With this insight, Alfie and Andromeda really need to have a conversation. <laughs> they really do. <laughs> oh my god. Because um, Alfie basically went through a girlies can bond. The same situation, yeah. Literally, in um, in a in, in a different font. Yeah. What was her name? Maria. Mm. That's beautiful. Yes. Maria comes up a lot in poetry. And oh. music, it's a very popular name. Well, she was very beautiful, so makes sense i mean i can only assume of course um <laughs> um well oh, um why don't we rest and if you would like i can be there with you I think that'd be nice. Um, okay. I'm just, I'm just gonna get cleaned up real quick. Um, okay. Yeah, get the... I am going to lay in the bed and um, try to get all images of a scary serpent lady out of my mind. I'm so sorry for that. I'm... I can... It is um, okay. Is it? Turns She's... out that it was Arlo's sister, who would have thought? Yes, right. No, absolutely. It, there's a lot of things we're learning about them. Um, but really, she's not that scary at all. Just a little. Oh, no, she was scary. Oh. 
you know, that's fair. She is a little scary, isn't she? It is okay, though, to be scary some days, and it's not scary other days. Got it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> she turns, she moves to the bed, and she kind of just, like, sits on your bed and kind of, like, looks at you, and, like, almost asking, like, this is okay, because, like, there's a giant it's... lion man in the other one. Get comfortable, please. Um, okay. I, I'll, I'll, I'll be just a moment. And she lays. And she just kind <laughs> of lays there. But then she kind of, like, thinks her moment frowns. And then she lays flat and stares at the ceiling. And she looks, like, haunted. Like, she's trying to actually oh. get this thought of scary serpent creature out of her brain. The horrors. Like, Are you kind of like, like and that's fair. <laughs> and that's <Yeah>. real. <laughs> that's real. She's really real for that. Yeah, she's so cute. <laughs> I love, I love Listen, Double D. Listen, she's a princess. I love, she I has an inherent fear of dragons. I want to call them outside that door. True. With, with like, with Dimitri's face of relief, but Elfie's face of panic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dimitri was like, oh, thank God he's back. He I love this. them together. They're, they're they like also love them. She's like, they are the himbo bimbo. Yeah, uh, I really he can, love He them. can tell me what to do because I don't know what to do right now. And then just <laughs> Elfie like, I was going to die! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I love the he is, he is like the, he them. is knight core and she's like princess. Yeah. They're like the knight and the knight princess core. kind of vibe. <gasps> yeah. You see the tears oh. running my eyes right now? <laughs> they are rough. It's really soft. Fuck. They're literally perfect. The lesbian what? princess that he's trying to protect. Um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and, and Morgan's the dragon, which is why she's had such a reaction. <laughs> so yeah, my god, that's so fucking oh, yeah, funny. Yeah. Princesses so do not do well with dragons. They do it's not. chill. It's whatever. It's chill. It's, it's whatever. Whatever. <laughs> it's whatever. <laughs> whatever. 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 Jasmine's just been quoting that so much. Whatever. Whatever. I will literally walk into a room and I'll just go, whatever. 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 Um... Whatever, whatever. Are you do you do anything particular in the bathroom, or do you just get washed uh, out? She does. Gonna look at the mirror. Bird bath. Bird bath. Bird bath. You see, bath, bird you bath, bird bath, do not bath, see bath, anything bath. in the mirror. Oh. Okay. Well, she does. Some... Actually. <gasps> oh. oh. I was really just about to say, here comes Rain's sister with the chair. My <laughs> <laughs> bump. Um. Bonk. When you look in the reflection, yeah. you know how a mirror light, like how the, the sink sits and then there's the mirror kind of pushed up behind it. And you can see like part of the sink in the mirror, you know, like it's the yeah. reflection of the mirror. Oh, oh my God, stop, you my stomach see dropped. against the porcelain sitting there. Only in the mirror reflection is a rose. A fucking, oh no. And it is sitting on the side of the sink. But when you look down, obviously it is not there. When I look back up, is it still there in the mirror? Yes. That's so cool. <laughs> Are you gonna like, move her hand? Well, thank you for voicing that. While she's ideas. looking in the mirror, she's gonna move her hand to try and like touch it. When you like place like, it, <laughs> it almost looks as though your hand like just like materializes through it. Like there's no hand there or your hand is not touching anything. Your hand is just there, but it is reflected in the mirror. But the rose just still sits. Is her hand hair still back to full red yes. again? Mm -hmm. okay. I think her her she just like grips the porcelain of the sink mm -hmm. while she's just looking at the the rose underneath where her hand is, and she kind of just turns. And um, I assume she does this after her shower. Mm -hmm. So she walks out um, of the bathroom and she goes over to the bundle of flowers that she got and she grabs out one of the red roses, goes back into the bathroom and puts it where it's sitting. Is it still there, like in the mirror? When you walk back in, yes. It's still there on the, on the mm -hmm. porcelain. She puts the actual rose there. Like where the it vanishes on the other side. Or when you look back up, more so, it's not there anymore. Mm -hmm. And then she kind of just looks at herself in the mirror. And I feel like, as her eyes kind of like focus on it, um, she just feels like this little bundle of like, like that warmth kind of mm -hmm. again. 
Um, and she just nods to herself and then walks out. And um, I think that she probably puts um, the baby's breath and like one of the dandelions and she kind of puts it like on Ku- uh, Kuro's bedside. And then she puts some of the baby's breath and um, I think it was the tiger lilies mm. and puts it on like her bedside. Um, and then she grabs one of the peaches and she like cuts it up and then goes to the bed. And Aww. is Elfie like asleep? No, she's still just laying there, like, staring at the ceiling. (laughs) Kind of, like, takes the peach in half, and she, like, hands one side to her. And she looks, she says, oh, thank you. And she Mm. takes it. And uh, she has since removed her wig, though. Her wig is, like, on your desk, so her, like, peach-colored hair is, like, all kind of just out. She's a little peach like that. And she, like, enthusiastically starts eating the fruit very happily. Um. Don't touch the rose in the bathroom. Okay. Thank you. And she doesn't ask any questions. She just goes back to eating her peach. Mm-hmm. After, like, she finishes eating her peach, she probably, like, lays down and, like, gets comfortable to go to bed. And okay. sleeps. Then we will come back to you. Why? Wait, what do you mean by that? <laughs> Oh. No. No. Your mic's not even picking you up. I just hear you in the You went first for a reason, and you're still getting started. Can I do one more thing? I just know those dreams are going to hit. Yeah. Ari's going to text Silas goodnight. Because <gasps> she's been um, sleeping in the same room with him for the past two nights. So she's cute. like, this is the first night they've been separated. So she's worried about it. Damn. Silas all by it's homie his own in his bed. Oh, 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 no. Oh, no. Um, you, you just get back, company, you get back a what little, is- you get back the, like, it's the, like, co- like, the semicolon with, like, the tongue, like, the a P, like, the tongue out. Mm. Um, yeah. And he just says, like, G-N, like, he just does the shortened version. Oh, oh. Good. Just, a good like, night. <laughs> She just writes out, I'm rolling my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I roll you just, emoji. You just get back, well, so am I. <laughs> <laughs> He's so cute. Just, like, I want to put him in a little heart. jar and shake it around <laughs> like he's a bug. I'm sorry. <laughs> he just sends a heart. No, I love uh, him. He sends a, he sends a heart back to you. Angel, stop sending me messages last. Go to sleep. Heart. <laughs> uh, it is like another like ten minutes that go after. by, and you're probably just oh, like getting cozy, it. like getting sleepy. When you're... <laughs> Your TCD buzzes, and it's just Silas with another tongue-out emoji. <laughs> she just kind of, she does the, does the, like, the, like... <laughs> Fair. Yeah. Um, Please don't stop. Okay. They're so cute. I want to get to your... So, I'm diving into your nights now, okay? And I want to... Yeah. I want to bounce around a little wow. bit. That's okay, you do it. I'm bouncing you to you. I'm bouncing to, to you, Arlo. Oh, never mind. Oh, <laughs> Arlo. 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 Um, Hi. As you are getting ready for bed, uh, or as you are kind of processing everything you learned still, and as you're getting ready for bed and all of that, uh, Morga still lies asleep, and Dimitri is being extra, extra tentative to you in that way that he is very much like, careful like like stepping carefully around you essentially um yeah. <laughs> sorry jess distracted me i thought you had sherlock i'm sorry i thought you no, had sherlock I'm, and i was like i'm i'm doing the like, 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 I like that. It's a way Love that baby. Um, Everyone kiss. be gentle. It looks so We're real. Gentle nights. We're going to sleep. It's because I'm a mother. I'm a mother. No problem. <laughs> <Good night. laughs> um, so, Arlo. Um, yeah, Dimitri is being very attentive to you. Very careful with you. He right. he goes about like like pulling the like bed sheet back on your bed, or I guess on Nari's bed more so um kind of assuming that that's where you might be sleeping tonight um because nari is still on that back but you where's she at she's just having get, a sleepover you do get a text from her um, oh, i thought she was gonna stay point. at her girlfriend's place yeah you do get a text from her at some point and it just says um staying at dunes tonight so you can have more room and then in another text if you need anything at all ever just message me and then another one 
cuddle your hot new man tonight, winky face. And then underneath, or not so new man, but man nonetheless. <laughs> I love her. I just text back and I'm just like, you're an angel. New text. You're a gem. New text. I missed you. New text. Aww. Thank you so much. And, um, and I will. That's why I said. Beautiful. Oh, I see. Sorry. Bless you. Bless you. Uh, thank you. She says, she says uh, miss you always and winky face. Good. Um, She's so And <laughs> Dimitri goes about kind of just like, helping you settle down for the night he very like any little touch that he gives you it's like very soft touches where it's like he'll place his hand at the nape of your neck and like slowly like kind of like touch the back of your like like the hair there or he will kind of just like rest a shoulder or a hand on your shoulder and like kind of let his fingers like slide off (gasps) it's a baby (gasps) oh what is that that looks yummy what that I love you. We love you. <laughs> Hi, that, looks looks amazing. that does look so that's good. So what the heck? What's that? Oh, what is, is that? A candle? I think what it's a candle. That? I think it's a yeah. candle. I thought it was a drink. Stacey said first. to get the candle away from the computer because last time Stop. I it Oh, you did. Yeah. I, I remember. Like I that remember. was a long time ago. I remember that. That, <laughs> that was fun. It was a long time ago. It was a different person then. That was a different person. I remember that. It was like a year ago. Anyway, sorry to us all. One time me and Jazz took a bath and we had candles around and. Okay. It started Why are we charring Jazz's <laughs> hair? It was really great. Okay. What was your... Charred your hair? I did bit. burn a little bit of my hair <laughs> on the candle <laughs> in the bath. That's I was like, uh... <laughs> oh, oh, we, were like, we were taking a nice little bath, yeah. and my hair burned a little bit. You got a little too comfortable. A little too comfortable. I just want to run these candles. Uh, but yeah, very minuscule <laughs> uh, touches and caresses sure. that are that are just meant to make you feel. Like, you're not alone in this, mm. I suppose. Um, and he kind of, like, sits on the edge of the bed, and he looks at you a moment, and he says, um, do you want to talk about anything, or do you want to kind of just process on your own time? Okay, yeah, that's so fair. <laughs> Understandable. <laughs> um, um, I can talk about something, if you want. Yeah. Please. Okay. Cool. Um, I two things, I guess. Um, kind of maybe one thing. I don't know. Then you're doing it. Uh, I'm thinking about inviting your friends to coffee. Oh, I don't know when because I'm kind of like a um. Uh, I suppose I'm kind of in hiding right now according to everything so maybe when that's not a thing anymore um but i i, I want to bond with them you know it's slowly it just i want to show them that i'm not just some random guy that hurt you in the past and no no of course i i don't I don't mean to laugh because it's just I I know the kind of guy you are, so I don't think you need to prove yourself. Though I do understand wanting to, um, but They're I think important to you, right? So yeah, they are, and you are too. So I would like that if you guys are coffee, right? And maybe it can be a thing where like I invite them and like we go, and I have a second just. By myself with them so that they don't feel like you're influencing any anything and then, and then maybe you show up like fashionably 30 minutes late or something oh yeah that's a great plan yeah so that yeah i'll be like oh my god the entire time yeah i tripped on a bush and i got stuck for 30 minutes yeah because the awkward and part is, believe is, that. It, it, it's saying goodbye and i, and I don't want to like have our coffee and then just kind of stand there and, and not, not know what yeah, to do sure. and then, that's why i have you so yeah <clears throat> i like that thing that was good that was a good distraction yeah it's nice to like i don't know look forward to something for once yeah so maybe we can we can look forward to that yeah i mean i guess i have a lot to look forward to i'm just stressed out by ab- all of it. so was there another thing or yeah yeah that, that, that was most of it i guess um What what do you what's the one thing that's making everything the most stressful 
if there is one thing that's worse than the others. What's eating away I, at you? Earlier, Morga said, she asked why I wasn't desperate to see my family and to see Kai, especially my trade brother. <laughs> Um, and I think it's because, like, I don't even know what to do with myself. I'm just, I, I'm just sitting here right now. I just know that they're out there. And I, I, I know that if once I start fighting for them, I'm not going to stop. But I also know that my family is not the only one of importance right now. So it's hard. Um, <clears throat> uh, I'm trying to get something out here. It's just, you know. You're good. My mom, I told you that she died of a yeah. Yeah. Um, illness. It wasn't any illness. It was what Silas is going through. Oh. Oh God, that's horrible. It's fine. Um, but the the thing is, is that we were only traveling through the Redlands because there was an exchange my father was doing, and we really were just traders. But we lived in the capital. That's where I'm from originally. Okay. This is a lot. I'm sorry. No. No, no, I mean, we really need to get it out, and I, f I have no, a, I, I, have I a want point. to know I everything. Swear I have a point. Um, I'm not just trying to unload. I will listen to you ramble for hours and hours, please. Usually, when I'm rambling, I talk about far more stupid stuff than this, but that's <laughs> fair. Um, needless to say, my father blamed himself for a mm -hmm. long while, and it consumed him, and it consumed him. For the rest of her days that he never spent any time with her or me he wasn't there when we were grieving he was he was not around because he was consumed with finding a way to save her the difference is with my father he he's not good he's not he never was I used to think he wasn't strong and he would probably wring my neck if he ever heard me say that so that stays in this room um, mm -hmm. but he um, you are strong you are so much stronger than anyone I've ever met in my life and I I think that you saving your family is important for you and it's different of course it's not it's not that you know that they're dying and you're trying to solve it before it happens it's you're just trying to find them and if you go a little manic in the process well, so what the truth of the matter is is that you're not like my father in the way that I know you will come out of it and you have me. Whereas my father, uh, I was a child, so. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, you were. Thank you. 
sometimes I don't really know where I belong in the story. Um, and I just don't want to be somebody that lets people down, I guess. But but I'm meant to persevere. I have always known that about you, so whatever you choose, even if you want to run and hide somewhere and never face anyone again or any of this, I will follow you and I will support you and I will understand. The same way I will understand if you want to go absolutely mad and chase down your family. Arlo like like laughs, it's kind of like breathy, breathy laugh and mm-hmm. kind of like takes his head and like perches it like right on his chest um, and kind of just like lets the weight like take his head and just like breathe. Mm-hmm. He runs a hand um, through your hair. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <There's some. laughs> oh, stay focused. Mm-hmm. I got you some stuff. And I'll look stuff at him. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, no, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. <laughs> cool. And I'll like, like turns around and like goes through his stuff to go grab it. Um, anyway. What did I get? It was like a whole kit, right? Yeah, you, you sent it in it notes. A- it was a writing kit. You sent it. Oh yeah. I had like the whole shebang. Where did you get it? Um, you wrote in also, notes. Yeah, writing I'm so set. Happy. <laughs> I am so happy that Nari and her girlfriend didn't show up when Morga looked like a giant sea creature. I would have been dead. Zap, zap, zap. <laughs> exactly. Oh, oh no, right. you're right. Yeah, I was just thinking about that, and I was like, Ooh, oh, that was pirate like, lady. Yeah. Pirate Which lady said fly. no more. <laughs> oh no. She oh won't no! Be meeting Kai. Yeah, yeah. She will not be meeting Kai. We haven't even met Kai yet. I haven't even met Kai. Yet. <gasps> what if she's met Kai? Oh, <gasps> sorry. No, wait. That's not. That's so something Jade would do. That's so something they would do. <laughs> to have them have interacted with the like past her before. ship. Like her ship. Yes. Had, like was like taken out. I'm gonna her. ask her. I'm gonna ask her about the kraken. Of course, I should ask her about the kraken. <laughs> yes. That's a good idea. You're welcome. Okay, let's do it, buddy. <laughs> you got this, buddy. I, love I believe in you. Oh yeah, um, so he pulls, a little, he pulls out like a little like little kit thing. Yeah. He's like... <laughs> he looks down at it. <laughs> For my horror romances. Yes, and that I am going takes... to read over again. <laughs> <laughs> he takes it, he smiles, he says, but I don't have anything for you. Oh, it's not about that. I just glances wanted... over and he's like, I love your sister. It's inconvenient. Right about now. Um, mm-hmm. he, he, takes, he takes the writing set um, and he, that bay, that took Bay a second. Bay was like, ah. <laughs> hey, it took me a moment. I yeah, got yeah, Arlo right probably like looked over at her and like thought, just thought for a moment, just like, and then was like, <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Our, you see Dimitri, like, glance at the bathroom for a minute, frown, and then shake his head. Uh, <laughs> he moves to your desk, and uh, he places it down. He kind of, like, does that thing where his hand kind of lingers on it a minute, and then he, yeah. like, smiles to himself, and then he, like, nods, and he, like, looks at you. And he says, um, I'm really glad that I'm here with you. I'm really feel that way. I know that everything is everywhere and we are everywhere and there's probably a lot more things that we should be talking about that we're not talking about lots of things that we we really should talk about probably (laughs) but you have enough going on so i'd be a lot of time right i think so yeah but i think you need to deal with everything before I selfishly butt my way into your problems. So what if I what if I wanted to do that? <laughs> <laughs> but what if I what if I want you to do what that? What if I want you to do that? <laughs> uh Dimitri just kind of smirks. Um he's like I'm sure we can find time to to f- fit that in. Poor choice of words. Uh or <clears throat> not poor, poor choice of oh. words. Oh, 
Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh, um. <laughs> he, just, he just smiles. Anyways, what I was trying uh-huh. to say, um, there will be time after, I think. So I would rather just live in the moment with you now than I grudge just... up shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I would like to not be a guardian just for the night. Okay. I just want to be a fish. <laughs> so bad. It must sound simple. They swim all day and they they have bubbles and stuff and they don't deal with this shit. Sorry. Do you want to take a bath? Yes. Do you want I me do. to take a bath with you? Yes. Okay. That's good. Why didn't I think about that? And he immediately beelines it to the bathroom. <laughs> Like, no questions asked. He is just on his way to the bathroom. Uh, yeah, it, the door locks. You're right. Um, Thank you. And you that. very quickly hear the, like, water running in there. That's so oh. cute. I gotta draw them in the Man's bath. That perfect. is so Man's soft. Is Literally. Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, but yeah. It's great. been a Next day. Fan. Next fan fiction? Yes. Oh, Yes. I'm going to draw you a new Montreal. art. Listen, I'll do it. Uh, I'll draw you uh, even Our trade will begin again. I'll, I'll go even harder. Our trade We're just trying to one-up each other yes! every single Wait. time. Wait. That's kind of fun. Wait. <laughs> Who can be more spicy? It's um, my chicken. It's Haley. It's Haley. I keep- Oh, I, keep... I think- I think you kind of- I think you have, I think you have a good fight. I think you have a good fight in you. I have to, like, yeah, good take fight in you. what Jade's been doing lately. There's, there's some, there's, you've been drawing some things, um, on full display that I feel like I, really I take have. inspiration from. It's terrifying. <laughs> it's beautiful. Hey, yo, it's Thank beautiful. You. Shut up. But it's That fun. was a great scene. Thank oh, you so much. Really that was fun. so That's good. Oh my god, yeah. yeah. The thing is, is I keep doing these scenes and I'm like, wait, I was gonna lead up to your night and, like, you going to sleep and then I keep forgetting. <laughs> Um, and keep dragging out things, because I'm- No, like, that's okay, because- Role play! <laughs> we're having fun! Are, oh no! Fine. No, 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 we can't oh, have any no. trouble if we keep doing the cute little scenes, right? Let's just keep going. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Let's keep these good vibes going! Speaking I don't want to be tonight, I'm going. just a bath boy tonight, bitch. Yeah, yeah he is. Uh, hey, listen, he hasn't hydrated probably all day. He deserves to hydrate. I'm with that- I'm going to bath for the bath boy. Uh, with, with that segue of trauma, I'm diving to Andromeda. God damn it. Oh. <laughs> I'm drawing. I have an idea. I, am I have sad. an idea too. I've been thinking about this. But what okay. is your what is your what is your initial? Um, thing? you tell me first because I have this is more so your night thing that I have for you. Um, okay. because I can tell you now that your night is pleasantly absent of bad dreams, visions. <gasps> oh, okay, good. You get an actual night of rest. Oh, slay. Uh huh. But I have something else. Why would you say for it like you. that? What the fuck? Okay. So I want to know. Does he come back? I want to know what you want at first. Well, my question for you is: Does he come back? He does not come back. What the fuck? And you hear the door lock for curfew. Oh no! Oh no! I'm sorry. We're gonna wake up and that guy's gonna be dead. We're gonna wake up. We're gonna wake up. There's a dead body on the campus right now. I swear he's already gonna be dead. Oh no. Okay, well, well, he probably wouldn't go to that guy specifically. So don't know where he is, I, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna break your guys' hearts with this. Darian's dead in the morning. Um, so Andromeda I spent the night. I don't think you should make jokes like that. Shut okay. your dirty <laughs> whore mouth, I would not shut your dirty, dirty in the whore. I would riot in the streets. <laughs> <laughs> Throwing it's garbage it's cans it. around and break shit. Break our hearts, um, So, uh, I like <laughs> to think, like, the <laughs> first, like, how long was it between curfew and when you left? Like an there, hour or two? Maybe like 30 minutes to an hour. Yeah. 30 minutes? Okay. I think if it was about an hour, uh, like 20 minutes in, she probably would have like gotten up, kind of like walked around a little bit, put things away and stuff, like mm-hmm. put their little items she bought him. And Notice was on, Notice was with her. Yeah. And she would like, she was like talking to him, kind of talking to him about the day. She fed him at his feeding time because he has a sensitive uh, little tummy. tummy. He has a sensitive tummy. He has a sensitive tummy, and so you she. You have to she... be the rats on schedule, or they get sick. <laughs> or they get sick. Or they get sick. Um, and I like to think that she made like a little makeshift nest on like one of her on her desk or something mm-hmm. that she has in there for him to like sleep in and stuff. It has like a bundle of shirt, and there's like some like dirt and like. 
leaves and stuff thrown in for the birdie. Um, well, we were in the woods and Dramada was just collecting. Yeah. She was like yeah. looking up at Notos like, is this one good? Cool. This one good? Yeah. She, <laughs> she 100% cool. was doing that. She, she would have like, done like, that. This one? Yeah. She's, this is her baby. This is her child. That is her child. Yeah. Um, and she kind of like let him in bed and stuff. And I think the last 30 minutes, um, she had set up a little, um, like a, she, so Mud had bought all those like vegetables and stuff and she had yeah. put some away like for later. And then she had set up like a little charcuterie board full of vegetables. Oh. Um, on like a little, she probably found like a little place to set it on, like, I don't know, like bedside a plate or table. something. Yeah, yeah bedside oh, table okay, or something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, a little thing. And she like set it out all nice and neat. Um, and like a, like a cute little spread of vegetables. Um, and she kind of like looked around a little bit and saw if she could find like little, she set up her little fairy lights. She turned them on. Um, she, so and then she, yeah. And she like made all the room like nice and neat and stuff. And she went and she sat on her bed and she just kind of like stared at the door Aww. for 30 minutes and waited. And then she heard, heard the, the click, lock click, the lock, yeah. and she, her face kind of like falls, and she like looks around and then like gets up, uh, walks over to the door, and like tries the handle as hard as she could. It's locked. She like walks back to her bed and picks up her TCD and said, and texts him and says, um. Mud the door locked. I can try to unlock it. Are you outside? And she sends it to him and she like sits on her bed and just kinda like waits and sits there. You do not get a text back. Did he leave his T C D? You hear a buzz? Do I hear a buzz don't anywhere? Hear a buzz anywhere. Damn. She it texts really him again, she says mud twenty minutes later nothing question mark question mark question mark <laughs> oh, there is no response she's gonna text everyone in the group <laughs> oh the panic did mud go to you i assume you all text back no <laughs> he has not theron's gonna say i haven't seen him i'll say no with a sad face like, yeah Arya would Aww. just say no? Question mark? Question mark? You okay? No. Oh. She doesn't text back anybody. Oh. Arlo says, are you alone? No. No text back. That's she kind of... He's in the bath. He's like... Oh, yeah! <laughs> Dimitri's like... What's up, Brad? Is Mud here? I don't know. Is Mud here? <laughs> I don't know. Is <laughs> I know, at first he's probably like, I don't know, is what here? Oh, and he's like, oh, my, my, my brain went to a, not a great place. Or a great place. Well, but, you know, mine went to a great place. In the gutter. But, yeah. I was thinking I was thinking of Dimitri stopping whatever he's doing, looking up at you like, I haven't seen him. Yeah. I haven't going back to <laughs> see him. <laughs> Wait, I haven't seen him. Yeah, Cannon, that's what happened. Cannon, that's what happened. No, <laughs> Moff, say Cannon so that it's official. Cannon. Oh, Yay! <laughs> I feel like Arlo was like, hi, <laughs> guys, not. Wait, why is she doing <laughs> stuff? Yeah, well, it's like, like afterwards, 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 out of the haze, he's just like, yeah, oh, oh yeah, what shit. shit. This is amazing. Um, Are you alone? <laughs> Are you, I you alone? Like, <laughs> I feel like uh, the rest of the, the night, um, before she, whatever happens next, um, mm -hmm. that next hour that follows, or however long of yeah, yeah. time, mm -hmm. um, she has the necklace. And she's talking into it, and it's not, um, it's not a play by play of the of the day's events. Yeah, it's not uh, secrets that she's divulging at all. It's genuinely her just fucking dumping all of her emotions into it, and like her worries and her fears and her, yeah. and mud left her, and yeah. that's that's what she's saying into it. She's rocking back and forth. <laughs> that's what she's doing. Um, what I have for you, uh, as you're going through this, um, you hear a beep come from the device that is sitting on your desk, and you realize when you turn that it is the scanner beeping to life. 
clearly seemingly getting enough charge finally to reboot. Reboot. Um, After you left it alone all day, just because I dropped it up fifty times. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you can look at it if you would like to. Oh fuck yeah! yeah okay. She like the moment she hears the beep, her eyes like snap to it, Fair. and she like puts the necklace down. Also, this girl is in great it. distraction right now. She doesn't want to yeah. follow. She wants to be distracted. Yeah. <laughs> she needs some. She needs some mental stimulation right yeah, now. That's so she's fair. About to spiral. Um, when you pick up the scanner and you look at it, it has several notifications flashing across it, and by the looks of it, they seem to be the more recent ones. Oh, pause. I'm oh, sorry. One second. You're good. You're good. You're good. Knock at the door. Knock, knock, knock at the door. Knock, knock, knock. Yay. Okay. Uh, you're good, you're good. Um, by the looks of it, uh, they seem to be recent. And it can probably be presumed that some of the previous ones have probably vanished. Um, I think we had talked about that once before, about how the notifications kind of like self-destruct. Yeah, they're time yeah. sensitive. Yeah. Um, uh, and as you tap the screen, it brings up um, the other screen that you kind of recognize slightly from all that time ago when Julian had been looking at it um, and when you guys had kind of passed it around. And it displays a board of notes that sit like notifications waiting to be read. I assume you begin reading them. Oh, yeah. She's nosy as fuck. She's oh, going yeah. through all of them. Um, there are three recent ones that are there on the screen. And I will send you these after I read them. But the first one reads, this is so eerie, but first one reads, subject 001 has woken up. We do not think this will affect its use. However, remain vigilant and on guard. The second message says, subject 004 is no longer contained. FN did not authorize their release. The authority responsible is de being dealt with. If you were involved in any way with the freeing of Subject 004, come forward now for a cleaner termination process. <laughs> the next message is... <laughs> the next one is Subject 001 is no longer being prepped for transport nor removed. FN's request to do so was once again denied. By who? And that is the notifications on the scanner. Yo! I'm gonna send them to you. <laughs> Yo! I agree, Yo. I agree with that, Bay, though. What are we agreeing with? The panic to yo was so funny. <laughs> yo! Yo! <laughs> there you go. Um, I want to go downstairs to see my brother. Same. <laughs> I want to see my brother now. Oh, no. He's awake. We got. Where's the elevator? Is the, is the Where's elevator? Where's the elevator? Where the elevator at? Uh huh. His phone asking. My <laughs> 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 Um. Yeah, I want to see one of my siblings who like, remembers me. If that's what you it's guys just think, being, if that's what you guys so. are, are it's... assuming, you should you should read back some of the other subject notes because that would be funny to read back. I know. If, if that's what you think it is. Yeah. Mayhaps I will. Uh, Mayhaps I will. Can I do it, please? Please. Somebody denied. Phoenix request. Interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, again. Maybe it's so again. he's tried multiple okay. times to take Cal other other. Oh, what the heck? Um oh god. <laughs> right, oh, wow. Um God, that fucking that is uh, <laughs> Okay. I mean I that distracted Andromeda it. probably. Yeah. yeah, she's like She's like what the fuck? She has some what information right now. Why, why were why this? was why was subject one being prepped for Maybe uh, it's no longer. Because apparently, no. Finnick was. I know why. Well, yeah, oh, was, fair, fair, fair. Yeah, but like, yeah. why? Like, why were they gonna transport somebody? Like, where? Because Finnick wanted him probably elsewhere. because yeah, but probably because why. it's not safe to keep him at Raven or keep them at Ravenwood anymore. Well, they are using him as like a power source for Ravenwood. As see from who? Well, see is it Ravenwood who? or is it more than just Ravenwood? I mean, Ravenwood well definitely could be just, like a front, right? Ravenwood is just a front. I mean, Ravenwood is just part of, like, all of the schools, so we don't know who's actually in charge or pulling the strings. 
Subject user think- one seems more alert than usual. This could be a potential issue. Its power must remain contained. FN will be staying at the academy until further notice. Uh, subject zero one is acting normal. FN will be uh, will be in to visit soon. Um, what about sin? Subject zero zero one is well. Though issues to be noted, everything should be working and proceeding as usual. Subject zero zero four has yet to give us any information that can provide any service to that yeah. security, nor the security of the yeah. academy, she nor the current case of the appearances. Uh, we will consider, continue administering the necessary persuasive actions. She is mm. to not be spoken to any, under any she. circumstances unless given direct permission. Discrepancy is always is as always is required. Subject 004 is not cooperative. More thoroughly enacted no, persuasive actions may be needed soon. Stand by. Mm-hmm. Um, sure. Subject 004 remains just as unresponsive as previously noted. Persuasive actions are being administered and monitored. No change. Um, the subject, fuck out of her. And then subject yeah. 004 is no longer contained. And then the other one that we got one of is subject contained. 005 is insubordinate. However, must remain in You guys prevent were assuming Wait, wait, wait. wait. Re-read, re-read, sorry, was... I didn't reread that. I didn't hear yeah, that. reread that. So, uh, it's subject 005 is, uh, is insubordinate. However, must remain incarcerated to prevent further destruction. Handle with caution. I wonder if this it's was Kai. this was during the same one as um, subject zero zero four remains just as unresponsive as previously noted, and subject zero zero one seems more alert than usual. I feel like timeline wise that matches up with you guys like, were Silas saying being that, was, that that must be Silas because it happened like yes. in between. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And he's a troublemaker, so they were concerned. It's interesting he was though that trouble. they would say like, I mean, I guess we could, we definitely could have missed it, but I thought we still had been on Ravenwood when he was released because they would have had to say like subject 005 has been released no further action is necessary or something I mean, it's possible, they... like, he wasn't released we escaped uh, with Silas oh, no, yeah 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 right yeah. right right well then yeah. that's also interesting that they didn't say anything about him though either but a lot of the up. messages like self-destructed so it's possible we that that it's been, been a, it's been oh, a yeah. week too so that's yeah. 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 oh yeah so it has, the most recent and but they're still talking, but they're still days. talking about. Oh yeah, I guess it has been a couple. Since probably yeah, been out it for a couple been. days. Yeah, that's fair. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that but that list was out with us. Go. Like a week yeah. ago. Yeah. Uh, can I go Sorry. on the go scanner? Oh no, you're okay. You're okay. Uh, can I go on the scanner and go to our little the list mm-hmm. profile list? She's fucking busting through that shit she's there is nothing like new there nothing changed no okay. there's no change to it mm-hmm. is there any anything else new on there or was it just the notifications just the notifications okay mm-hmm. um i feel like she's like super ingrained in that and she texts everyone then even if, as they're like are you okay she doesn't reply to it she yeah. just says she says, uh, new in- No. <gasps> yeah. I'm thinking. She stops. <laughs> she starts typing out. She deletes okay. it. <laughs> so you all was- rose, and I, like, that was- looked down. No, I was, I was like, <laughs> yeah. what happened? <laughs> the um, she's gonna text everyone, uh, read a new book, talk to you about it soon. Mm. Um... I bet Orthros gets all excited oh, about that. Oh, I know. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 I cannot wait to hear. Then, then for the rest of the night. Um, so she, after that is like finally like hasn't isn't distracting her anymore. Um, she's gonna do the girly pop thing where you're like in your room and you're really really upset about something. And you want to like throw stuff around. I don't know if this is relatable. Uh, but you want to like. Okay throw stuff around and like act a little crazy and like cry and like you know just cause a ruckus but you can't and it's not very productive so you're just kind of angry and just kind of shaking and just kind of crying a little bit and just staring at the wall so intently yeah she does that for about like an hour to two hours relatable and then the last (laughs) girly pops when they when they go in crazy yeah um and because it being in that room and being locked in and being alone just reminds her of the centuries she just spent looking at the garden. Um, and she's going to lay on her bed on her side and she has her hands um, pressed to her cheeks when she finally tired herself out. 
Um, and she's casting uh, the the uh, fucking the her little power. The whisper. The whisper is something. Whisper. Wait, wait. Okay. What's it called? What's, uh, it, what's her power called? Oh god. The the one you use for your visions. Yeah, the vision power. Um, let me double check. Yeah. I like whispers up. Yeah, it was something to do with whispers. Um, something whispers. Why am I forgetting it? I, I know. I don't know why I am either. Community of whispers. Community of whispers. Community of whispers. Community of whispers. Yeah. yeah. Nice. yeah. Okay. She has her hands to her face and she casts community of whispers on herself. Interesting. Just to remember. Yeah. What are you trying to remember? A good time. <laughs> a good time in her Roll life. 2d6 is for me. <laughs> just a. Just something. Oh god. Oh god. This is backfired, I swear. She needs a dub. Honestly, she's trying to remember just like anything good, but if it's something bad, she just needs she needs something. She needs she needs something. She needs some know. form of something, yeah. Yeah. That's fair. I understand that. Seven. Murky. <laughs> I th- oh wait, no, is that bad? No, I don't think so. Oh, it's, it's, it, the mid. it's the mid. It's the mid, because it's 6 to 10. Okay. Okay. It's 7 cool. to 9 or whatever. Or, yeah, yeah, 7, seven yeah. to 9. 7 to 9, you're right. You're right. Um, okay. Um, your mind probably takes you to a memory of you and Alder. And is the two of you kind of exploring the lagoon? But in the way that it's murky, because it's a memory, it's not really murky it's just also a little concerning (laughs) because it is probably a memory where you guys are running away from some sort of giant beast in the lagoon that is after you Um, probably a herd of those creepy kelpie horses horses, Um, yeah yeah, and they are darting after you and (laughs) you just remember feeling terrified but looking forward and hearing alder laughing his head off as he runs um, and he probably, like, trips and falls fucking straight on his face, but gets back up laughing just even harder, um, to the point where you're probably like, like, shut up, shut up, as you're running. Um, oh, like, last one is horse meat, bitch, <laughs> run. <laughs> um, but he just, he is having the time of his life. He, yeah. he's not feeling fear in this oh. moment. He wasn't. Oh. I put a pen in it. Pen. <laughs> Hello. Um. Going for a walk. Oh, nice. Um. Yeah. He. He is not. He was not one to show much fear in his lifetime. Um. So far. So. I think that is the memory you have. It is a mix of, of terror, and happiness, and. Probably. Yearning. To be mm-hmm. back in that place again, yeah. um, or just be alongside Alder again, mm-hmm. and she's just like laying on her side and like kind of like stroking her face in like a, like a self regulating kind of way, and just crying and stuff until she falls asleep. I think because you use communion communion of whispers, you're seeing mm-hmm. this from the eyes of one of the horses, and so it is just That's so funny. It is just the horse seeing you guys like. <laughs> Like, <laughs> <whoa! laughs> like, fucking beelining, fucking it through the woods until you disappear. Um, which, That's so funny. That's I, so cute. I love the imagery of that. That's even better, like, that you got to see that, like, cinematic view of, like, <laughs> running <away. laughs> That's so cute. Oh, so funny. Beautiful. Um, so, from there. <sighs> I'm gonna get to you, Wit, but yours is very soft, so... We're in a position of. Why don't we give Arya, us some serotonin? Arya, Arya, Arlo. No, Arya, Arlo. no. What about serotonin? What about serotonin? Uh, do you want serotonin? Why don't we take a? Why not? Yeah, happiness? serotonin first. Let's serotonin. get some serotonin. Give, give me them angst. You give them no, angst. No, no serotonin. Oh, they'll get their angst either way. Um, what if we don't do that? <laughs> I feel. Da- I'm in danger. I'm in danger. danger. <laughs> Wait a minute. I don't know what to say about that. Do you want? Do you want? A breather with the soft before we get to the angst. Yeah, what do you actually want though? Aria. Jazz. <laughs> you want me to go I mean, first? That, that, I can go first. I, 
I don't know if I want that either. No, I don't, I don't want, want that, that either. I don't want that either. No, I don't want that either. Want that either. Again? Let's get it over with. Okay, let's go. Oh yeah, instead of ending with you. Uh, I don't want to end. Okay, okay then you go. Then you go. Well, then we can do a sandwich of soft. We can put Vay in between. Ooh, there we yeah, go. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Although Vay's right, could right. be angsty too, but just oh, conversation wise, that? just conversation wise. What if we did it? Arya. Hi. I know there was one thing you wanted to do before you went I to did. sleep as I well. I forgot. That's yeah. okay. We can do okay. it. Arya, I think after she's like she kind of waits until she can tell that Elfie fell asleep. Um. She just kind of waits and waits and sits and waits and waits and waits and thinks about mm, that as peach was soon, really good. As soon as uh, Elfie finishes the peach and she like lays down to like close her eyes, she's like, she's like me. She passes the fuck she's out. She's zonked. Yeah, Slay. she is zonked. Slay. I think as soon as she feels that, she kind of like leans over the bed, um, and she like goes underneath her bed where she keeps her bag and her mm-hmm. loot. And she opens up and she grabs her mom's notebook out and she opens it up to read another passage before she goes to bed. Okay. This one is a slight bit shorter than some of the other ones you've read. Um, oh. Probably for the best. Probably for the best. <laughs> she seems like a shorter one. She's like, let's start, uh, let's start there. there. Um, it reads. I was brushing Arya's hair this morning by the fire, humming a song to her as I often do. When I went to braid it for her, one of the strands was black. Are you doing this to spite me? To remind me of your presence, your existence, your memory. I am so, so tired. I am so tired. And I'm so tired of feeling afraid that at any moment you're going to show up at my door and there will be nothing I can do. That I will not be able to say no to you. That I will let you in and pretend like everything is okay. You terrify me, bastard. And that is where it ends. <laughs> Arya kind of looks at it and she's like, thanks, Mom. Thanks, Mom. Puts it back in her bag. Mm. Arya. <laughs> As you close your eyes tonight, Arya. I don't know what what I was expecting. Yeah. <laughs> Anything less. Yeah. Okay. We're quite dead set on um where you or I'm sure you're quite dead set on where you kind of perhaps want to go with sleep. Perhaps reaching out again for that dark place in your mind to just see if it's still there when you fall I think, unconscious. I think she's a little scared too. Mm-hmm. At first. Um, but I think like the more and more like she gets like actually tired, like she can't help but want to go like, but just like go there in her brain. Fair. Yeah. Cause it's um, kind of just been in her routine for so long that I think mm-hmm. she's just used to she's it now. She's so used to it, yeah. Um, perhaps you try so hard to fall in unconsciousness that it feels as though it kind of takes a lifetime before it finds you, finds you. But once your body kind of settles and you feel Elfie kind of curled up behind you in your bed and she smells of peaches and citrus um, and you hear Kuro shuffling and snoring lightly on the other side of the room, eventually sleep finds you and you drift away into your subconscious once more. This time, however, you do not see black. You stand in a garden. And beneath your feet is a long cobbled path with stones placed one by one, light and beige and contrasting sweetly with blades of emerald green grass that pokes out between them and surrounds the space around you. At your sides are layers upon layers of elegant flowers. They are bright and warm in hue, shades of orange and red and pink, and hues of subtle purples mixed within. There's every kind of flower you can imagine. A few trees line the area, blossoming more strange petals, and shrubbery sits there as well, flower bushes that seem to glow in the bright light of your surroundings. 
merged within a few of the trees just up ahead, following this path, almost hidden, but still very clear, hopefully out of place amongst the color and the brightness, sits a gray willow tree, and its leaves hang loosely white and gray like ash, as though it's been set alight and charred, and its bark is like dust trickling to the green grass below, very reminiscent of the one that you saw in the capital. Rather than inky and black, the space around you is an iridescent white. There are no walls, nor any of the horizon, or near any on the horizon. Simply a snow white setting that burns bright to your untrained eyes. And when you look up and away from all the flowers surrounding you, that's when you notice a figure ahead, sitting on a marble bench at the end of the cobblestone path. And she sits, a being in white, her dress long and elegant and surrounded by crimson red roses. What do you do? You're a bastard and I love you. <laughs> the ground is grass, but unlike that inky black um, abyss, which was just entirely black, the ground is grass, but no, the, the, the space the outside around is white. is white. The sky, yeah. essentially. It's blinding, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is yeah, very yeah. much, uh, I don't know if you remember this, but in Detroit Become Human, there's mm. the place that mm -hmm. Connor goes to. It yep. looks a I, lot like You that. know exactly yeah. what I was imagining. That's that was exactly crazy. what I was imagining. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. That's oh perfect. Oh my really. god, okay, that was awesome. shocking that you said that. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Because awesome. okay. that is this what is, the vibes were the supposed worst. to be. This is the worst. This is the worst. <laughs> this is the worst. <laughs> what do you oh do, Arya? I think... Her heart kind of drops to her stomach when she looks up. I'm so nervous. Okay. And sees the figure across. You're so nervous! <laughs> oh, it's fine. <laughs> oh my god, I need a cold cigarette to ease the pain on this one. God damn. Okay. <sighs> okay. Um, I think her heart kind of drops to her stomach while she's just like... And I feel like they're just kind of like staring at each other across the way. She what do you think? is... What do you think? She looks as though she's in a daze, and you cannot see a lot of her features quite yet, but she isn't looking at you. Ari's looking at her. Fair. She looks down at the roses, and she just grabs one and pull, picks it, like plucks it up from the mm -hmm. ground. She just starts walking down the cobblestone path to her. As soon as she gets up to her, I think, she puts the rose out. And she's just, like, eyes are just, like, burning to, like, her head. Like, specifically, like, like she's not looking in her eyes, but she's, like, looking at her, like, forehead, basically. I have the vibes for you. Give me the vibes. Um, I love the vibes. As you approach with the rose, because you're a fair distance away. Um, you see and you her... also probably hear her like feet on the cobblestone. Yeah, the little too. On the, on the her street. little heel. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think she probably would have her boots on. Oh, that's but... true. That's fair. Yeah. So you just hear like her heels on the, the clicking. Cobblestone. Um, as you approach, you begin to see her in more detail, and her eyes shine a bright red, as red as the rose that she is holding in her hand, already. And her face and skin is a light gray, but entirely without flaw, void of any imperfections and perfectly untouched. She looks so young, perhaps around your own age. And her dress is long and flowy and it cascades down her body. And while the majority of it is white, there are streaks of red smears along the sides as though the roses surrounding her had stained it crimson, like blood upon snow. You motherfucker. Her mm. hair is so white that it nearly fades into the background, soft and iridescent, pure and snowy. And it tumbles long and gracefully down her back, coming to a stop low on her bodice and when she hears you approach, though your feet don't make too much of a noise aside from the small clicks, her head then slowly turns to face you. 
I think when she turns, Arya kind of like hesitates for a second, but then like like in the way of like you know you're walking at somebody and then they turn and so you kind of like stop. Yeah. Okay. And then she just keeps pushing forward. She smiles wide at you when she sees you. And her lips are very rosy in comparison to her complexion, um, standing in quite some contrast. And I have a reference vibe um, of kind of... I haven't been able to draw her yet because... Give a reference vibe. I'm really hard on myself with her because she's everything to me. Um, but oh this is kind of the vibe. I, I was actually shocked because I found one with roses. Um, oh, but... Sorry. Not the clothes, really, or, like, the little things in the hair, but the okay. vibe of, like, her, essentially. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. But her That's eyes are, like. are like, skeletal red. Uh, red. Like, they are, yeah. like, almost entirely wow. red. Yeah. Like, the, the entire eye is red? Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. That's, That's like, no cool. pupils, just red. Oh, my God. The fact that it has the roses, though, in that preference, I'll also scream. Yeah, <laughs> that's beautiful. Yeah, yeah that's really like, perfect. Ah! And she is, like, she it's is common. young, young. Like, she looks like she's your age. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. But she smells at you. Do you still move to hand her a, a rose? Mm-hmm. I think Arya, like, sees her smile. Um, and... I think she, like, looks down at the rose in her hand already. She's just like, I was meaning to give you this. And she, like, perks up, and she smiles, and she reaches for it, and she takes it. And she just is watching you very carefully. She says, um, roses are my favorite. Did you know? And she moves it to the one in her hand. A collection. Hello. Hello. It is a wonder to finally meet you. You are my niece. Mm-hmm. Right. Yes. Um, I'm Aria. Hmm. Poetic. She kind of like tilts her head. And then she pats the space next to her very slowly. Would you like to sit with me? I think in that, she kind of like slowly like moves and is like trying to remember all of the, 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 the lessons her mother taught her about manners and etiquette mm-hmm. as she like sits and crosses her like ankles and fixes her like little dress before she sits and like turns to look at her and she like once you sit down she like turns to face you like almost fully like giving you her undivided attention um and she says i'd had enough of hide and seek it's no fun when the other person doesn't know they're playing. I, I didn't know. We're family. Yes, Isn't I don't it know a wonder? Your... I, I, I didn't know I had a family other than myself um she just is kind of like smiling very warmly at you but there's still of course something Mm -hmm. very eerie about it yeah um but she looks at you it is so lovely to be together Family is very important to me. I, I, um, forgive me. I, 
nervous. You see her face kind of fall. But why? I know nothing about you. Isn't it normal to be nervous around strangers? We are not strangers, we are family. Why would you say such a thing? I, um... Sorry, sorry. Um, I'm... Uh, if, um, if we are family, um, what is your, what is your name? What? You, you are my aunt. Is that correct? I am. Didn't know that I had an aunt. I always knew I had a niece. The moment you were born. How? How did you know? I've always had connections with my brothers. They are very important to me. Not so much Orion in how much he has hurt me. But still, all I want is for us to be together again. Well and truly this time, happy, free. I um. Would you like to play a game? What? For every rose that you hand me, you get a question. The world is more fun when there are games. Okay. Don't you agree? Um. I didn't play much growing up. That is a travesty. I am um, so sorry. Would you like to play? I think uh, this whole time her head's kind of been like down, but like she's like turning it to like talk, but not like look at her. Mm -hmm. um, and I think in this moment she looks up at her in the eyes. Um, sure. Let's play a game. Collect the roses then. And Arya stands up. Um, and I think she walks. Um, and she's like looking through the roses um, and like really being picky on like the ones that are the most like furled mm -hmm. and like the, they're not, yeah, they're like very, very picky about it. Um, she, and as, she, as yeah, you but, walk away, she does say, she says, um, careful, roses have thorns. And she kind of turns to look over her shoulder and she's like, I know. Okay. And down she smiles. I just wouldn't want you to hurt yourself. We're a family after all. We must keep each other safe. <laughs> Arya picks a rose. Um, and I think she does the thing that I always used to do as a kid, where she gets her, th her thumb underneath the stem and she... Mm takes the little thorns off um and then she, she puts it. sees you doing this mm -hmm. and she says well don't do that what why well because there is no fun if there is no threat that's what makes it exciting so you don't want me to hurt myself but you do you want me to feel threatened? No. Okay. I just want to have fun. Fun. It is more fun than when there is risk. 
makes the game more exciting. Well, you've picked the flower, so ask the question. You asked one earlier. Yes. Um, and she like turns like fully to face her. Um, can I know, what is your name? My brothers would call me Kali. But my name is Calypso. Love it. I fucking love it. Yes. No. You have no idea how hard it's been to keep that one in. Congratulations. Oh, it's the goddess of the sea, actually. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I'm aware, but. Oh. Uh, <laughs> here. Uh, her story. Wow. <sighs> I'm, gonna I'm screaming because she's on her island. And I'm she's literally about to throw up. Because, 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 because she's but, the daughter but, of Atlas, I think. Okay. Asia. And she got banished to a fucking yeah, island. To her little island. Then David Jones fell in love with her. Yeah. So did Grover. <laughs> yeah. True. And Odysseus. Wait. Nope. That's Cersei. Wait. No. Which no, one was no, it? No, no, no. She fell in love with Odysseus. Yeah, yeah. Was it also Odysseus? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Odysseus fell in love with everyone, man whore. Yeah. yeah. Hate him. Hate him, by the way. But, okay, but yeah. he, like... Ooh, you know. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> Arya kind of looks Sorry, I, I, I've been oh. so, like... No, take a second. Please, please, she's please, she's, she's a second. really fucking hard. <laughs> You're doing incredible. incredible. You're doing incredible. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. I'm so scared right now. I literally feel like I'm about to shit my pants. Oh, I need incredible. to go to the bathroom really fast, so take a moment to process. Yeah, I'm just gonna yeah. go, 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 go piss. Go piss. Holy shit. Oh my god. Calypso. Calypso. I love that lemonade brand. Such a good lemonade brand. The lemonade yeah. Brand? You want to know something yeah. so funny? Jazz and I <laughs> bought those when we were at our convention. And I was sitting there the they entire time. I had never tried Calypso, Calypso lemonade. And we oh, were drinking so it. And I was sitting there and I was like. <laughs> Resist the urge to was say good? something. I was like, was it good? Good? Yeah, it was great. It's so good. It's Calypso. But I was losing I like the, I like the blue no, lemonade. I don't know. Yeah, that's that's the one, one I tried. That's the one I tried. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Good. I love the peach, the southern peach one. That's oh, my favorite. Southern yeah, peach she's, one. she, I'm, I'm. I'm just... I've been really fucking hard on myself with her because she's so. She's I, perfect. She she's perfect. Is you're playing her perfectly. I don't even know you. what your goal is, but it's perfect. She's I just, can't. She's just not. Uh. She's. She's like a child. Yeah. Us. That's kind of what the vibes are. So it's like, like she's your age, but she's almost like childish. Like um, she's centuries old, but she never really like grew up. Exactly. Yeah. She's very oh like God. dark Peter Pan, I gotta say. Yeah. Like let's just play games and then like steals the lost voice. Spooky. I can't tell you how proud I am of you for the name choice. I'm well, literally thank you. obsessed. I have had that one for a while. That's my shit. That's my shit right there. <laughs> it's one That's of my good. it's one of my favorite names that I'm like obsessed with. And um, that makes me so sad. It, I didn't have a name for her for a really long time because I couldn't settle oh, one gross. because I was really like I'm just judgmental with her character for me, for myself. Oh, no. um, well, it's perfect. And thank you. <laughs> but she, um, I was listen- I was I was time. literally listening to like Pirates of the Caribbean music, and they have <gasps> they have a song oh, called Calypso. Calypso. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah. And Calypso and I heard that song, and I thought of her immediately. And this this was the weird thing because I was just listening to it on shuffle, like the the soundtrack. And so I heard that song, and I was like, wow, this is really good for her vibes. And then looked at what song was playing and it was calypso and i was that's like Fuck. that's it <laughs> i was like that's, that's the one meant to be meant, <laughs> meant to, be. to be i guess i think i think if i remember Which correctly i almost chose calypso for andromeda it was between Aww. it was three different choices it was ariadne andromeda mm. and calypso and i, I love andromeda. that i love andromeda yeah. I'm so i love andromeda. Andromeda. andromeda i do love andromeda you yeah. started the eight names so that's true a curse <laughs> Okay. Thank you, thank you for that. thank you for living in that big revelation with me. Okay. Oh my so god, that was amazing. That was incredible. So good. That was incredible. Go that reveal. Uh, I have chills and shivers. Oh, and I am insane. I mean, obviously, Jazz is still <laughs> processing. 
Yeah. Also, Jazz, you are also doing incredible this season. Yeah. This oh my god. Yeah. 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 Right now, You're awesome. with the rose. Oh I'm god. like, oh. That's so you good. and serious scenes are my favorite. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I hate. Me. Oh, they're so hard. So but you do so good. But you're doing so good. Story is funny. Story is the same. It's okay. Oh Fair, but you're doing amazing. You are. Oh God, I literally feel like I'm gonna shit my stomach out. This is horrible. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. It's wow. dropped so far in my body. Oh. That's cool. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay. Yeah. Oops. <clears throat> um. Okay. Has the rose with the, with with one thorn gone on it? Great. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. She, she does extend yeah. her hand and like to like. Are you walk back? Uh, you with the rose. Um, do you offer it to her? Yes. She takes it and she adds it to the two that she already has, and she holds them, and looks at you. Would you like to pick another? Yes. And she just turns around and goes back to find another one. And she, like, as you kind of like, because I imagine you're kind of mm -hmm. walking through this garden a little bit. Yeah. She just follows you. Like, she's she's just holding the little bouquet that's forming. And she follows you. And her dress almost kind of flows as she walks, but there's no wind in this place. There's no nothing that could cause it but it's almost like ghostly as she walks through almost as though she's floating when she walks on the stone she makes no noise um but every time you turn around she's there waiting and just following you and she seems very content in doing so she has this just ever-present little smile on her face so twisted <laughs> all right goes down and picks another one She looks at you. She kind of looks down at it. Why? What did my father do? To you to make you feel like you can't trust him as you do rain he lied to me he lied to me and he placed a dagger in my chest and then i couldn't breathe or walk or talk he took that from me. But I've forgiven him. And so Rain took that from him. I suppose so, yes. Just funny how those things work. Like I a cycle. And she she kinda like falls back slightly and her shoulders kinda drop and her face falls. And she puts the rose atop the others. And she looks genuinely confused. Like, why? Yeah. Why isn't that funny to you? It's the same she thing. She can ask. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm saying that's yeah. how she looks. That's how she looks. Yeah. Um, Hold on. Hold on. You look confused. Would you like to play? And she kind of points down to the roses. Yes. And she she reaches for one without question. Just okay. reaches for one. And she hands it to you. Ari takes it. Why wasn't that funny? Because it wasn't right that my father did that to you, but it's also not right that Rain did that to him. But everyone's I did together. Everyone is safe. They're not. Oh, we are. 
No, we're not. I'm in. will be. After everything. Arya leans down and grabs another rose. And I think that she doesn't care, so she does, like, nick her hand in the process mm -hmm. on the thorn. Fair. Um. What is everything? What? I. I feel as though the, I am in more danger than I've ever been. And I'm very scared. I am just fixing everything so that our family can be a family again. As it was ruined and taken from us. And you shouldn't do that to families. Not when they love each other so much. That's fair. Arya is grabbing another rose. Okay. What broke our family up? What needs fixing? You see her, like, lashes kind of, like, as she, like, looks down, and she blinks, and they kind of flutter, and you see, like, a single little tear that just, like, rolls down her cheek. And she looks up. Arya's you. head, like, instantly, like, goes to wipe it. Um, and I think she kind of, like, hesitates, but just, like... Does she do it? Yes. Her arm flies up and catches your wrist. She looks at you. Sorry. Sorry. Um, and she kind of blinks a moment, kind of takes it in, and looks and drops your arm. Touch is only ever meant with betrayal. We are broken because they didn't like me. Do you like me? I'd like to so he started smiling and I was like, why are you smiling? <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I'd like to. You're willing to try. I'm willing to do anything for my family. So am I. We have a lot in common. I think we do. Roses are my favorite as well. I've always loved them. I always thought they were so... whole. Mm. I suppose we all long to be like a rose. In that matter. I will give you back to my brother. I only wanted to say hello. Why? Why, why would you do that? Well, to say hello. You are family. And I love no. you. You love me? 
Well, yes, of course. You have not done anything to wrong me. But I have not done anything to right you. No, perhaps not. But when so many don't like you, you take what you can get. I know the feeling. And a tear does roll down Arya's cheek as well. Um, okay. And she just watches it. And like, watches it kind of fall. Kind of fall. Mm. Yeah, and her head kind of tilts a moment. Um, and she does not make a move to do anything. And it is right. very clear that right. you making a move was not was... taken as you comforting her. No. Um, Absolutely. But she... Kind of watches it. Arya moment. like wipes it as soon as it hits like her chin. She just... mm. And she looks up at you. Have I upset you? Often people cry when they are upset. Is that what you are doing now? I. I'm crying because. I'm scared, but I cry when I feel most things. She kind of takes a step back a moment, fixes you kind of like steady eyes, mm -hmm. and says, um, are you scared of me? I don't think so. That is wonderful news. And we are steps ahead. May I ask another question? You may pluck another rose. That is the game. <laughs> she leans down to grab another rose. Why? Why were you seen as, she kind of looks up, but a monster? I do not know. That is just how they saw me. They did not like me. I do not know why. She goes and plucks a rose. She pulls it forward and she hands it to you. Your, your question? Would you like to be me to bring my brother back, or do you want me to stay? I will not mess with your mind. That is not nice. Not to family. I would never do it to family. It is fun when it is with strangers, but with you, I will not do it. I will be silent. If I am to have my father back, will I not hear from you again? Can I not have both? That is something you would have to ask him. 
I think part of him still does not like me. I think he is scared. That makes my heart sad. And that's okay. I fear that your brothers are on opposite sides and neither of them truly know why. No, Rain understands. Rain knows. <laughs> he knows that I will fix things for him. <laughs> we will be together again and we will live our lives anew. You did not quite answer my question. Ask again? If you cannot have both, hmm. would you like me to stay? Or I can be sure that Orion makes his way to you. Either choice is not a problem for me. <laughs> she kind of looks at you. She says, Sorry. Orion looks poses at... no risk. He is part of the game. So it is not a problem. I do not mind. And I am happy if you have your father near. Isn't that what people want of their fathers? It is what I wanted. Your, f your father. Mm. I've... I haven't heard much of him. Oh yes, Rain did not like him very much. Not in the end. May I... She looks and she at kind of roses and looks back roses. at you. <laughs> and she like picks one up. What did he do? Oh, a great many things. They were his games. They were fun for a time. For a time? Yes. Uh, will you come visit me again? She smiles. It's like very, like a very warm smile. You would like me to. I think we could be of support, help, use to each other. Friends, family. I would like my father back in my head but I would like you to come visit me. It is not that easy. We make sacrifices for family, don't we? We do. But he doesn't let me in. He doesn't like me. Not right now. Can Rain help? Can you visit me through rain? I suppose I could. That is a brilliant idea. Would you like me to? Yeah. 
<laughs> Jazz does it. Are you tempted? Oh, it's a horrible game. I hate this game. Uh, 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 okay. Um. I don't think Rain trusts me. I don't even know if he likes me. I am helping him to understand family a little bit better. He is not good at family. I wish I knew why. Well, they have done nothing but wrong him. At every corner. It is why he ended father's games. And why he never forgave mother. Right. Then. Um. What if I was to sleep on it? Oh, take all the time you would like. I have plenty of time. What is waiting another day versus waiting a century? So this is your garden? Oh. Sometimes. I suppose I should pick a rose for that. <laughs> she leaps down and grabs another rose and gives it to her. She takes it, adds it to her little bouquet. I still feel scared. But not of me. I think... I'm scared of myself. Oh, it's like I was. Arya looks down at the roses. <laughs> she she smiles and she kind of laughs a little bit. Like a game. <laughs> and she looks like like she's very excited that like you're enjoying her game essentially. And so she picks up another one. She hands it to you. Why do you fear yourself? Because I was born a monster and was raised to become a worse one. She looks at you and her face is like, like dead now, like emotionless. Um, and she fixes you with this like kind of dead eyed stare. And they called you a monster too. They didn't like you, did they? You really do have so much in common. <laughs> Power that makes us hated. And why? And it is simply who we are. It is one thing to be hated for what you do, but to be hated for simply existing. Mm. That is another thing entirely. Father told me not to be afraid of what I could become. He is what people call a hypocrite. Excuse me? It's a big word. I learned it from oh. Tobias. Oh. And she can't help the eye roll that she has at that. <laughs> just like, oh. She just kind of shrugs. He has always I... been afraid of whatever he can do. He has always been afraid of himself. For him to tell you such a thing. It's not fair. Well, you should hear it from I... me. So I will tell you. 
There is nothing about you that should ever be designated a monster. Do you understand? You are just like me. Born special and wonderful. And it is not our fault that we are on a pedestal unlike any others. I wasn't on a pedestal. Oh, I you should have been. You should have been loved. That is the pedestal. Maybe I could have been if Rain hadn't done what he did. She, I... she like goes like this kind of like just kind of moves her hand and all of the flowers around you disappear. Every rose vanishes, every flower vanishes, the cobblestone tree vanishes, the grass vanishes, and you are simply standing in this abysmal white. And she I feel looks, like it's, oh, it's blinding. Yeah, it's blinding. And she just looks at you and she says, I am done playing the game. I thought we were having fun. I'm not having fun anymore. I'm sorry. I will come visit you again. You can have a day to sleep on it. Did the roses in her hand also vanish? Yeah, everything's gone. Do you know anything of the ink? It is just his home for a while. He will be out of it soon, and we're together as a family. Please don't let him suffocate in it. I would never. And she looks genuinely like like shocked that you would even say such a thing to her and she shakes her head everyone will be all right and we will all be together and it will be perfect as it should have been from the start there will no longer be people who don't like us understand it's to be a haven hmm. I suppose you could say such a thing <laughs> I hope you sleep well I will Dreams say I were always my favorite It is quite bright in here. Mm. Not I shall used turn to off it. the lights. And she just kind of goes like this, and <laughs> everything goes dark. And you do not see her anymore. You see nothing. It is just unconsciousness. And it might, more or less, probably is enough to kind of wake you up. Yeah, I was going to say, I feel yeah. like Arya like, just wakes up from, from the it. From the drasticness of how quickly it is done. It's It's gone, mm -hmm. yeah. I think when Arya wakes up, she doesn't go back to sleep. Fair. I don't think she can. I think she's a little too chicken. <sighs> that was that was great. That was insane. God, I'm gonna damn. God fucking damn. Jesus. Arya goes into the bathroom and takes the rose off of the out off of the um, counter. Oh, um, sorry. What what Haley wrote? The Calypso, Arya, Andro, Sin, Riley. Girly pops are hated for how they were born. Yeah. Real, real. Uh, oh my god. I think she takes off. She takes the flower off, and um, she puts it with the bundle again of the other roses. <sighs> back to the bundle. Mm -hmm. Back to the collection. Yep. 
I'm so glad you guys were saying she's creepy. That makes me very happy. <laughs> are you kidding? Are you serious? Are you serious right now? Be so so serious. So serious. I'm scared, dude. Be so As serious. If you didn't I'm glad it wasn't me in there with her. Why did I was crying. I was crying at how upset God, I was. Sorry. Over her. Damn. It's fucking terrifying. I was trying to channel my understand? Do you understand well, you that did. it felt like the fucking, the fucking scene in the goddamn Sherlock scene? It was so hard not to say mm. fucking, uh, with the yeah, fucking my... bun. It was so hard not to be like, happiness is a pop song. Sadness is a poem. <laughs> I was like, it's like, literally the fucking... It's right there. Oh, it's there. This is literally like Jesus. you walking around at Sherlock's Con <laughs> as Eurus and like being <laughs> creepy. Yeah, this is that exact vibe, but I'm like um, I'm 10 times it. more. <laughs> Intense. I'm gonna throw my hands up in the air sometimes. Again, Oof. ayo. Ayo. Oh, that was sorry. Sorry. That, that right was all there. had to go on so your shoulders yeah, like... there. Aria. God damn. No, you yeah, handled Aria. that like a pro. Thank you. I love. One. I'm gonna give Aria a big kiss. I'm so upset. A kiss on the lips. Give Aria a big We're gonna, kiss. On I'm gonna give you big hugs. That was the same. Same. Massive kiss on the lips. Oh my god. I need like ten cigarettes at once. Yeah. I, I was hoping you'd be like. I was crying I was a little, little tears because of how scared I was. I was hoping you'd be a little spooked by, <laughs> spooked by the reality of her just saying that she can just give you a Ryan back. I yeah. what? <laughs> what, are, what are you guys tweeting? I was. I was. It was so. You shouldn't make those faces on camera. We're live. Yeah. I wish I would have. What do you mean? I'm just smoking ten cigarettes. We're, we're, so, we're talking smoking about. ten giant cigarettes. That's not you? what it looks like. <laughs> That's really not what it looks like. Save that for I the wish Patreon. I wish you could have heard my internal voice. Everyone's ignorant. It's it's thirty <laughs> cigarettes at once. I don't know what you're talking you about. Wish I heard what? <laughs> Huh? Good. What did you say you I wish get it. that was I said I wish you guys could have heard my entire no monologue that understand. entire time because it was an entirely more like new scene that was happening and I was like <laughs> a different scene was going on. I would pay good money to be well, in Well because your there's, head a reason, there's a reason there's a literal reason why I wasn't saying that I wanted her to give him back to Ari or to Orion. The good intel. Yeah. Well, because well no well, no no that. not even that. The oh. fact that she oh. makes him feel more comfortable. Yeah. She is a drug oh. more comfortable. The, the way that yeah, Jim described it yeah. is that it is a drug, like, it literally yeah. feels like she It is, you feel it, like you would be devastated oh. if she leaves, essentially. That's like, sad. It is that's, a, no. that's not fun. Like, it's, she has turned Arya's brain. I wonder if this is how Rain feels. What yeah. Oh, of course it fucking is. <laughs> this is very really sad. I can't do this. Uh, this is horrible. Uh, really sad. I am very sorry for what anything Arya does in the rest of this episode. Oh, that's okay. Nice. I'm so real that's for really that. Okay. Uh, Theron's gonna give her a hug. Oh. Arya's um, gonna break down crying. Speaking of yeah, Theron. Yeah, that's okay. <gasps> Why what? me? Let me go. No, speaking of Theron. Speaking of oh, thank God. Let me go. <laughs> Let me go. 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 Uh, how are we feeling? Do we want to take a break? Do we want to? Where are we at? I'm just gonna go piss real quick because I gotta. I kind of have to piss too, so. I think I, I need to grab my water break. and I need to let Sadie out because she's yeah, been. Yeah, yeah, ten minute break. Ten minute break. Yeah, yeah. Ten minute. Just need to be her perfect. dinner. It's, so. it's, 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 it's fifty right now, o'clock. so it's I just need to lift the brain fog. You know what I mean? I need to. So fair. I'm so sorry. Don't be sorry. We are. It was amazing. We are like almost done because I'm like getting to the end of my notes. So. What the frick? Yes, free next Friday. Leaving y'all yeah. on a yeah. leaving y'all on a yeah. cliffhanger see you there, probably. But see see you there. What? See you there. What? I said it's free next Friday. And you said yeah. No no no. So I'm saying what to Jade being like I'm leaving you on oh. a cliffhanger. I it might be a Wait, what? It's a, they're gonna leave us no. on a cliffhanger. No, no, Wait. no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, no, no, that's no. right. Good to yours, Faye. Good to yours. What's up? <laughs> now. What's up with that? I think it's a Anyway. What was that guy in between the bear in between the lions? The cliffhanger guy? And in between the lions, y'all don't know what I'm talking about. I know I what you're talking about, but I don't remember. You it at you don't all. watch it. At, if Jade, you haven't watched in between the lions. No, I, I watched it. No, I watched oh, it as a kid. It's the wait, animated wait, guy. Wait. He was. Is it the books with the lions? The whole yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Like the I don't. Guy. Hold on, I'll find I him. don't find remember him. that though. Okay. Yeah, that's like exactly. that's like early childhood me. Like I don't oh, remember anything from that. I knew you would. That's early memories. Your vibe. Piss break. Piss snacks. We bye bye.
I'm live! Pito's oh, double live. dog dared me! I'm glad you- Oh, my god! Get the slime out. What? What? What are you slime? What? Oh, Shimmy! Shimmy! Is that real slime? Are you barking? Oh my god! Oh, he's just like, slime hoodie, out. Hoodie, isn't it? Yeah, it's a real- it's this slime company called- <gasps> Slime. Jade loves slime. Slimes. I, I got obsessed with oh, this, man. this slime or person on, on TikTok. Jade is obsessed. Oh, obsessed. Obsessed. And me when and... I mean her and her mom sat oh, on we the sat bed. And we were watching That's what we do. That's yeah. what me Emmett do. Oh, we'll God. sit in bed all night. And I, walked into, I walked into I walked into Jazz and I was like, <laughs> so What's we're gonna deal? make Ravenwood themed slime. <laughs> I, was like, yeah, oh my God. <laughs> shit. I would literally lose my shit. I, I was thinking slime. about it because it would be so fun. You could put little like things in it to make it like the. Characters. Didn't you guys make slime as we like did. Mina or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We did a video. Yeah. It was cute. We did, it was and good. we still have it. Yeah, we have the we have the little accessories. Yeah, That's why I really slime. want to do it. Yes. Um. Anywho, it reminds me of, like just silly pony, which is my yeah. favorite. Well, so. there's also yeah, yeah, yeah. Slime. So you you will let you know what's I, gonna happen next. I was a play doh kid and I feel like this is my next I don't era. know what you said. No, I didn't hear you. Oh I said you don't know what kind Oh, uh, I seen the first time I said it, I didn't mess up my words, so um I said there's all different kinds of slimes, Vay. Like this crunchy you don't even, Oh my god. Yeah. It's crunchy yeah. and glittery. Like yeah, little yeah, yeah. stones. I'm I know I want you like stones. I'm a simp. <laughs> I'm a simp for the ones that look like syrup or honey. You, I love you. Know? you. <laughs> Those are the ones that I'm after. Okay, wait, which ones? Are you the saying? ones that are look you like after? like syrup or honey. Like they're like you that like those? texture. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really yeah. Those ones are nice, but like clouds. The clouds. The cloud. I like the ones that look like pizza dough or like bread dough. I love the bread dough. Oh, I was such a bread dough kid. It was everything. And then I like I like the crunchy ones. I like the ones that almost hurt your hands when you when you just crunch them. Like, do they make a crunchy sound? Oh yeah, babe. I'll send you videos later, man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. And there's the ones that like snap, like they crackle. Yeah, with bubbles and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's so great. Therapeutic. Anyways. I have this. Wait, look. I have this. <gasps> sorry. Then no, 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 no. I want to see. Show me. Slime tour. I have. Well, we got a bunch of slimes. It was my birthday. Present. Yeah, those are like the cloudy oh, ones. Well, I'm it to be like a spider web. That one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, it's almost there. <laughs> Whoa, it's almost there! Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to ingest it. And then you just get a little bit of this. I'd like to eat it, yeah. He's a little bit tougher, but he gets to a really, like, obnoxiously, like, spider really web. Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. <gasps> Oh, there yeah, 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 there yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. It feels That's like Spider Web. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that shit. Like, you drop it. Oh, good. That's what I need for, like, oh, good. that would be a good fidget toy for me, slime. Uh huh. Because I, uh -huh. yeah. Fidget toys Helps. don't really do it for me, but the slime? Mm. Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> I agree. So. Um, I don't this commercial was brought much. to you by the Slime. <laughs> slime! Um, <laughs> um, by you. Sponsored slime by Slime. Uh, sponsored I don't by slime have and too you. much left for you guys, but I want to do if you Can we go things. forever? <laughs> eh. so sweet for real. Um, <laughs> go forever. I want to go forever. Can you stay forever? Um, wait. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Is, is Sorry, I was distracted. Sir. What were you laughing at? Theo. <laughs> Usually you can assume Bay's laughing at me. Um, <laughs> I'm laughing with you in this case, all right? Oh, oh in this case. Okay. In this so case. Fair. <laughs> um, I'm not going to deny that. You're right. <laughs> so... <laughs> Where's my brain? Oh, okay. So, me. Theron, we're, yes. we're breaking up some of the angst with some softness. Um, some, uh, like tooth aching, uh, tooth soft flip. Wow, um, cotton candy. You love cotton candy. You, when you are finished with like all your washing up, and and I assume you 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 get into bed with Arthros quite quickly. She probably was yeah. looking at the book with you until she began to kind of drift off, and it well, does in I'm... fact seem like those little espresso candies are helping her to be really tired. Mm -hmm. oh because she oh, is she is snoozing she's on the brink of a deep slumber um that's exciting. 
And she's kind I'm of like I'm just gonna stay for a while. No, she's kind of like uh, you are like laying in bed with her, right? Um, I I wanted to like for safety purposes. Um, yeah. she's like next to the wall, and then I'm on the outside, okay. so that like just in case if anything happens, she'd have to crawl over me to get <laughs> to out. Silas, <laughs> fair. So, um, yeah. fair. Uh, well, she is so asleep. Usually sleeps with like an arm draped over her, so like that's mm. an extra layer of security. That's fair. Are you big security. spooning? You're big spooning right oh, now. Oh yes, security. Yeah. Definitely only for security. Security, <laughs> security purposes. Thank you very um, much. Um, you. Uh, at one point, <laughs> as the night. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I was, I was looking at my notesies. Hello! Hello! The cryptid in the night! Ambrose, I am ill right now, y'all. So Dude, I, I hope they feel better so soon. Yeah, I love you same, so same, much. Same. I am ill. You drink that Capri Sun! <laughs> yeah. I love you! Get that Capri Sun. I have no idea. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Get that Capri Sun. I love them. They are so gender, it's so good. They are so gender, it's so good, is what's just saying. What did I miss? That's a board. That is a board. Put their hand on my chest, like to say something, and they were like, "I can do that." Great. That's cute. Hey, I love you. I love this for you. We love you. You miss me so much. <laughs> you sound bad, dude. I love you. No. Rest so up. So much. Thank you. Um. Oh my gosh. Uh, Wit, you are big spooning, hmm. and Arthur's is drifting off into sleep. She is basically out like a light. Um, at this point. So cool. I assume you are kind of just like, are you trying to actively go to sleep, or are you just? No, I'm, I'm gonna stay up. There. I'm, I'm, I'm just laying there. Okay, I'm just you being comfy. You hear like shuffling um, from Silas's side of the uh, room, and at some point in the night, he did change into like a cozy little like he's probably one of those guys who wears like the gray sweatpants and he's wearing like his little gray oh. sweatpants and he's got like yeah 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 I, I'm feeding you and then he's got like just like a okay. little like a long sleeved black top. Um, yeah, just for that. Probably like a baggy, baggy, long sleeved uh, black top, and I love that. Kind of like campus, uh, I guess not campus. Um, Henley, that's what they're called, like a little Henley. Um, and you hear him kind of shuffling as though like he is moving around on the bed, like trying to get comfortable. But it is very clear, like it sounds like it is not working. If anything, it's like like it's a little huffs that he keeps doing of just like frustration and he keeps like turning <laughs> and you hear like the mattress kind of squeaking a little bit as he's moving and then he turns a little bit more the fact that just... like Theron's back is to him and yeah. he hears this mattress squeaking behind him yeah he's up. do you want to say anything Great to I think I mean like even though he's not sleeping I think Theron gets kind of like annoyed Fair. Like, fair. Yeah. What are you doing over oh Fair, God. fair, fair. It's what? It's a what? what? Sorry. No, Jesse. Jesse. I was just going to say, it's, it's, it's very similar to what Arthur did in the fic, where he kept moving around and making noises. Yeah, and she, she got annoyed. Like, and it was just like, would you stop? Yeah, she's oh like, my gosh, can you stop doing that? Will you stop? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, literally, yeah, yeah. will you stop? <laughs> like, they can are stop. so <laughs> perfect for each other. I love it. it That's really... literally what Arthur <laughs> did. I was just like... I forgot I did that. Thank you for reminding me. Um, yeah, got you. It was cute. Uh, mm. What do you say to him? I should be like, bruh, <laughs> what are you doing over there? Um, you just hear him sigh. I, I can't sleep. Well... I'm going to be up for as long as Arthur is asleep. What's on your mind? I am debating the meaning of life, I guess. <laughs> oh, so, so nothing big. All right. No, nothing too extreme. Come to any conclusions? No. 
actually? Yeah, it's a big question. Do you have any answers? Wish I did. Mm. And I do a day-to-day basis. Everything feels very temporary right now. I guess. Well, you're welcome to stay as long as you like. No, it's not. It's not just like my living arrangements right now. And then he kind of like snorts a little bit. Um, <laughs> and you hear like, are you? is your back still turned or are you looking at him now? I feel like he probably has a leg. Like, he's probably, like, leaning on his back, and, like, mm-hmm. his head is, like, turned towards Silas, but, like, okay. his arm is still, like, draped over. Okay. You see, um, like, Silas kind of, like, he moves to the point where he's not laying, like, horizontal anymore. He just kind of sits, like, up in the bed, and he, like, puts his back against the wall. Um, <clears throat> and he kind of clears his throat a moment, and he says, um, I don't know, I just feel like this whole situation and this whole thing that you're all going through that we're all going through there has to be an end to it right i mean one could hope so then what what's after that what does it all lead up to what what if we find all the answers and we fix everything then what well then you go after your ideal life, however you want to live. What if I Whatever don't that have looks- that? What if I don't know what that looks like? Well, you can always find it along the way. It's not rush. You don't have to have it figured out. You hit me right in the heart with all these things you're saying right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Listen. And Silas is like, how do I navigate this? Come on, drop, drop um, the lore. Drop, drop, he, he drop the tea. Drop the tea, Silas. Opening yeah. up, yeah. making noise. That's on him. He takes in kind of like a shaky breath for a second. <clears throat> and he says, um, what if it gets to a point where there is no time to figure that stuff out? What if things are limited and you have to figure something out and you don't know what to do about it you don't know what to figure out it must have really freaked you out with the whole Arthurus thing you are safe here actually you hear him kind of like he kind of huffs a little bit and it, and it genuinely <laughs> sounds like he's a little bit like frustrated, <laughs> like like yeah. yeah. Um, to a point where like you you Listen, definitely would pick up on it. That, not, no, but... you're fair. Um, you would definitely pick up on the fact that he he seems a little bit like just like I don't know, just like conflicted and like frustrated, and like it's clear in like his mannerisms and the way he's kind of like just looking down at his like lap and he's his fingers are doing the thing that he's picked up the little habit of twiddling with the sleeves of his uh long sleeve shirt upon hearing this is arthur like sound asleep yeah okay <laughs> if there's gonna very gently very quietly with all the stuff he can muster slide out of bed mm-hmm. and he's gonna go over to the desk and grab <laughs> Let me get some my, my list. <laughs> little, little list. What do we got on the menu for tonight? <laughs> oh my god! Um, it's also so funny to just picture like a dragonborn walking around the room doing this. Sometimes I forget because I picture wit in my head sometimes, and then oh, I have okay. to like oh, reorganize right my now. thoughts. And I'm like, no, that's that's a big dragonborn man just walking around. <laughs> that's yeah, a big boy. Yeah, yeah. His tail uh, just like sliding behind him. So cute. He's gonna grab some caramel apple slices, and Aww. he's just going to. Where where is Silas on the bed? Is he? he he's said sitting, he's sitting like, up. Yeah, he's sitting like because the bed's like pushed against the wall. He's sitting like with his legs like outward and like his back against the actual wall, 
um, like okay. horizontally. So like not where the pillows are. It's like he's laying so that his body's sprawled against like the short bit of the bed kind of thing. Like not vertical. It's like okay. horizontal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like near the end of the bed? Kind of, yeah. He's just just kind of kind of in the middle. He's just sitting. Okay. In that case, uh the thing's gonna like sit crisscross applesauce, just like on the floor, like leaning against the bed next to him, and then like offer him some caramel apple slices he doesn't question them this time there we go and you just like kind of hear him sigh a minute and you see the arm reach down and like grab one (laughs) (laughs) um and it's kind of quiet a moment um and you kind of you hear him kind of like chuckle for a second and he um takes a deep breath and he's kind of like it's kind of funny actually um just this and i met you in a tavern in a subway tunnel and now i'm sitting on your bed eating apples <laughs> and he kind of he kind of just like He's They're like, you... also like troubles. <laughs> yeah, um, and he's like, <clears throat> if you weren't with Arthur's, I don't know. I... Then, then he's like, then at that time when we first met, not right now, when we first when we first met. <clears throat> yeah, we did have that moment. Yeah, we had a, we had a thing. Yeah, we got awkwardly left at the table I was together. An official, and then I was. Yeah, the next time. Yeah, so. well, I didn't know that. I just saw a scary devil lady at your side, and so you know, <clears throat> she is rather intimidating. Love yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> he's like, he's like, sorry, I don't know where I was going with this line of questioning. So, yeah, we the. Uh... Come a long way, to say the least. It's not awkward for you, right? No. Okay. I feel comfortable, oddly enough. Okay, because I feel really bad about that whole thing with everyone. It was embarrassing. An interesting first it was embarrassing. Impression. It was embarrassing. I wouldn't say that, you know, you saw a lot of what you liked and you went after that and it takes I a certain amount of courage now i went after all of you and i think back to that Bold- now boldly <laughs> aggressively Arlo feels like a brother to me now and aria is <laughs> <laughs> Um, sorry, sorry, just, sorry. He just shakes his head. He's like, Aria, left. Uh, somewhere in the school, Arya is just is laughing. laughing. Her ears are burning. Um, he just shakes his head. He says, Arya. She knows it's, it's exactly Silas, too. Yeah. Arya is Arya. Um, she and is. she's kind of like a best friend now, which I've never really had, but uh, she kind of put herself in that position. So. And I went along with it, so. It's nice, though. Willingly. I'm glad yeah. you have. <clears throat> Andromeda, I don't really know where we sit, honestly. Um, I think it varies from moment to moment, honestly. Oh, it does, yeah, often. But I'm really Better happy that she has mud, so I feel like that kind of says something. They do fit well together. I always go through this weird state of mind of do I want to kiss her or protect her or both? Right now it's leaning towards protect. So. Fair enough. I think that's the old me. She's been through a lot. (laughs) He's like, yeah, it's the old me having a thing for blondes, I think. So. Fair enough. I mean, that's not. You're all really attractive people i don't know where this i'm trying to pay compliments i guess um you'll get there yeah anyways 
<clears throat> you were you you were uh, shocking to say the least, though. Shocking. Well, you're it kind of like gestures <laughs> to like uh, the whole dragonborn yeah. thing, <laughs> and he's like, um, yeah, that was that was a really exciting. Uh, an exciting thought of an opportunity. I got there. I got nice. around to it. Yeah. I don't know. Thank I don't you. know why I'm saying all this. I I just I I I feel like I feel like I've talked to everyone so much, but I haven't talked to you. Odd since we're roommates now, but yeah, I didn't see that coming. Like I said did not see that coming neither did i honestly but uh not mad about it even though i toss and i turn like kind of a lot that's fine i don't actually mind i just worry don't <clears throat> do anything in my bed though what he like, looks he's like what am i what what am i gonna you do you're making no sense all right <sighs> He just kind of, he just kind of adjusts. He's like, okay. Glad you were just having an existential crisis, though. I guess. Not he like, glad he that you were through a crisis. He kind of smirks at you. He's like, right. Um. You fit well with us, you know. No matter how rough it started, you it started, you belong now. It started pretty rough, and it worked out just fine. So did you, did you did you ever know that I made out with Julian in a bathroom and then kidnapped Arlo directly afterwards? Yeah, I'm aware of all of that. Thank you. Yeah, yes, that's something in my mind that I'm not really too fond of. Yeah, that was choices that you made. Yeah, I definitely made choices in that moment. <clears throat> anyway, I... You've more than made up for it. He takes kind of a deep breath. Um, and he, like, glances at Arthros, who is just, like... <laughs> but not like that. She's, like, she's like del much. delicate, graceful as she's sleeping. She's just, like... like she's she's so peaceful. I she's peaceful so when she's sleeping. Um, and... He kind of watches her for a moment, and he frowns, and he says, um, how, how do you, how are you able to trust so, implicitly, I mean, it's not like you've known each other for years. You, it's been a couple weeks, but you both navigate each other like you have known each other for decades. I wish there were a logical explanation. I wish it made sense. I didn't know it was possible until it happened just fits just works so you haven't had anything like this before not like this it's a lot like you actually i'm sorry say that again he's like he's like he puts his ear he like goes like he goes like this like i'm sorry he like, <laughs> oh shut up what eat your apple <laughs> <laughs> he, he like smiles and he like shows the apple in his mouth and you're smiling we're used to him <laughs> um and he he kind of um nods for a moment and says um all jokes aside though that's kind of a comforting thought it is now I dreaded it for a very long time what parts of it but it's the loss of control I suppose the the feeling that I'd lose myself, but uh, it's not like that, actually. You're just more. I 
I think the thing that scares me the most is having implicit trust that they're not going to leave. Yeah, you've... Well, I don't want to read into it, but you have history with that, it seems. He, he like, nods very slowly. <laughs> um, yeah. Some recent and some not so recent, but... I think in your case, it would take, it would take a sense of consistency that you probably haven't felt before. Everyone that I have ever loved, except for Wesley, has left me. That's the difference. I feel like it would be easier if I had left them, but every time... I've tried to put my heart out and every time has ended up the same and yet I still do it over and over and over again. Like I haven't learned. Some would call that the definition of insanity, but I would he's call like, you brave. He's like, and then you finish that sentence and he's like right not me <laughs> um, it doesn't feel very brave it feels no, I'm it, sure feels, it, sucks. it feels insane it, it feels like I'm, I'm actively putting myself through pain for no reason and when yet here I am and I see things and his eyes kind of like look at you and then they dart to Arthur's and then they dart back at you I'm um, fine. <laughs> and he shakes his head and he says um, and I, I want those things but I, I don't know how to get those things there's no way to get those things but I, I feel like it's a necessity to have it I would say some of those things you already have you just don't realize it Yeah, and like, you've had for a while now. Uh, but, like, sex is an added bonus. And that's not something okay. that I can get from all of you. So, there's... Well. It's not about that. It's not It's not about that. It's, it's, it's not about... It's not about... I have unconditional friendship in all of you. And I, I think I know that now. And that's really great. But it's not... It's a love, but it's not that kind of love. It's not a relationship. A romantic one. Or a physical one. My parents were... Really, really, really in love. Really? Yeah. What was that like? they loved each other so much that they were willing to abandon everything and anything to only oh. be together. Well, that seems a little extreme, actually. What about you, Wesley? Um, did I ever tell you that my parents owned a tavern? Like I told he, Julian. He, oh. Arlo? Arlo. I told Arlo. Yeah, I don't, I don't think you've mentioned it. Uh, yeah, it was called Snake Oil. It was clever. Um, that is clever. And it was successful. And really successful. And my parents made a lot of money. And that was great. Good for them. Yeah. They got a better offer. They didn't tell us. Oh, it was a reality of going to bed one night with them in the other room to waking up to them not in the other room. What the fuck? And a man that I didn't recognize knocked on my door, told me this was his tavern now, and that me and my brother had to scram.
it is things like that that I feel like I can't put trust in love. Both because I feel like people are going to leave me and also because I don't want to be that far gone that I don't care about anyone else. I gotta say, I love Arthurus more than anything, but I would not abandon anyone for that. Even if she asked you to? I wouldn't. And I don't think she would ask it if she's the person I know and love. Real love isn't like that. It's not all-consuming. Not in that way. It's not blinding. I'd like to find that before I die, probably. In whenever that may be. <laughs> You're saying some concerning things today. <clears throat> just a concern. I don't want to die alone. I would endeavor to make sure that never happens. That you don't die. And certainly not alone. Right. Right. <clears throat> and he kind of like stretches. That got <clears throat> deep real quick. That wasn't really... Um... Welcome to our dorm. Or oh, is this a constant occurrence? Deep talks and plenty of sugar. I like one of those. You learn to like the other. Sorry for unloading, I guess. Don't. Okay. <clears throat> so this got awkward real quick. So <laughs> he's not, he kind of he like he like scratches the back of his head. He's like, okay. Um. Thank you for sharing. As uncomfortable as you find it. I just realized I haven't shared it with anyone. If you want to share any other things, we are all ears, both of us. I'm glad you guys had a heart to heart today. <laughs> a smile. Um, uh, he glances at Arthurus and he nods and he's like, um, More like a heart to art. Hey, yo. That was clean. That was clean. That was clean. Um, oh. I love art. Um, he oh. nods um, kind of slowly and, and he says, um, yeah, it was it was good. Makes it a lot less uncomfortable knowing that she doesn't actually hate me. Yeah, no, no. We're all good. We like you actually. You wouldn't be here otherwise. Right. I'd probably be dead because she'd kill me yeah. in her sleep. I'm, I mean, <laughs> yeah. not in this room. Uh -huh. I didn't mean that. Sure. Yeah. You're, she, she wouldn't yeah, actually I kill forgotten. you. Yeah, I you? part of the reason I'm up debating the meaning of life actually so listen I'm gonna be awake I'm taking a watch go to bed sleep he's you get like, a crush <laughs> maybe <laughs> he's, he's like <laughs> <laughs> sleep you are safe here and he he makes this face of like it's so clear that he wants to like say something else and like you, know, obviously know, outside I know, of it, I know, you know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. But it, it's like oh, so clear I'm that he is like, you're so fair. It's so clear that he wants to say something else, but he's like, it's that feeling of like it's on the tip of his tongue, and he does not know how to say it. Like he doesn't know how to just come out with it. Like it's, that is fair. He's sitting there like. Eventually, I'm gonna have to like drag it out of him. But <laughs> I, this is the first night in the dorm. Yeah. I'm being somewhat gentle. But you should be careful, because who knows if you'll get another. 
Stop that! Stop that! Stop <laughs> that! Stop that! Why did you right. sound like the fucking the ghost host from? I was gonna say you, <laughs> you, did, you did. It's because I am. <laughs> I thought that. <laughs> Move to the dead center of the room. Move to the dead center of the room. I'm your ghost no host. No windows and no and no doors. No doors. <laughs> I've been muted. I never always, yeah. always go myself. my oh, way. No. What? Okay. Okay. What? I never unmuted myself. Oh. You also, know? I'm really excited for the new Haunted Mansion movie, and I want to ingest O. Wilson in it, in my soul. Rip <gasps> hair. He looks beautiful. Yeah, he's so pretty. I love him so much. I love Anyways, him. That scene was Mr. beautiful. Mr. Wilson, for real. That's our Mr. Wilson. <laughs> That's our Mr. Wilson. <gasps> that is our Mr. Wilson! <laughs> um, yeah. Silas steals one more piece of apple. Mm. Um, Theron, and kind of plummets back like the right way in the bed um <laughs> and he lays there for a moment <clears throat> my, my mind went to places anyways um yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. my mind <laughs> for the fanfic all right um he lays there a moment and he just kind of like thinks <clears throat> How long are you staying up for? Until Arthros wakes up. However long that may be. Will you wake she me up stuff. when that happens? When she wakes up? Yes. Oh. No, you sleep all night. What? Do you, what sleep. You need the rest. He just kind of frowns at you. Okay. And you won't fall asleep. No. You don't feel tired. Oh. He squints. Chew some coffee beans or whatever. Caffeine actually works on me. <laughs> he just looks at Arthur's. Right. No, works how it's intended, I suppose. Okay, I will toss and turn significantly less, and actually try to sleep without the fear of dying because i won't let Here that happen possible but i will try my best he is this like far away look in his eye for a moment before he just goes all right good night then yeah like body slams like this yeah i hope body slams yeah he body slams you know, if it gets some comfy, that's fine. Yeah. You gotta make I, the pillow comfy. I didn't expect to leak playing, backstory but... in that moment, but... That I was, appreciate that it personally. Really, I really appreciate there it. There it was. Yeah. I realized that, that you guys don't know. know. Like, so we didn't much know the happened. details. Yeah. yeah, I liked it. Yeah, I love His that. parents literally Fucking didn't hell. tell him and just fucked off. That's so um, messed up. They're off. Why didn't they just take their kids with them? Especially if they're I, rich. Like what? I don't understand. They wanted they to have care. their own. They wanted their own yes, fantasy, their own paradise. What's wrong with them? Yeah. What the fuck is wrong with them? Which is the cutest? Silas is also the cutest, in my opinion. They're terrible people. No, literally. Accurate. They're literally just horrible. Accurate. <laughs> um. So. I'm jumping to Arlo. And then we're basically at the cusp of our episode, aside from one little thing that I want to do at the end. Okay. Sphere, the cliffhanger. cliffhanger. Yeah. <laughs> Should yeah. I start and stop the episode now, just in case? Yeah, we're at, we're at like eleven. Do it oh, we're, at, we're at ten twenty-four. Yeah. Oh no, we'll make it. No. no. If you're gonna don't. be, it, it if you cut feel off more at, it cut off at eleven thirty before, so that's what I'm concerned oh, about. Oh, yeah. I see. Because that's like just an hour. I thought we had until twelve, but yeah. Yeah, we technically do, but like that's where it cut off before, which is what fucking pisses me off but yeah um okay chat we're gonna we'll start new stream and now yeah. brbs brbs